Opa. Okay, everybody. Hope you're having a good night or day, whatever time it is for you. We'll be playing some fucking Snoop game mods and uh, one Wani mod today. See, twisted in chat. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, it is not Friday. We still we still got one more day for that. But uh, I mean, you know the pace at which we go at, so you could probably uh, you could probably get out of us pretty easily. Yo, I'm here. You are here. Look, you exist. I see you in the chat. It's crazy. Oh, shit. Wrong button. It's time. It is time. Yo, I'm here. Dude, everybody's here. Let's go. Ugh. But, uh, yeah, as the title may... The may, uh, kind of... Lead you to believe. We're gonna be doing a terrific night out. Mojob and little gator uh, mods tonight. So we're gonna have to pop after we do Terrific and Mo, we gotta pop over to Wani. And you know, I don't know how long this is gonna run necessarily. I mean, I picked up three mods. Hopefully, we can get like three, maybe four hours out of it. Who knows? I was uh, I wasn't able to get like a, a solid read on the time it was gonna take us here. So fingers crossed. Already three choices into Terrific Night Out. Got that speed on your side. Let's go. I exist. For better or worse. <laughs> For better or worse, we do exist. We are here. We are conscious. We are living beings. We see whether we like to or not. Hey, Cooper. <sighs> go back to code fix so I can finally put an end to it all because Tarot GF isn't real. You know, brother. I'm doing all right. Shoveled down some food before stream. Got some uh, caffeination in my veins to make sure I'm nice and perky. You know, so I'll try to finish up and see how things play out. See you in a bit. Sounds good. I'm talking about seeing you miss me. All right. I mean, anybody who's a regular around here, I'm always happy to see him around. Terrific night out. All I can say is there's one song that plays when he comes out. He. He? Wh who is he? Little Gator's pretty short around the 30 to 45 minute mark. I could probably extend that to an hour. <laughs> I could figure out a way to do that. Little should be just a good hour of fun, if I recall correctly. Same here, add some salami and cheese and coffee. Fucking meal of champions right there. Here's hoping Faust is doing Puppet Pals too. They're doing a second one? Hey yo. So, you know, for those of you who uh, didn't see like the community post, um, plan for the coming days. I'm just gonna throw this out. I'll probably mention it at the end too, but um, Plan for the coming days. Obviously, we're doing this tonight. Tomorrow, I'm planning on doing Stardew 1.6 with Jeremy. So that should be a fun, chill stream. Probably be more of like a podcasty type deal. It's not like Stardew takes 100% of your brain power. Especially since I'm just going to be doing fucking fishing, more than likely. I ain't a farming boy. I'm the kind of guy who's got to grab my reel and head out to the, to the, to the lake. Throw that shit in and do the fucking fun mini game where I get the fish in the goddamn circle. It's not a circle, is it? It's kind of just bobbing it in the zone. But you know what I mean. So that'll be uh, that'll be a nice fun stream. Uh, we'll also... I'm thinking I'm going to try to layer on top the Stardew Expanded. I played it once with my brother in the past. Um, but like I said before... When it comes to Stardew, I never get that deep, so... Like, I don't even think I, like, romanced one of the new characters. I was getting close, but I, I didn't actually go all the way through because we just stopped playing. But, um... Yeah, that should be fun. I don't know if that'll turn into, like, a multi, multi-stream multi type deal or if it'll just be a one-off. We'll have to see and kind of get a feel for it. Because I'm sure, like, a lot of the stuff that was added is not going to be, like, early game. So maybe it'll be a thing where we do a stream of it, then we do more off stream, just kind of make progress and everything. 
and then we do another stream of it. Have to see how we feel about it. What is existence if not brains interpreting stimuli? If you never had that ability, would the world exist to you? Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> here we go. We, we got the real, we got the real brain exercises here. Okay, like, let's say you had none of your senses. Would you still... Would the world exist to you? I guess not. You would still have consciousness and everything. And given past experiences, you would still, I guess, technically exist. But if you were born without stimuli, I don't know how that would work. That'd be kind of, that'd be... Hmm. Fishing is peak. The 900 IQ fishing. Dude, fishing's my favorite part is Stardew. Like, you know, I mean, obviously the, the farming's a big part. But you know, what, you know what I don't have to do when I'm doing my fucking fishing? I don't have to spend, like, three hours in the morning watering all my plants in the early game. I can just say, fuck y'all, I'm going fishing. Later. And then they don't see me for the whole day. <laughs> that shit's great. Thanks to my dogma streams, I have drunk my way back to Skyrim with some mods duct taped together. My brother was talking about playing Skyrim recently. He came into my room early today and he was like, You know, I really should have got like the Morrowind, Oblivion, Skyrim thing. I'm like, my brother in Christ, you, you have no time to be playing all that shit. I think at some point he was, uh, he either was planning on going back with a bunch of duct tape mods, or he was already working on it. I can't remember which. I, so, okay. Okay. I would potentially play Skyrim on stream. If I'm doing VR Skyrim with some mods that just make it the fucking goofiest one off stream. Because I remember watching somebody do that and a certain clip just, just comes to mind where um, a child walks up to him. He grabs the child by the head and Gorilla throws the child through the air. And he just sits there for a second and realizes what he did and just starts cackling. That would be fun. <laughs> that would be fun. Fishing is a mini game in real life, just like it is in every Sega game. You know, I, when it comes to real fishing, I think I've been real fishing like twice, maybe three times. It was one of those things that like my dad took me on or like when I was younger and I kind of just went cause it was like, okay, well I'm hanging out with my dad. I don't know if I'd go fishing nowadays. I feel like I have, I, I feel like there's just a better use of my time, you know? Not to rip on anybody who likes fishing, but I don't know. I don't think it really tickles me. Now, if like I it, maybe maybe if I put on like a uh, Apple Pro Vision, you know, augment my reality, make it look like it's a Stardew fishing game, I'd be in on it. But <laughs> Stardew Valley expanded has a tired thirty-year-old retail worker. His romance it's so peak. <coughs> when I play it expanded personally it can take a good bit for you to get into the additional stuff that gets added beyond like NPCs and whatnot still may be fun even if brief yeah I mean like that's the thing too right like I don't know I haven't looked into like the patch notes and everything for or like the update notes for 1.6 so I'm figuring that's also going to be more stuff added further on in your playthrough than like initially so we might not see a lot of the stuff that gets added on a first run, but it would be at least an establishing type deal. Romance my star, dude. No, I work in the gulag to support my crippling alcoholism. You know, maybe I'll roleplay as an alcoholic. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I'll spend every dollar I get at the, uh, at the tavern every night drinking my problems away. It'll add character. <laughs> no romance, only fishing in mines. That's, that's that real grind set. <laughs> Felon Keller could do it, you can too. Inspirational, truly. Finished uh, DD2, it's so difficult to explain my feelings for that game. Yeah, I'm, um, I guess I'll give a quick uh, Dragon Dogma update. Uh, last I played, which was last night, I finished off the Trickster Vocation. 
So I maxed that out and immediately swapped off and was like, fuck this, I'm gonna go play Thief. And when I was playing Thief, I figured out that you can do Formless Faint and Blades of the Pyre and just become a walking bomb <laughs> that takes no damage. So that was funny. Um, <laughs> the, the thing is, right, like some enemies don't really care too much about the Blades of the Pyre. Like it'll do damage, but it won't fuck them up. Like it, the large enemies, every like little enemy just goes and then they're dead. But I, I, I'm trying to remember, there was one enemy, I think it was like um, one of those like Minotaur type ones, maybe like the Gore Minotaur or something. I used Blades of the Pyre on that and the health bar just went ka-chunk, ka-chunk, ka-chunk. It was dead before I knew it. I'm like, I just completely invalidated that fight. Thief is pretty strong, it feels like. Um, Story-wise, I just... Uh, I gave the worm crystals to Ambrosius, I think it was, is his name? So that he can do the whole thing with the god sway. Uh, and then I need to go pick that up. So main story-wise, that's where I'm at. I don't know how much longer I've got on it, but, you know. Lab-grown meat is the new uh, trending tech. Samples to grow meat can be obtained without killing the subject. Eventually, someone will use... A human sample is a novelty. Logical conclusion, gamer girl meat cubes. Oh yeah, no, that's that's the logical conclusion. Yeah, sure, no, that's that's the that's what I was thinking. I wasn't thinking, oh great, we got cannibalism and everything. I was thinking, whoa! Gamer girl water with my gamer girl meat? Hell yeah. Jesus. Yeah, you're like 75% done. It would stop main story and just explore everything now game ends extremely abruptly i had a weird feeling that it was going to if i'm honest because i felt like whoa wait we're just getting a god sway J just like that like it felt really weird when you go underneath or like to the uh the the fucking castle that came out the water and the dude's like are you here to kill me i'll fucking end you and you're like no and he's like oh okay take my soul sword now <laughs> It's like, wh huh? You're not gonna make me earn this? Okay. And when it comes to like the uh, side content, uh, I, I, there's only like a handful of things I think I need to do right now. And then I explored where the Medusa was and tried to chop her head off. And I ended up just stabbing her head to death because I, I guess I was too strong. Uh, and the only other place I think I need to go, really, is the Volcano Island. I think that's what it's called, where you started. So, like, I feel like I'm going to be done with that shit pretty soon now. <clears throat> Let's see here. Oh, Kelly would still touch things. Wood. Glory to Arstotzka, which my crops are grown. Man. That would be a fun stream. Like a papers please or like a paper please like game. That way you guys can see my brain do pattern recognition live. And then when I fuck up and I go, wait, 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 what did I do wrong? You can see how much it crushes me. See, you made the connection to someone else will and then they'll profit off it. You know, how about this? Let's all let's all just like start investing in the uh, gamer girl meat cubes now. You know, that way we can be the ones to profit. Easy peasy. We're the entrepreneurs. Late to the whole Wani scene, but I watched your whole playthrough for ending three and four. And after I watched the other two, got a question. Who do you think was worse? E3 Ben or E1 Inko? E1 Inko. Look, I, I've got my I've got my gripes with E3 Ben, but like E1 Inko. I mean Ben didn't never have uh, somebody fall down some stairs, you know what I mean? <laughs> Not to mention, E1 Eco was just actually being like fucking unhinged. Ben, at the very least, was just like. I don't know, fucking. He just didn't realize what he was doing. You know what I mean? And he didn't know how to fix it. E1 Eco is just like, no, I'm right. <laughs> I've always been right, baby. Voice command mod that spawns what you say is f uh, funny as hell. Oh, is that, uh, are, do you mean for Skyrim? 
or we or i mean i would assume it, was for, it would be for skyrim i think i remember seeing what is it doug doug i think he was doing something like that and he accidentally would like say like bears or something and a bunch of bears would spawn i wonder so okay uh, I'll, I'll come back to the the Skyrim thing in a second here, because I'm I'm getting behind on the fucking chat, and I need to need to make sure I'm up to uh up to what everybody else is saying right now. I real fished a lot when I was young with my dad and great grandpa. Yeah, I think uh I think fishing is one of those things that like it's good if um you you're doing it with um with the right people, right? I mean, it, if if some of my butt, if like okay. First things first, if I was within range to go fishing with my buds and they wanted to go fishing, I'd probably do it just because we would, that would be our own, like, just, hey, we're going to shoot the shit in a boat and smile or on docks, you know, it's going to always find its way back to me. Some, that's how it is for some people, you know, not for me, T Terraria is the one for me, but you know, so you're an alcoholic. No, I'm role playing. No, this is just my character development. You have to understand. Get to drink ale and just like my fantasy character. Be an alcoholic for the joke look i have to i have to have my vices that way i can set it up such that somebody comes along and wants to fix me and then we get into a relationship and i become a better person and that's my e4 you know that's <laughs> i'm create i'm setting myself up for it it's all part of the big game of the meat cubes water i guess i play human fighter drunkard how could you tell Actually, a Snoot GVH mod that's in the works. When it released, you should give it a try. Yeah, I mean, uh, what what's the what's the one that's in uh, development? Because I know that there's um, Encore that's in development. Is there another one you're referring to? Papers, please sweep. Contraband police. I remember watching people play Contraband Police. It always looked pretty fucking goofy. Issuing city and hype mess with me so hard, especially down the road when you have like 200 documents. Oy vey. Yeah. I, I never finished Papers, Please is the thing, right? I, I got pretty far. Like, I think I got to the point where you help the guard get his, his girlfriend in, even though she doesn't have the right papers. And then I just didn't finish after that point. I know it doesn't go too much longer. Inc, uh, E1 Inco is an actual uh, sociopath. Yeah. Decided to try the new game option after beating the game, but it w uh, it isn't new game plus. It's just restarting the game with no enemy scaling, so no, no, no new enemy placement. Loot isn't scaled. It's so baffling. Oh, that's fucking. That sucks. Really? Uh, okay. Wh so wait, what all carries over then? Does anything carry over, or is it complete a uh, complete white? Cause like, if you're gonna tell me, oh hey, all your vocations go back to level zero, I'm fucking done, dude. I'm not doing. I'm not doing that shit again. Ben is Ben. E1 Inco is uh went from Inco to inconsiderate. 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 Ah. Damien MVP for wanting to destroy Inco. I mean, yeah, anybody who saw my playthrough fucking when that happened and like Damien gave Inco the old straight arm, I was like, do it again. Do it again. Spit in his face right now. He was Gary Mod. Hey Gabriel. Terry always finds a way back for another two-week modded playthrough. It fucking exactly. Uh, the only thing I wish is that I could convince other people to get dragged down with me for that two week modded playthrough. But unfortunately, I usually have to just thug it out myself. Don't get me wrong, Terry is like that for me too. Just Skyrim too, and a couple others. Yeah, yeah. Everybody got them games. When worlds collide, it's called. Okay. When worlds collide. Alright, I'll try to tuck that into the, the back of the brain. Keep tabs on it. Just finished Terrific Night Out. Three endings, fairly short, pretty good. Felt like a bonus episode, like Fishing Trip. But more jokes than heartfelt. Okay, that'll be a good appetizer then. Bonnie and Snoop Bros getting into a rela uh, real relationship and thinking about how every sentence they say will affect the ending they get. Real. It's all, it's all a matter of just gamifying your whole brain, you know? Just make it like, oh hey, cool. <laughs> I'm, I'm playing a video game. 
I, I, I think I've, I think I've mentioned it on stream before. I find that shit really funny whenever someone tries to contextualize real events in like video game terms, because it's like, I understand that. That's a joke for me. Scared for when I experience E1 ego for myself. Throttled that. Getting one E2 for my blinds scared the shit out of me, especially realizing where I messed up. The good thing about the game, at the very least, you can run it back. <laughs> you can run it back with that foresight. I'm gonna go watch Godzilla X Kong, Spears Ancestor. All your loot and levels stay, but it is sent to storage, so you need to get to at least the border camp after the Griffin ride. All quest items beside God's Bane is removed as well and your port crystals are placed in storage so you need to replace them again my eyes roll backwards <laughs> god damn it hey there hey shamar we're gonna get to the mods eventually i'm just uh i'm clean i'm cleaning my hands right now trying to uh get some chat out of the way partially because i know twisted's just fucking hauling ass right now <laughs> get the mods done so that way they don't have to worry about being spoiled on it but you know a little bit of, a little bit of chatting beforehand never hurt yeah I mean, I mean at that rate when it uh thinking about um the new game plus for dragon's dogma too it, it almost sounds like there's no reason to do it like i mean monsters respawn I mean, I guess if you were trying to do... I assume there's different endings, so if you were trying to do a different ending, maybe that makes sense. But, like, monsters respawn. Gathering points respawn. You don't really need to re-grab loot. So, what would be the point of New Game Plus if it changes literally nothing? That's odd. That's a really odd choice. Let you know when it's out. Sounds good. Putting a mojo on now, go back into the silent void. Remember you guys while playing through Wani that you would like uh, like to see other romance options, but I think that requires a totally different premise due to it kind of messing with the story. Yeah, uh, I, I, I I agree with that. Um, I think uh, I know Jeremy wanted to see more options for romance, um, and like I think that would be cool, but at the same time. It would require a whole different, like you said, a whole different uh, approach to it, right? Um, because the stories are supposed to be about Fang and Snoot and uh, Olivia and Wani. And if you try to make it so like, oh, let's say you can date Trish. It's like, well, you're going to be sacrificing because like it's something I said for um, the uh, uh, Broken Wings, the uh, fanfic we're reading right now. When you're a writer you have to decide what you're going to be doing with your writing, right? If you want to focus on one character, you get to put all of your focus into that character and their route, right? And if you start adding more routes, you're having to split yourself thin in order to make sure you're writing for all of them. And you can't ensure always that all of them are going to be of the same quality as one another. Um, you know, not to mention it just takes fucking longer so that pushes things back then you need more art assets in order to uh, like do or like to go about those routes so like for like cgs uh backgrounds new sprites and that just that kicks development times even further and further down the road so yeah i i i can completely understand why there isn't routes routes are cool don't get me wrong I mean, like, to, to call in another uh, VN that I, I'd played that had uh, routes in particular, uh, Katawa Shoujo, right? Has a route for each of the main girls. Um, and it's well written, but I, I have to assume that that took way longer to do. And, you know, and uh, the thing with that one, too, though, I think each of the characters had a different writer for them, right? If I'm remembering correctly. I feel like that's correct. And again, I think Snoot prepared me for Wani given how bad things get. Oh yeah. Like for for those who who know, uh I obviously played Wani before Snoot game. 
So <laughs> when, <laughs> I did everything in Wani. Then I got to Snoot Game. I was like, okay, time to do everything. And then Snoot Game E1 hit me. And I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> this is not good. This is this one's not good. This got really bad real quick. But it got bad in a different way, right? Like E1 Snoot is bad for very obvious reasons. E1 Wani is bad because it's like, oh my god, Inko is literally the worst. The, she's the worst. And of course, you know, Olivia falls down the stairs, but you know, you hate fucking Inko at the end of <laughs> E1 Wani. You don't really hate Anon as much. It's like, oh, you're a dumbass. You fucked it up. Sure. But like, it, it's not like he's irredeemable. You know what I mean? If only I can gamify college by save scumming without incurring massive debt. Oh boy. You just have to do the uh, Bank High side mission. Uh, it's available in chapter 32, I think. Uh, just make sure you don't fuck that up, because that's gonna, if you do fuck that up, that's gonna set you on, uh, I think, the path for the worst ending. So, so just be careful there. Um, but if you do pull it off and you do everything right, uh, I think I have a video up on it. You can go check that out. Uh, it should be a guide on how to do that all properly. Uh, once you do that, you'll have enough uh, currency in order to cancel the debts and be able to progress the rest of the game uh, relatively free of any uh, any issues there. Someone decided to talk to me real in the internal shit. Where's the dialogue options? I mean, you think about it, you're always running through the dialogue options in your head. Like somebody walks up to you and they say hi. You could, you, you get, like, think about it like this. You got four options. You could say hi. You could say nothing. You could say fuck off. Or you could just start like Fortnite dancing, you know? I mean, obviously, one of those is one you want to go for. You can kind of guess the rest of them aren't going to go as well. <laughs> so, you, so you make that dialogue choice. Real no score counter. Hitting myself. I have no idea, really. <clears throat> oh. One reason to do New Game Plus and the original DD was to collect all the unique route uh, uh, weapons. Okay, so I'm just okay. Uh, so I haven't I I have not played the original Dragon's Dogma. I'm assuming route weapons are related to like the different endings and everything. So like, you go one route, get a weapon. Go another route, get a weapon. I, I put puts my hands up in the air. That that makes sense to me. Snoot Game Plus, you can now play as Fang. We get to date Anon now? Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, the route mods in Snoot can feel weird. It's like they don't know what to do with Fang. Well, I mean, like, and, and it, that's that's kind of one of the reasons I'm like a little like, mm, how do the route mods work? Because, I mean, like you said, what, what, do, what do they do with Fang? Like, I feel like they either have to write Fang out entirely, or... I mean, I, I guess you could just set it up such that Anon doesn't meet Fang first. They meet whoever is supposed to be the other person for the route. You know, it, it's... Yeah. Snoot Wani are not traditional dating games. I know I don't want to see Anon with anyone else. In the original trailer, it seemed like Liz was a totally different character and seemed to be a rival love interest, so that's what... Why I thought about that. Yeah, I, I... I still need to, like, see the trailers for, like, both of the games, because I don't think I've ever really watched them. Just realized his profile picture is Susie. He prefers Olivia over Fang. I figured you out. Reed. <sighs> Reed, it's really not that hard. <laughs> it's really not that hard. I... <laughs> Oh, it's not hard to read me like a fucking book. Katawa Shoujo is goat. Yeah, Katawa Shoujo is pretty fucking good. Did the Hanukkah route. That shit had me feeling away. <laughs> that shit had me reflecting for a while. Going from Wani to Snoot was a step deeper I did not know existed. <laughs> Hope uh, Dragon's Dogma has a Dark Arisen Bitter Black Isle level DLC. Desperately needs it. I did watch somebody play like uh, the Bitter Black Isle stuff. 
and I thought that that shit looked awesome. And I was kind of hoping that there'd be somewhere like that in the second game. I was so mad. I could understand why. In SpongeBob voice, you like bigger snoots, don't you? A little bit. The failure ending of the bank heist is the dropped soap ending. The clapped cheeks ending, if you will. Purple game has the most understandable split from the original out of the route mods I've seen. That one's the Trish mod, I'm assuming, right? Didn't want to date on add on though. Don't worry, he gets better. He's just a big nerd at heart. Just uh <laughs> just needs to figure it out first. Yo, got a live stream, just finishing your snoop mods. I'm just moving to Wani. No, oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you enjoy the Wani stuff too. Ugh. Get a little bit of guagua. <sighs> OG Liz from the trailer is 40% more neck thickness. Even thicker neck. Jesus. Speaking playing as Fang, there was a fic I had read where E4 Fang gets sent to the past just before the start of the game. You know, fanfic writers love their time travel. <laughs> they love being like, okay, you've made all this progress. Back to zero. <laughs> Do it again. Yeah, Trishma, I think the author stopped working on it though. Oh, that sucks. Current unfinished Trishma from a Spanish group. Other mod than Trish route, there's only a one chapter demo. Snoop Game Plus Plus plays Ripley. Plays Ripley, except uh, it's like an apocalypse type scenario and he's just fucking tearing ass. Pretty chill VN reader and decent voice acting. I think I'll stick around. But I appreciate it. I love it when somebody compliments me. It makes me all like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice. Do we get to play as E1 Fang in first person view? You want that first person snooter, huh? E1 Fang Doom Wad. Does that not exist? Like, I f that feels like a thing that somebody would have done at some point. Fish. Now hear me out. Fang resets the world in E1 is the only one who knows what happens. That would have to be weird, right? Like you end up going on a, a school shooting and you kill a bunch of people and then you blink and then suddenly you're back like half a year prior and you're looking around and you're like, what the? Like, do you, like, what do you do at that point? Do you try to like remember what the Powerball numbers were real quick so that way you can go bank out and then just be like, ah, oh, fuck it, I don't got problems anymore. I got a fucking bajillion dollars. Day one ending. While his fang turns into doom. Pajam, 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 pajam. You know, I should take a look at like doom stuff. I played like, uh, I, I never played like the original dooms. I played like doom 2016 and then like the, the new, the doom eternal. I still needed to finish the DLC on Doom Eternal, but I think playing like some Doom mods would be pretty fun. Just taking a look at, uh, cause like there's some really good uh, WADs, right? Yeah, you can imagine how losing Amber and Anon and needing to relive Teenage Bull hits her. Yeah. That would not be fun. <laughs> You have your whole, like, you, you figured out your life, everything's going good, and then it's like, hey, you want to go back to, like, your lowest point? Uh, no, I'm good. Don't make me do that, please. It'd be terrifying to be sent back after that. Yeah. You know, like, time travel's only fun when it's, like, something you want to do. When you're forced to time travel, you're like, oh, fuck, what? Come on, man, I wasn't, I didn't want this. I'm reading a fic right now that has Anon stuck in a time loop for the past five years, trying to unfuck his choices. Real bozo tears, taking five years trying to unfuck things. <laughs> what, you can't figure it out in the first one? Idiot? Stupid? 
There was a Reddit post I saw of someone doing an edit of E1 Fang being sent back to the start. Oh boy. It's going off of E1, E2 supposedly, and it's been good so far. Would recommend it. it's called one more time if anyone's interested. Well, we've got a running list of uh, fanfics that we need to get around to once we've uh, gotten past our current one for the reading stream, so... <laughs> I would simply not fuck up. Exactly! What, you already know what you did wrong, just do do the other thing. Come on now, you can do it. It's not that bad. Stupid. I was reading that fake. Image of one of the CG scenes. Okay. Instead of playing uh, as Anon, you play as Fang trying to change Anon's choices. You have to like subtly be like, hey, Anon, maybe on the rooftop when I start pouring my heart out to you, you should shut the fuck up for a little bit. <laughs> you know, just, <laughs> just a thought. <clears throat> Anon just looks at you like, what? Huh? What the fuck are you talking about, Fang? Where do you guys usually go for fix? AO3, yep. AO3, archive of our own. That's where I've been picking up uh, the ones I'm reading. I won't lie, after watching your snoot mods, I got a hunger for decent choice based VN. Yeah, I mean, like, good, good visual novels are very fun. Um, bad visual novels make you go, ugh. But good ones, especially when they got some choices that you can, like, choice, okay. Choices that make sense, right? You don't you don't want like the fucking uh whatchamacallit? The Fallout 4 kind of choices where like you choose something and then the your character says something completely different than what you were doing, and you're like, that what? What the f that's not what I wanted in the slightest. Oh by the way, uh Shadow Mooney, thank you for the follow on Twitch. Very appreciated. Oh, speaking of like follows and everything, we're actually, I don't know if we passed it yet, but we we're almost at like 300 subs on YouTube, which is kind of fucking nutty. Was not expecting that to happen at the beginning of the year. <laughs> that shit started to just shoot up and I was like, oh, okay, uh, dope. Basically kept getting some variation of E1 or E2 or something equally as bad. Shake my head. Do better. Do better, Anon, you freaking idiot. Just trying to find a VN that even uh, have choices is hard enough. I think like a lot of VN, at least most of the VNs I've looked at have choices. Maybe I'm just looking at the right ones. Shrugs my shoulders. I don't see many ones that don't have like any choice whatsoever. Oh, that reminds me, time to sub the YouTube. All right, that's probably, if it isn't 300, I, I remember looking earlier, it was like at 299, so if it isn't at 300 already, then that's the 300th one. Follow up four choices of yes, 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 maybe later. No, 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 it's yes, no, sarcasm, maybe later. Come on, get with it. <laughs> Played Mystic Messenger a while ago, that was a pretty good VN. Oh my God, don't even fucking get me started on Mystic Messenger. That was like a month of my life that just went fucking, <laughs> I, I lost that shit. That, that shit went bye-bye real quick. I went through and did like fucking every route and I, I I fucked up my sleep schedule so that way I didn't have to like pay and I could just get all this shit. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Fuck me. <laughs> it was good, wasn't it? It was, it, it, it was all right, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't think it was like super, super compelling, but I had fun with it. <laughs> But god damn, that was a that was a weird, like I said, a weird month where I'm just like, oh wait, when's the next chat gonna be? 4 a.m. Okay. You played another story? <sighs> Hold up. I gotta check my fucking progress and see where the fuck I was on that. Opens up my phone. How much of this shit? Like, I, I got through all, like, the base game. I did, like, a little bit of the extra content. Please update it. Continue playing. Okay. Well, never mind. I'm not looking at that right now. <laughs> yeah, I think I did another story. But, uh, yeah. 
I remember like I would look when the chats are gonna be and if there was like a chat at like 3 a.m. when I would be sleeping I would set an alarm like groggily wake up for a second start the chat and then close it because I'd be up before the the next chat expires and it like I had strats and shit for that it was um yeah found a list of fanfics and I thought there wasn't gonna be that much but when I compared how much digital space the total of them all compared to the Bible it was the Bible many times over <laughs> the bibble you know the stream probably lasts for me i shall hold the fang pick as i go to boot camp you gotta you gotta remember what you're fighting for you know i, I can respect that best of luck there by the way oh that reminds me time to oh yeah i already read that found your snoot and wani streams from before and binge them gotta say good shit my guy well, I, I appreciate it. I'm glad you could uh, pop in for what should be the uh, mods. We'll, we'll start here in a couple minutes. Uh, I think <laughs> I think we've been going and chatting for a while. So we'll probably go ahead and uh, start up probably in the next 10 minutes. Start taking a look at these mods. And then we'll obviously take some breaks in between. Or during, you know. Whenever it feels right. 3 or 3 at the moment. <clears throat> Is that the sub count? Hell yeah. Read a fic where uh, the only reason uh, Ewan didn't have him was because Anon was too thirsty for water. <laughs> Yo, I need to go get a sippy. Hold up. <sighs> I'm thirsty all the time. I need guagua. It was good one. Uh, one yep. Yep, yep, yep. I was right. Let's see. When watching the first endings for Wani, it hurts so bad watching the build up. But honestly, the events leading to E2 hit harder than all the others, unfortunately speaking from personal experience. Yeah, I mean, like, that's the thing, right? E1, like, the E1s in both games, you can, like, kind of step away from them being like, okay, well, that was really bad. But it was, like, really, really bad in the sense that, oh, that wouldn't happen to me. But, like, the E2s are like, oh. Oh, this is just, like, really sad because this is, like, something that you can very easily see happening if, if things go wrong, you know? Like E2, Anon, just being like, I I fucked up. I can't change. I'm just gonna be alone. And there's no reason to try and change it. And then E2, Ink, uh, Inko and Olivia, where they're trying to make that relationship work, but it just clearly isn't. There's no, the, the, the spark, the, the, the flame has long been extinguished. And they're just not gonna be able to fix it. Proof that drinking water is good. <laughs> Are, there's people who don't like water, right? That's the weirdest fucking thing. How could you not like water? Water's so fucking good. Especially like a nice cold crisp water. The most I'll give you is like when you accidentally forget a, uh, a water bottle in a car on like a summer day for like a couple hours and it's sitting out there baking and then you go out and you open it and you give it a sniff and you're like, this just smells like plastic. Ugh. Yeah, that shit sucks. But other than that, E2 and E3 Wani hurts me just as much as E2 Snoot. E3 Snoot just made me angry. Dude, E3 E3 Wani fucking broke me. <laughs> that that shit hurt me. On like uh, it, it touched on like a lot of things that usually tug my heartstrings all at the same time. I was like, okay, I'm gonna cry now. <laughs> I'm gonna just let these tears flow because honestly, I kind of fucking need it right now. <laughs> Making tenders while watching the Snoot. We need them dino nuggies. Same here, consume me. Favorite boy from uh, Mystic Messenger. Uh, uh, who do I think I did you songs route first? I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah I did you songs route first. But I'm trying to think. Did did I like any of the other characters more? Yeah, I'll go with you, son. I actually, um, <laughs> for, for, I think a birthday present, it was either birthday or Christmas. One of my art friends actually ended up drawing like a, a little you sung for me. And I, it's, it's over in the corner, just like, uh, on like a, um, magnetic whiteboard. Are we talking about Higurashi when they cry? That VN has, is multiple Bibles. <laughs> 
There was an E1 fic where the only difference is Anon doesn't go back to sleep and checks on Fang in the bathroom completely changes things. Well, yeah, I mean, like, that's the thing about, like, uh, Snoot and the uh, fan games, right? Or not the fan games, fanfics. It's like, you can do a lot of stuff by just changing, like, one or two scenes, right? I mean, like, most E2 cope fics are just, Anon didn't walk away. Anon decided, eh, I'll talk to Fang, you know? <laughs> E2 for one is the most realistic bad ending. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty real. <laughs> I mean, you see it quite often, right? E1 and Caveman in games. Oh, sweet baby raptor. Jesus. Everything's going wrong. E2 is just like, oh, everything went wrong. Honestly, as horrible as they are, I'm glad E1 endings are there. Not many VNs that decide to take that deep, uh, to take that deep of a dive. Yeah, I mean, like, that's the thing, right? I, I completely understand people who don't want to see E1 or E2. That's perfectly fine but at the same time they're kind of necessary to the story to show that not everything's sunshine and roses right things can go wrong if you're an asshole and you don't grow as a person guess what you're not gonna get your good ending <laughs> thing this this is real life kiddo you want your dino gf you better be a good person or else it's all gonna go terribly I cannot wait to drag my friends along with E1, 2, and 3 for Wani. Oh boy. The, here's the thing, I only had, uh, I had Jeremy for fucking E3 and E4 of Wani. I think I did E2 and E1 by myself. And then for Snoot Game, I think he was there for 2 and most of 3? I can't remember if he was there for that full stream. But I did uh, 1 and 4 by myself. And I'm very glad he was there for E3 and Wani because I needed a motherfucker there to help me out. I could, I could not do that shit. That one hurt. Why are we talking about me? Oh, I was, just, was talking about, uh, someone said they were going to drag their friends along for E1, 2, and 3 and Wani. And so I was saying, oh yeah, I had Jeremy for like a couple of endings. Myself. The other ones I had to fucking, had to do it all by myself. Making me fear watching the Wani VODs. Don't worry. <laughs> It'll be fine. I promise. I say, wiping the tears from my eyes. Love how they made uh, ending two and three the most realistic while being bad and good, respectively. Yeah. Yeah. Really feels like shit is when you get three and four in the first two playthroughs, then have to go back for the others to get everything. Yep, that's exactly what happened with Wani for me. <laughs> I was like, okay, we did three and four. Time to... Oh. Oh, we got to go over there now, huh? Bug it out. Bug it out. So one blessing of getting YouTube blind is the joy of going upwards from there. You know, after you have to step down for a second and do E1. You know, once you, if you, if you get E2 out the gate, you don't go up now. You go, okay, well, let's just, let's get the, let's pull the bandage off. Get the rest of this out of here. So that way I can only have good vibes from here on out. E2 is just why we're here. Just to suffer. Let's get to the final, final. This new E3 is the peak 4chan trad wife fantasy. Glad they took advice from that slash lit anon and made it into a bittersweet ending. The kind of drama I'm in is that I want all the bonus chapters for Snoop, but I'm not prepared for endings two and one. Same for Wani. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Like they 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 fucking lock in. They say, hey, you want the cool stuff? Go fuck yourself over right now. It's like okay. The good thing is, is if you really, if you are one of the people who really can't stomach it, you have a fun option in skip unseen text <laughs> and you can just, you'll be done. You'll go through, just close your eyes for a minute or two and you'll be fine. But I still feel like you should check them out. They're like Jimin or uh, Seven, hard to pick. Mm -hmm. You know, it's great that I can be a decent person enough to get three and four for both first time, but then it destroys me to fucking have to do one and two for both. It just, it just made me fucking ill. You playing the Trish dating mod? Uh, no, we're not. We are not dating Trish tonight. We are doing um, Mojob, Terrific Night Out, and then Little Gator in Wani. At some point, we'll probably check out the Trish mod, but 
Not tonight. You realistically just be a decent person. You get three or four. Yeah, for the most part. There might be like one or two endings, or not endings, uh, choices that go, oh, what, what, huh? And you like stub your toe real quick. And you're like, wait, that's not what I wanted. <clears throat> Slash it. Uh, let Anon things overblown. The final product is more trad wife fantasy than what was planned. I don't know what that's all about. I put my hands up in the air. I, I am not privy to this information. Tried getting my friends in, only got one addicted to Trish. What did I do wrong? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, like, I've tried to get, like, all of my friends to uh, do Snoot Game. Uh, unfortunately, not many of them are online enough to really do it. The only person I've managed is my friend Utah. And <laughs> me and Jeremy were in a call with them last night. Uh, no, it was Tuesday night. And I, I, I shared, like, all of the sprites for, like, the different uh, female characters in Snoot. And I was like, okay, which one do you like the most? And they were like, uh, I like the purple one. And I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. They like Trish's design. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Went through Bad Apple. That ending was something. Not seen anything on E3 for one year. All I've done is E4, so I'm ready for the feels. Oh, they'll come. They'll, they'll hit you like a fucking truck. Or maybe they won't. They hit me like a truck. In the VOD, I was, I had to, like, I had to let Jeremy take over because I was, I was fucking crying. I needed a minute. It's the game equivalent of, see what you did? Bad boy, bad. Smack you on the nose. One of these streams needs to be just alt routes. Yeah, maybe that'll be what I do. We'll have, like, the alt night where we just date everybody else. <laughs> that'll, that'll be, that'll be when we tackle those mods. I'm just like, the Olivia dance cope session. Oh yeah, the, the we we just uh, pushed Olivia down some stairs and everything feels bad. Let's go dance real quick to clean our mouth, like some mouthwash. I must have consider E3 a good ending, especially after seeing Fang turning a husk of herself. The thing I'll say about E3 uh, Snoot is like it's not like it it isn't the same kind of uh, like you feel pretty good at the end of E3. Uh, Wani. You don't feel as good at end of E3 Snoot, but at the very least, like, and I think I mentioned this, like, back when we were talking about the endings on other streams, it's a situation where you, you can see at the very least a light at the end of the tunnel. Like, in E2 and E1, there is no light. It's over. It's, you're done. But at least in E3 Snoot, it's like, okay, well, we can start on the road to recovery. We can start helping Fang out and getting there, you know? And I mean, that kind of makes sense given that uh, Fang didn't really have much support structure, I suppose, after Anon leaves for Da, da Militari. <clears throat> Real unfortunate part is not being able to experience either VN for the first time again. That's what just means to truly suffer. So many games I wish I could just vaporize from my mind so I could run back in and do it all over again. Little baby gators. <laughs> so cute. I feel like Wani will take longer if they make bonus chapters. Like I said before, the moment they have bonus chapters, I'm coming back to that. But I will patiently wait my turn. Only got E3 on Snoot and kept playing Helldivers 2 and Deep Rock Galactic, but I really do need to get the rest of them. Hey, at least those those are two good games to uh, get distracted by. That's for sure. Hold over to his Pete. Been holding off a bit, but excited for more. At least I'm assuming the HD two is supposed to be Helldivers. I, I I'm taking like a bit of a a break from Helldivers for a little bit, just because like I've done a lot in Helldivers. I'm I'm level fifty. I've unlocked a lot of like most of the stuff on the battle passes, and you know. Just, just taking a bit of a break, you know. I haven't even fought like the flying enemies yet, for example. At some point, I'll go back. It's one of those things too. I kind of like want a couple of my buds to get on and be like, "Hey, you want to do some hell divers?" I'm like, "Fuck yeah, let's go." And then you know, hit them with like an arc thrower or something. Although I heard that the arc thrower was crashing people. I don't know what that's about. Modern games. Well, you must understand the complex themes of the game. Snoot game. You are not the only person in the world. Sometimes the best messages are the most direct, right? I mean, look, Trish is that short stack hothead. A lot of people like that. Yeah. 
Yeah, and at the very least, in E4, Trish becomes... Uh... Bearable. <laughs> I also looked at the art book, and, uh, yeah, no, uh... Pfft. There, there is some, there is some Trish sympathizer art in there, isn't there, huh? Some, some real sympathizer art. <clears throat> Trish is so pleasing looking with the design, but the personality, oof. E3 Fang is happy at the end, and I got her to play piano on the first day back, and even says he would work on mending things. E3 is a good ending. You just have to read into it. Yeah, I mean, like, that, that's the thing, right? It's, it's not like outright, okay, everything's fine. It's not everything's fine, but we can get there. We can we can fix this together, and that's a nice thing. E4 ending hit me like a freight train. I usually fold when the strong emotions hit. Yeah, I mean E4 Wani also had me kind of kind of feeling away, and I uh, I was choked up at the end of stream, but I can't tell if that was just residual like feelings from E3 that I did not air out or not. E4 uh, Snoot, I think I, I I handled the endings in Snoot way better. Um, from an emotional standpoint, at least. Just gotta prepare for the pain. Just get a get a stick and bite down on it. Just be like, and rip your teeth when <laughs> things start going wrong. Purple angry gobbo. And E3 Anon is strong enough to bring Fang back to herself. E3 Snoot Cope is just go read Bonds on E3. <laughs> Pretty sure there was a light in E1 at the end of the tunnel, at least. Are we talking E1 Snoot? Same here. I've seen other playthrough of Baby, uh, Baby Gator mod and I absolutely love the voice they did for me. <laughs> Arc was fixed now, but now Snowball does crashes. <sighs> Can't have a fucking Snowball fight anymore with the boys. That might blow us up. Great. That's correct, but it still doesn't sit right with me. It feels like there's a time bomb waiting to blow up 50 to uh, the 10 years after E3. I think it's one of those things that it just depends on how things go from that point, right? It could easily turn into that, or it could turn into everything works out and it goes fine. It's one of those things where, like, from a fanfic writer perspective, you could you could bring that either way. Don't let Super Earth hear you say you're deserting. I'm just taking my 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 uh my democracy mandated vacation, okay? I the amount of motherfucking bots and bugs I've killed, I think I deserve to sit down. I filled out my CO1 form. I'm going to go have a baby for a little bit, okay? I'm 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 allowed. They they can't stop me now. Trish and E4 got some DSL. Oh my god. Purple trigger appreciators. <laughs> Games I'd like to experience again, Subnautica, Red Dead 2, Witcher 2, uh, 3, Terraria, Double McCray 5, and probably a few others. I can agree with that. The thing with Subnautica, I, I kind of... It's unfortunate, right? I played Subnautica, but I didn't play it blind. I'd watched somebody already play it before. And it was still a great game, but I would have loved to have played that without any idea what's going on. Like, having the moment where, like, the first Reaper Leviathan comes in, you're like, Oh, shit! Oh, n wait! That said, though, the, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna point this out here. Jeremy has not played Subnautica. He has not seen anything on Subnautica. I can tell you this: the moment he decides to play Subnautica, I am going to point all of you in his direction and say, "Hey, everybody, go watch this shit." I'm gonna be sitting in there watching it too. <laughs> Have you considered playing the Coffin of Andy and Lily? Pretty good psychological horror game. Of course, I've considered playing the Incest game. It's on the list. Points across my room. <laughs> for real, though, I do have it, um, and I, I will be playing it at some point. Though, I think I want to hold off for a little bit until it's closer to the next chapters are released. That way, you know, there's more of a reason to do it. Like, it'll be, when is the chapter being released? Okay, we're going to do some ramp-up streams before it's released, and then we'll play the chapter when it releases. Kind of deal. E4 Snoot is just, fuck yeah, everything's good. We did great. <laughs> E4, both Snoot and Wani. Speed ran E1. Just just give Fang the gun out the game. <laughs> Gonna trick up my old friend try. Just about E3 and Wani and Snoot. If things aren't perfect, then better. If it makes you happy, the dev said on Discord that everything works out in E3 Snoot. Dev confirmation. 
<laughs> well, if the devs said so, then it's enough of a copium for me. Thank you, devs. <laughs> Everybody say thank you, devs. Handled the ending in Snoot way better. That awkward silence and goodbye in Snoot E1 at the end of stream says otherwise. I handled it better as in I remained composed. <laughs> allow me to <laughs> allow me to clarify. E1 Snoot is one of those ones where you're like, damn. That's not good. No more sex for deserters of Super Earth. D democracy mandated vacation we get those <clears throat> you, you gotta be like a skull admiral and then they start telling you about that program don't 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 worry about it yet didn't i remember seeing like apparently because we failed the most recent major order co1 forms aren't like allowed it or like they're being re rejected now so does that mean we can't have sex are, are we not allowed to have sex in the in the hell diver universe now are we fucked uh, well, I guess not fucked. Left Fang versus right Lele. Choose Western Man. <laughs> I go for Coffin to see the most horrendous aspects of the human condition. Crumping time. I play Subnautica. Worth it if Deep Ocean scares the shit out of you. I just like the exploration stuff. That was fun. And then I got to live out like a little bit of a power fantasy of fighting like the leviathans and killing them with my fucking my prawn suit because I was like come here shit lips grapple hook drill <laughs> that was fun oh he hasn't has he no like I got it really bad I I, I so here's the thing I don't fear many things right I mean I don't I, I fear anything that's gonna kill me uh, I feel like that's natural, but other than that, it's not like I look at the deep ocean, I'll be like, oh wow, that's deep, huh? Ooh. But I don't look at that, and I'm like, I have to go. So, I, I definitely have different experience from someone who does have that going on. Even though I played uh, sub through early access, it triggers a lot of childhood fears that I forgot exist about water. Just, uh, just dredge that up, huh? Clowning around with Jeremy and Subnautica. Yeah, that, that'll be... I look forward to that. Because that's one of those games that I think is really cool to see someone new play. And when it's somebody I can talk to and I know... Oh, chef's kiss. Current level in 20, still titled Cadet. I can... You know, I can respect that. I can respect people who are high level and still have Cadet. I just like the skull. <laughs> it makes me happy. After you, when Snoot sits on a bench in the rain, hand clasped together and the wind blows. Yeah. Yeah. That's that, that's a mood. Nearly drowned as a kid, and my older cousin at the time used to mush my head underwater when I was at his house pool. So deep, so... So deep sea stuff freaks me out. I get the urge to take a deep breath. Oof. Yeah, that's a little bit of trauma, isn't it? I've actually been, like, around the water, like, a lot of my life. The worst thing that I could say has happened to me uh, in water was one time I was at the beach and um, I was with a bunch of my buddies and we were, I was walking like, you know, in like one of the more shallow areas and then something like stabbed into like the side of my pinky toe, right? And like I instinctively jerk my foot back and like I'd never figured out what it was. Some people were like, oh, it might have been trash or something. But I swear to God, it like, when I pulled my foot back, it started to pull back on my foot. And so I immediately like start freaking out and I like fucking lurch into the water and grab whatever, whatever it is. And it, it almost feels like fleshy. Like, like, I don't know how to describe it. It was weird. And I'm like pulling and I'm pulling and I'm pulling and I rip it out. And like I fall backwards and like I'm just kind of like in shock for a minute and I'm like breathing heavily and like two of my friends come over and like hey you good I'm like just get me to get me to the get me to the land get me to the land and they they let me use their shoulders and they pull me out and like my my toes bleeding that's for sure and it's like a clean cut and like where like something looks like it injected in and I just sit there and I'm like trying to recover and I'm like oh fuck me what the fuck just happened and 
I, again, whatever like I ripped out of my foot, I swear like I tore whatever it was in half, but it wasn't stuck in my foot afterwards. It like must have fell out. I, I don't know. It's one of those things that I think about sometimes. And I'm like, damn, that was really weird and freaky. Tony with the snoot. We will be booping snoot, hopefully. Or at the very least, looking at snoot for a little bit. If you play some like long enough, the Reaper Leviathan start migrating out of the crash zone and begin glitching into the shallows. I I think I've seen like some videos of that happening. I too don't fear things. Me sees the letter E in the number one. Okay, wait, maybe one. Snoot gay man on Cuck's Fang's dad. Oh my god. You mean Anon fucking dies? Fear no man, but that thing scares me. Personally, I got freaked out by deep ends when I was young. Seeing Edge of Map Void was immediately it was immediate flashbacks. Did you ever explain to Jeremy E1 and E2 of Wani? Or if you did, what was his reaction? Uh, I think he watched it. I think he watched it put after the fact. And he was like, oh shit. <laughs> That happened? We agreed that uh, E1 Inko fucking blows. Fuck that guy. It was me, Barry. I stabbed your pinky toe in the pool all those years ago. It wasn't in the pool, it was in the ocean, which made me freak out. <laughs> Lady of the Lake wanted a forever friend. No, -uh, they aren't gonna get it. <laughs> get away from me, you freak. Making bases in different locations was fun. Subnautica, really cool to dock, load off, and resupply and head to the next base. Yeah, that was a fun, that, that was fun to do for sure. What was the first thing you drew in Wani? I drew a meme from Team Fabulous 2. <sighs> I'll... <laughs> if you're still here when we get to Wani, I'll show you what I drew. Because I don't know if I can quite articulate it <laughs> with words. And yeah, why sir? <laughs> I hate that that came back to get me at the end, like the fucking credits. Oh my god. What a fucking shit take that was. It's terrifying I walked on trash, but that sounds like an actual monster. Yeah, I mean, like, someone said it might have been, like, a stingray or something, but, like, I didn't, like... I didn't get, like, fucked up by it. It just it, it stabbed my toe. I was bleeding a bit, and that was that. And it just kind of freaked me out. If the water is crystal clear, I feel safe. But if not, I feel tense for something. My feet might touch. That's why I don't, I'm gonna be honest. I have like a thing where I don't like standing, like in sand or like mud when there's water underneath. And I think part of that is because of what I stepped on. <laughs> if I'm completely honest. So I just wish the same buildings for below zero was in sub. I wish I wish below zero was just better all around. Kind of made me sad that it wasn't as good. Okay, Mr. Stream, it's been an hour and 15 minutes, and I watched two other videos. We can be good. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> you, you got me. You twisted my arm. <laughs> it's time to start the fucking mods. All right. <sighs> all right, we got, we got, uh, we got our, uh, we got our pre-stream chat in. So it's time to get it going. <sighs> the feature film begins. All right, so first mod we're starting with tonight is a terrific night out. So let's get it rolling. <clears throat> so from what I saw, the premise of this one is we meet a bigot on one of our date nights. So with that said, let's get it going. Be back for Gator mod. Don't know the context for Snooch. So yeah, fair enough. Uh, I would say check back in maybe like two hours, see where we're at. And we'll hopefully be at the Gator mod by then. Shrugs, maybe not. Here we go. When is peak fiction? Get your tubas out. July 201 M, 2020 BC. I don't get it. One night of complete freedom from that Gorgonzola gulag, and you want to spend it watching another movie? Ben got me the day off of Moe's to spend some more time with her. Hey! Don't you badmouth bad Dino Moe's? Working hours are well within union regulations. How she oh, how she convinced Moe, I have no idea. <laughs> Don't even try. I've seen that thousand pizza stare on your face when you get home from one of your Sicilian shifts. It was when I was cleaning up after this week's fourth consecutive birthday party held at Moe's. 
Who knows? I probably prevented you from getting an early heart attack. Supposedly, she made him an offer he couldn't refuse? She wouldn't elaborate. <laughs> what is that dopey looking face? Alright, you got me. Mo expects a lot from us. But that lunch card isn't going to pay for itself. If Mo didn't offer me this position, I would have to run Carf with Reed. I don't see the problem. Aren't they legalizing it soon anyway? Soon to be legal isn't quite the same as legal. Furthermore, Carfentanil Cultivator at Reed's Feed and Seed doesn't exactly look great on a resume. Mmm, so what? You're overworked to the point of exhaustion. All your free time is spent lazing in front of a screen. But you watch movies with me on my laptop all the time! You could've just told me you wanted to do something else. It's not that I'm not having fun. But since this is the first evening we have all to ourselves since you got that job, I just preferred something a bit more... exciting? Fang, what you suggested earlier would have been defacement of public property? Oh, calm your tits. It's graffiti. It's not like it's a felony or something. <sighs> Don't get me wrong, this is great. But sometimes I think back on Naomi trying to fix me. And this routine we're settling into seems kind of like what she wanted from us. You making an honest living scrubbing marinara off the floor. Yeah. Marinara. And me, faithfully waiting on you to come home and hang out. Machinations of the abominable apricot still weighs on her mind. And even after foiling her plans and one-upping her at prom. Eh, I think you just haven't gotten over that double date we went on. The double date we will play in a future stream. <laughs> My cheeky remark hits its mark. Cheeky remark hits its mark. Oof. Bit of a tongue twister, you say that five times fast. As I met with an all too familiar finger. Oh, fuck off. Not that petty. <laughs> sure, you aren't. Hopefully you don't run into any issues, some of the mods are temperamental. But nothing better than a nice human couple with smooth skin. You know that theater? That definitely was a facial expression. I don't like that face. It's a sigh if I ever seen one. You're too late, spider saw. Carpe has been legalized. Powerful trigger tree at work here. Our conversation steers to more inane topics to help the nu to help numb the boredom of waiting in line. And a little while later, before I can fire off the punchline of a green text I read the other day, huh? Fang's elbow informs me that it's become our turn. The Compi family of four in front of us skitter away towards the auditorium. The parents look back at the staff member with a stern stare. It's an aging, stout triceratops with a bulging right eye. <sighs> yeah, adjust my mic here. I can see the uh, static being displayed there. Yep, yep, a lot of oh lords, uh ohs, no's. Yep, that. Uh, well, well, what do we have here? <laughs> Not him. I can see we're all familiar. <laughs> Sweet human Jesus. Oh boy. That has to be made of glass, right? He looks at me and smiles. This place must be going through financial trouble. That's clearly a uniform fitted for humans. Oh my fucking god. Oh boy. Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh. This is going to be a interesting next 
Like 10 minutes, isn't it? Cute, lazy tuba, the tuba plays. <laughs> Hope he won't have to turn around. Why, good evening, Mr. Caveman, sir. How can I help you? Sir? I can't remember the last time a dino addressed me by sir. Buckle, it's about to be a ride, good god, it's about to be good. <laughs> It's usually Skinny, Spear Chucker, or Spurg Lord. Well, I'm not going to complain. I uh, ordered two tickets online. Check for the name Anon Y Mouse. Two tickets? Let me just check. Two tickets, huh? Pardon me asking, but this is a date, ain't it? The mere possibility makes them all giddy. I hope Fang doesn't get ticked off by this guy's intrusiveness. Why, there ain't nothing quite as pure as young love between two humans. Wait a minute. I don't need to look to see Fang's pupils dilate. Um, excuse me? Do you not see the scales, feathers, and tail? This isn't cosplay. Cosplay? Oh no. Where's Huey and his nunchaku? <laughs> Uncle Rock is no relation. It's about to go off, boys! <laughs> My tism must be rubbing off on her. Actually, this is her right here. He's most likely just old and confused. I can almost see the cogs turn inside his head. Poor guy. Wait, now he looks pissed. Sweet caveman Jesus, say it ain't so! Is there a problem? Did my ticket reservation not go through? Oh, it's even worse. <laughs> a downright atrocity. A fine caveman fella like yourself fooling around with some media dodger. Instead of investing new technology like the campfire, spears and the like. Now that's just plain silly. What even is this? Are we dealing with Trish's estranged uncle? That would actually explain a lot. Meteor Dodger? Oh, choke on a cock. It's the year 201 M2020 BC, you bigot. Also, I don't know if you've looked in the mirror lately, but you're like 102% pure... 102% pure... 102% wait, 102% percent? percent? Oh, that's why that fucked me up. Triceratops with a 2% margin of error. Now he just looks insulted. Now, now, miss. Insult me by reminding me my ailment is crossing the line. Ailment? Yes, sir. Every year my smooth caveman skin seems to get me rough. More rough and more purple. And more rough and then more purple again. Huh. Worst part is, lots of folks now confuse me for some kind of lettuce muncher. Not to mention these bony sprouts I gotta file down constantly. Read, Trigger, read. <laughs> Suffers from triggertism. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy mother of mental gymnastics. You're fucking delusional. Fancy words coming from an aspiring fossil. Oh, you're pushing your luck, you tubby fuck. Damn. Fang is gonna is going full on do dolomite on this trigger. She better not start doing karate. You better calm your ass down before I call security. Is a normal movie night really too much to ask for? My ribs, I please, I need you. Don't kill me, please. Hey. <laughs> I'm not the one who brought Uncle Truckus over here, alright? Better step in before this gets out of hand. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? My mind says to defuse the situation, but my, my heart says to make a scene. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. 
we're gonna make a scene. You know what? Screw this guy. Time to reveal my power level. Oh, to hell with this. My outburst silences them both. I am not having this. You have the slightest, tiniest idea of the amount of pasta I've had to crank out of a decades old pasta maker the last several weeks. Do you know the differences between spaghetti, spaghetti, capelletti, lugetti, gnocchi, quadretti, blah, 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 blah. Well, I do, because I'd lose my job if I didn't. Or worse. Jerry still has a limp from that one time you confused lasagna yet for lasagna note. And don't even get me started on the gabagool. Their shock is quickly turning to confusion. I may be getting a bit off track. Point is, I worked hard to make this evening possible. So I don't need this, not tonight. Truckers must be one up, which is will most likely spiral out. And we can always run it back. <laughs> Me and Riley's canonically in the game. We see her. But this is what is called a trigger moment. <clears throat> Can we please just get the tickets? Yeah. Now get out of here before I call the police. Please. Y'all scan the decent folk around here. Fang grabs the tickets and pulls me towards the auditorium. Oh no, people are staring. My heart begins pounding. Knees weak, arms heavy. Please God, no more spaghetti. Thanks, Anon. I know you hated it. Becoming the center of attention like that, I mean. Huh? Uh, don't mention it. He was being an ass. Just hope I taught that geezer a lesson. I mean, now he'll probably think twice before eating Italian. Yeah, fucking better. Wait, that actually worked? Damn right it worked. It got us our tickets, that's all that matters. <laughs> Fang starts smoothly oscillating between giggling and a silly impression of me speaking pasta gibberish. My grumpy facade only holds for a moment before I find myself giggling along with her. This continues all the way to the entrance of the auditorium. The pubescent attendant rips our tickets in half and points to our seats. It's the comfy ones in the back. And like Uncle Truckers don't deal with saying conversation. And she let the training weights off more often. Step the fuck up, Anon. Carefully seat myself with our outrageously overpriced popcorn safely in my lap. The thought of dropping even one makes almost, almost makes me sick. Fang drops into her seat with a light thud and kicks her boots up on the heart hand rest of the seat in the row below us. Jeez, Anon. She should have let me smuggle in some dino nuggies. Why you let me have any? Where would you even hide them? I ask instead of letting my imagination run amok. Fang thinks for a moment. My... trench coat? Do you actually, unironically, own a trench coat? Yes? Why have I never seen you wear it? <laughs> Where would you? At school? Screwing up a concert may make you a social pariah, but at least it doesn't put you on a watch list. I can admit being a tad edgy, but I'm not retarded. A tad? <laughs> I'm like you weren't also doing the brooding loner shtick when you transferred here. <laughs> it's a miracle Spears didn't put us both on surveillance when we started hanging out. Our reminiscence- our reminiscing is interrupted by light dimming. So this is what they mean by black coated characters slash s. When I give them popcorn and soda are usually the cheapest compared to the snacks that cost their weight in gold. Accurate. Hold up. I, I don't know, like nowadays I don't even really... It's been forever since I've been to a movie theater, but I didn't remember being too, like, jazzed about movie theater popcorn last time I had it. I'd rather bring in like some fucking pretzels or something, like a baggie, and just snack on those during the movie. 
the ceremony or better yet uh just not go to a theater and watch it at home <laughs> and then have like a fucking meal the ceremonial pre-movie ads are about to play it's mostly trailers for cape shit and teen flicks sprinkled with a few advertisements for local businesses one has a quaint italian tune playing as a familiar building fades into view wait a second i work there Hey, you was hungry for some fucking pie. Damn, he just sent that, huh? <laughs> Hell, it, yo, I'm gonna be real with you. If I went to the movie theater and then a local pizza place just came on and said, you want some fucking pie? I would be like, oh, wait a minute. Hold up, maybe I should check out this place. Bringing a ton of recesses is a good choice. Popcorn is just something I rarely have, so the theater makes it a bit special. I, if I want popcorn, I've got like, you know, microwave popcorn at home, you know? Yar yar piracy. Mo goes hard, holy shit. Damn, yeah, I want some fucking pie. Be real, who gonna tell Uncle Mo no for censorship? That's, you're so, tr you're so right, you're so right. Close up of Uncle Mo's tooth grin appears on the big screen. So close, in fact, you think it was a screening of Jaws. Then come on down to Dynamo's Pizza and Pasta. Let me tell you, the most original media pizza with extra sausage, anchovies, pepperoni, and ham. Mo gestures with pinched claws, so he's trying to literally grasp the words he's missing to do his pizza pie justice. Forget about it. There they are. He then lets out a roaring laugh as the camera fades to a shot of the kitchen. Cooks and food runners stand in tactical formation with beaming smiles. Most toy claws are strangely absent from their rack. Now you take a good look here, punks, cause this is where the magic happens. Jerry is shown in the process of making marinara. A voiceover by Mo explaining the process booms over the speakers. Early stages are deliberately not shown, such that potential customers aren't traumatized. The ad ends with an idyllic scene of satisfied clientele enjoying their meals. I recognize a fair amount as high-ranking city and police officials. How about that? Wouldn't mind seeing a guy, meeting a guy like Mo. You wouldn't mind meeting a guy like Mo as long as you're not on a shit list, of course, because that, that's, that's the big caveat there. Last time I was at a movie theater, they had $5 deal on snacks for Tuesdays. Yeah, theater is nice. It's not the same as watching a movie home. That's true, but I don't know. I just haven't felt compelled to go to a theater in, like, the longest time. Then again, you know, I feel like it's better to have somebody to go with, so maybe that's kind of the the thing for me. If I saw Dynamo's ad, you better, <laughs> you better damn know I'm instantly converting into a customer there. Theater can be good, but home is best for bad movies. I'm Oh, I love bad movies at home. That's... That shit's great. I actually, uh, I'm trying to like plan a bit of like a, a trip for some of my boys to come out and visit me this summer. And we, <laughs> we've already said that we're going to have one night where we just put in some bad movies and fucking all kick back and laugh at it. That's going to be great. IMAX is more for novelty these days. Remember when like 3D was like a thing that they were really trying to push? <laughs> Almost halfway through our sodas by the time the movie begins. A small rush of anticipation goes through my body as the title sequence shows. It's a relief that I'm not yet I'm not bleh, I'm not yet too jaded to enjoy a mindless flick. Fang places her arm on my armrest. Her cool, scaly hand applies a gentle touch on my arm as she shovels down popcorn with the other. I lean back in my seat. For the first time in a while, I completely relax. It's like the cozy seats in the AC, the big ass speakers and the screen blasting into your face. It's a little intense, don't you think? Two hours later, the end credits roll. Chatter begins instantaneously and completely fills the auditorium as most move for the exit. Fang rises from her seat immediately. <laughs> what are you waiting around for? Movie's over. These types of movies usually have post credit scenes. Comedic send-offs, teasers, and the like. <laughs> It'll be on SnootTube later anyway, so what's the point? The point is being rewarded for your patience. Watching it on light and later wouldn't be the same. She's already at the exit. Stay for that extra content. Nah, let's, we'll follow the thing. 
I scrambled to pick up all our stuff, including the empty soda cup Fang left for the staff to throw out. Despite our head start, I managed to catch up as we exit the theater. <laughs> Bad movie I recommend is... I believe it's called The Cult of Humpty Dumpty. Holy shit, that does sound like it would be a real stinker. We reconvene in the lobby. I'm also going to try and get him to watch a Neil Breen movie. <laughs> Wait up! What's the hurry? She seems kind of... restless. The mood is great and all, but I'm not ready to call it a night yet. So, what do you say we go for a scenic detour before then? Scenic detour? Well, that's kind of vague. I don't know, it's pretty late already. Really? Yeah, really? I have to be ready for my next shift. Oh god. She's plating me with those warm amber eyes. Too weak to resist. <sighs> okay, okay, I'll go. Yes! Whoopa! Fang grabs my arm and yanks me with unexpected strength towards the exit of the building. Shortly after, it was apparent what Fang meant by scenic detour. Armed with a spray can, we're now running around Volcatera Bluffs for places to tag with some graffiti. A while later, we happen upon the defaced wall of an abandoned warehouse a few blocks from Little Trudon. Oh no, is he coming back? Oh thank god, Truckers is gone. Rubs Fang's wings. See this old man? I get this. No humans got this. The wall is covered with graffiti everywhere that is within arm's reach. Mostly by species of slurs and inane pop culture references. Most noticeable is some soulful fan art of Bart Simpsar inhaling from a carf doobie. This is great. Now, if I could only paint the wall a bit above everyone else. Oh, and on. What now? Could you give me a lift? I need to break new ground with my radical street art. Sure. I don't see a reason to object to anything at this point. Oh, it's so sweet, Anna. And don't worry, your efforts are greatly appreciated. The things I do for love. Whoop! Oyster. Remember some advice I got while shitposting on a Burmese rock lifting form? Squat down, hinging my hips, and going slightly below parallel with zero butt wink. Fang places herself on my shoulders. I swear I hear a distant heat drive as I complete the movement and bring Fang to her canvas. I don't even lift. You might want to hold your breath for a minute. A minute? <laughs> The fumes from the spray can envelop me shortly after she begins her artwork. My eyes begin watering despite me squinting them shut. Fang is completely absorbed by the painting process. I don't screwed, she mastered the puppy eyes. It's over, she can get whatever she wants now. <laughs> Psychedelic shapes form in the darkness as the time uh, as the time since my last breath increases. And the caveman is in the clutches of the trigger. Uncle Truckus is never far away. I remember drawing a Homer on my a Homer on my dad's truck. I ain't ever done spray painting. There's actually a place nearby that uh, it's like a tunnel that everybody's allowed to spray paint in, and so it's, the walls are just caked in spray paint. Like you can see like the layers. Back from the pizzeria. Welcome back. We're still <laughs> we're still on the date night. Doobie. When you're ten minutes in a rock ring and she gives you them eyes. Babe, I have to- I have to do the ring! You don't understand! No, my video game! And this is when Snoot and Wani smash together. Two worlds collide. Fuck, I'm about to pass out, aren't I? Almost there. It's at this exact moment I lose balance from dizziness. Holy shit, I'm not even using a stencil. Up, up, oh! Verm drama. You okay, Hanon? 
<coughs> Shit. <coughs> Fuck. Ugh. Yeah. Give me a moment. Mm. <sighs> I'm fine. What about you? You cushioned the worst of it, I'd say. You should have told me you were getting dizzy. Oh yeah, I forgot to do that. No, wait. It was the lack of air. Oh, right. Well, worry not. Your efforts weren't for nothing. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna make fun of it. Not oh, praise. Not sure shilling your old school high uh, your old high school band is formally consider considered art, but that manic glare tells me I should probably be supportive. Gee, Fang, those lines sure are brash and bold. Didn't know you were also a visual artist. Fucking hell, Anon. Ask you what you thought about it, not to drown me in saccharine compliments. I may be a cutie314169 and all. I was supposed to be cutie pie, but fuck it, I'm gonna read the numbers. But there's really no need to brown nose me. Like, it's just my whole school band with some wings around it. Sorry, I thought... <laughs> that I wanted my adoring boyfriend to shower me with praise whenever possible? I'll be fine. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, what the... I thought it looked okay! What the shit? <laughs> Remember doing an art of a clown with hypno eyes? If the eyes don't work, she's got the wine, the wing hug, serenading with guitar. Oh no, no, no. Abort. <laughs> oh no, we, we've had one pushback, guys. It's so fucking over. <laughs> Which well, was a good time, one innings, uh, some slight retcons, but good ones. One in inconsequential choice with some nice flavor and an opening and ending that caught me smiling. Okay, good, good. This feels like something Inko would say rather than Anon. Oh, no bad ending in Eminent. She breaks the silence with a sigh, like she ended up expressing more frustration than she intended. Fang now hands me the half-empty spray can. <clears throat> Your turn. I see a clean spot over there. You sure? What should I write? Any actual artwork is out of the question. I could always add another slur. Hold it right there, you premature old deposit. Oh wait, is it Truckus? It's Truckus, isn't it? You gotta be shitting me. Well, well, what do we have here? Son of a bitch, he's got the nunchaku! <laughs> oh no, it's the comfort option all over again. E1, E1, E.5, it's dying over, the tuba returns, he's armed, no. Not surprising the paleo hussy taking a liking of vandalism. Fuck off already. What are you even doing here? Did management fire you for being a speciesist cock gobbler? They did no such thing. S securing these premises is simply one of my part-time jobs. Sweet Raptor Jesus, I can't catch a fucking break. Well, what are you gonna do? Call actual police and cry for help? Don't make me laugh. Can't risk them going too easy on your sorry asses. Paul Shart starts spinning his nunchaku with surprising proficiency. As well as making these barely audible mutterings. Ooh, ha, call trigger sign. Ooh. I don't think I could speech check us out of this one. He's totally lost his marbles. Good thing living on skin rows prepared me for situations like these. Approaching the threat, I maintain constant eye contact with the target. Slowly, I bring my hand down the side, ready to pull out my ace. Oh, Fang will be able to look me in the eyes after this. Pocket sand! Pocket sand! Pocket sand! Pocket sand! Come on, pocket sand! Calm down, Anon. You can do this. Do it for her. Pocket sand! Yeah! Ah! My goddamn eyes! <laughs> well, this trick in the book. All right, while you're distracted. What? No, I mean run! Let 
do that bad. Let the stream. Wait, I'm human. <laughs> sand, let's go! Let's go! <laughs> I could feel this pocket sand coming a mile away, man. Yeah, Fang, give him the boot. Curb stomp his ass. Grabbing Fang by the hand, we rush away from the crime scene. The pained whining of the heaviest bringer of ruckus can be heard echoing throughout Lord Trudon. I got him good. Tender remorse hits as I process what just happened. Are we in trouble? As in actual trouble? Shit, what if he's pursuing us? What if the cops are pursuing us? Sweet raptor Jesus, we gotta get out of here. Sound of our boots hitting pavement echoes through the empty streets. Legs are seconds from cramping. Right into the corner of the block, a bus stop comes into view. I hear Fang laughing in between my gasps for air. Curses I mutter at my lack of cardio sound more like a weak whimper as I gasp for that sweet oxygen. You can gear down, dweeb. We lost him a while ago. Like, almost immediately. Ever been threatened with Manchaku before? Her laughter only intensifies. They were made of plastic, literally toys. Also, pocket sand? That's a new one. It's my last resort before the blade. You know, tonight didn't go exactly like I hoped it would. It certainly went off the rails pretty fast. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> about what? It wasn't your fault. Did you have fun at least? That caught her off guard. I guess. I mean, of course. Nothing like being verbally assaulted by a stranger. Twice. <laughs> Don't worry. You get to decide what we do next time. Really? Yeah. At this point, I'm convinced my decision-making skills are limited to choosing pizza toppings. There's that mischievous look again. Hmm. You remember that shoegaze post-Brazilian outsider industrial band that I've been listening to? Kazoo Kamikaze? It would be hard not to. Well, guess what? Oh no. And they're performing in Volcadero Bluffs next week. Please don't. And guess who has tickets? It was at that moment that it had all finally become too much. My remaining energy was expended in one last hurrah. Oh my god! I know, right? Pocket sand. Sand W. I was about to assault a fine, upstanding caveman. Leave, leave it to those meteor dodgers, am I right? The Gribble Secret Technique. Ruckus, <laughs> hey, they said the thing. Alright, and now you've got to one-up him with the katana. One of the pla one of the three plastic katanas he had when he was younger. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna go take a look at just the other options real quick and just see what they have, just just so we can taste it. Ah, uh, E two. Is is okay? Twisted. How how is there like a numerous endings for this one? Do I have to like actually do it perfect to get a better ending, or is it just different choices for flavor? I was actually expecting to pull out a plastic guitar. That would have been that would have been wild. There's three endings. Fuck me. Okay. Okay. Uh, you got neutral. All right. So we got to do the better ending and then the and the worst ending, I guess. Today's the truck is. All right. Here we go. We're gonna go ahead and skip to where the uh, the choices are. So for this one, let's let's see what happens if we defuse the situation. We're gonna do all of the options and then we'll figure out what the right ones are be thrown out at this rate you know the answers if you need help we'll, we'll do one run real quick where we do the other answers and then um if it isn't obvious you can go ahead and toss them out and those tickets ain't cheap time to roll a speech check apologize if we've done anything to offend but my girlfriend and i really just want to enjoy a quiet evening if you can hand us the tickets we'll be on our way when we're trouble i promise his good eye focuses back on me, a little less aggravated. Holy shit, it actually worked. It's like one of my western CRPGs. 
Enter the ruckus verse. My suave skills of persuasion has Fang's fury completely deflated. Here you go. Now move it. I don't want to hear any more trouble from any one of you. A moment after I grab the tickets from his claws, he leans forward, giving me a close look at his uh, uh, glass eyeball. It smells like a mix of ointment, bleach, and sulfur. Just between me and you, Mr. Mouse. You can do a whole lot better than this uppity extinction prolonger. See, I reckon it won't be long before you old little flame go the way of the dodo. That's all. Now y'all have a nice evening. Did something happen to the dodos? I turned to Fang. She does not look as content with all this diplomatic solution as I'd hoped. It's obvious in hindsight, but some are rough blind. One should be obvious before choosing, though. Say one more thing and you'll be a fossil. Pull out the pocket sand. <laughs> Prematurely pull out the pocket sand. Then head towards the auditorium. You shouldn't have caved to that bigot. I didn't want to cause a scene. He called me a fucking meteor dodger. I think we're grown-ups now. Sometimes you need to take an insult and move on. You can't just blow up at every douchebag you meet. We walk the rest of the way to the auditorium in silence. Alright, skippies. Alright, stay for that extra content. Eh, the joy of waiting is obviously lost on her. She doesn't know what she's missing. I get the opportunity to look around as name scroll down the screen. The others waiting for some post credits fan service or all various sorts of neckbeards. Pretty sure one of them is clinging to a superhero bongo pop. Well, might as well make myself comfy. The stream of literally who's finally comes to an end. A shot of rubble from the final battle is shown. Yes, I knew it. After fixating on the aftermath for a moment, a hand emerges from the rubble. Lo and behold, it's the villain. This is so lame. Why did I spend the time waiting for this? This reveal elicits an incredible response from the fans who stuck around. Applause, hollering, and several who seem to unhinge their jaw in amazement. Pretty sure the bongo pop guy is crying. Oh no. I ditched my tarot GF to hang around Redditors. <sighs> Screw this. I get up and power walk to the exit. I'm guessing it's more he didn't defend her that hurt. Yeah. Oh, you got the obvious one first go. Ending zero, Anna becomes an a a a MCU fan. Fang stands in the lobby smoking. Staff has given up at this point. She spots me in the crowd and puts out her smoke on the side of her boot. Hey, hey. So, did something cool happen? Not really. Really wasn't that long a wait. Something's off. She looks bored, but her tail is wagging rapidly. Though, it's not following its usual metronome-like rhythm. This is more... erratic. Worst ending deserved after that. Of course, consumers and soy jacks. Hey, do you want to take the scenic detour before we call it a night? Scenic detour? In this shithole? I don't know. I think I want to go home and reevaluate my life. <sighs> Relax, dweeb. You'll make it home before bedtime. Also, our bus left while you were jerked off in there. Next one will arrive in, like, an hour. Shit, my phone battery's too low for me to shitpost for that long. Hey, seriously? It's eight minutes at most. Alright, whatever. Not like I have a choice. Yes! Come on. Oh no, the piss cat risk wiggling. Or cat tail wiggling. Tail wiggling. Oh, only cure is long man juice. I like to say for the credits, but if I'm on that date that wants to go, I'll leave early. Oh, absolutely. You sh that that's expected. Come on, stay stay with the the goif. <clears throat> Fan grabs my arm and yanks me with unexpected strength to the exit of the building. 
Okay, did we get the skippies now? Shortly after, it was apparent what Fang meant by a slight detour. Armed with a spray can. Seems like this is what we see. Yeah. Alright, so... I think we're on the path for the bad ending right now, so I think we want to praise the art again because that seemed to be the bad choice. Am I late? Uh, we're getting through the first mod of the night, so... Kind of a little bit, but not like late, late. Okay, let's see if this does anything. Oh, yep. Here we go. We escape our would-be assailant quickly. In fact, I don't think he even tried chasing us. Must be as dumb with this shit as I am. Slowing our pace, we march to the bus stop. The hell was that thing? She looks at me in wild surprise. Why couldn't you let me enjoy my night off in peace? Spray painting graffiti for the thrill of it? Are you 14? We'd be in actual trouble if the police got involved. Yeah, this is the bad one. Uh, yeah, I could, I could kind of tell once uh, Anon started talking. <laughs> Do you not get that? Or are you just that self-centered? Crickets fill the silence between us. Fang is speechless, obviously not expecting me scolding her like some... Self-centered? It's thanks to me you even had the night off in the first place! Do you have any idea how long I waited for us to do something other than lounge around your shitty skin row apartment? Making an effort to get you some precious free time, only for you to dedicate to more fucking screen time! And I go, fine, I don't mind, as long as we get to spend time together. Because I'm a good fucking person! And as if that doesn't suck enough, you have to act like a human equivalent of a wet noodle the entire time! Thinking I need affirmation for the tiniest thing, meekly apologizing to actual garbage, and making me wait while you drowsily watch credits scroll with a bunch of lard asses! It's barely eight minutes. Don't! I don't need to hear it. You really don't get it, do you? I... I need some time to think. But the bus... Nasser will come pick me up. I'll see you around. Dweeb. Dumbfounded, I simply stood and watched her form fade into the streets. With her wings brought together and limp, her familiar heart-like silhouette now simply appears as an indistinct shape. She probably just needs a little time for herself. I'll call her tomorrow. What a terrible night out. Woo! And I blew it! Let's go! <laughs> Fang, just put on the Black Widow suit, please. Oh no, it's Joe over. And I'll be an upstanding caveman defending his fellow caveman who was suffering at the hand of the evil Trigger. <laughs> Joe over, my feelings are being attacked. Definitely bad ending. It's dying over, bros. It's truly dying over. We're quickly falling to E2, boys. <laughs> and I'll just picked himself a whole bouquet of oopsie daisies. <laughs> Ruin the relationship just like that. Alright, guys. Time for the happy stuff. Alright, so we know what the- make a scene. Uh, follow Fang. And then make fun of it. <laughs> is this why I almost suffered asphyxia-induced brain damage? This is just shilling your old high school band. Which isn't even active anymore. And it's on the backside of some little Trudon crack den. <laughs> what are you even thinking? No, oh, shut it. I respect the courage of an artist showing their work. Wasn't it you who can stop laughing when I showed you those music tracks I made? I thought they were great. Until you told me it wasn't supposed to be EDM. And not some... It was supposed to be EDM. And not some post-ambient hyperdrome. That was pretty funny. You know, Trish could definitely whip up something cool in no time. She's got a pretty good grasp on urban art. Makes sense. She is pretty urban. And that's why she did all the graphic design for the band. Compressed JPEGs and all. Fang now hands me the half-empty spray can. Your turn. I see a clean spot over there. You sure? <sighs> what should I write? Any actual artwork is out of the question. Okay, then we can skip now. And now for the good ending. Makes sense making fun of it would make her happy. She likes shooting the shit and banter. 
A tinge of remorse hits as I process what just happened. Are we in trouble? As in actual trouble? Shit, what if he's pursuing us? What if the cops are pursuing us? So we rupture Jesus, we gotta get out of here. Sweat drips down my forehead, boots hitting asphalt. Desperate gasps for air. Am I about to collapse again? Rounding the corner of the block, a bus stop comes into view. It seems we lost him a while ago. If he even tried to follow us at all. Depending on how you made fun of it, of course. Yeah, that's why I was like, I don't know, is Xanon gonna be a dickhead making fun of it, or... <sighs> God damn it. Whole evening has been a mess. Why is a city filled with so many weirdos? I only get to spend some proper time with Fang. And I just had to insist we spend it watching another movie. No wonder she's been so restless today. Must have been bored out of her mind. Mm. Is she... bored of me? Well, I wouldn't blame her if she was. With all the long shifts I've taken instead of spending time with her. It's how relationships start falling apart. What if she wants us to... take a break? Oh god. I've changed a lot after graduation, but... Already? Shit, I'm hyperventilating. Please, Raptor Jesus, my heart can't handle a simultaneous breakup and panic attack. This is it. Once she catches her breath, she'll break up with me. I'm sure of it. Oh, and on you stupid retard. Ruining the one good thing in your life because you had to pay off canteen cookies and sandwiches. I need to say something. It can't end this way. Uh, what? Huh? Her embrace promptly shuts me up. My surprise seems to freeze time around me. As if we're trapped in the amber of this moment. He's mumbling again, isn't he? He probably was. Ragged bre uh, breathing is the only sound as we gently sway side to side. Hot and damp from running, the feathers of her wings cling tightly to my body. Classic animal mumbling. Animal needs to work the lanklet out of him in E4. Can't lift his girl, can't run. It's like being encased in a snug velvet cocoon. To think that mere seconds ago I was convinced that I'd never experience this again. What are you sorry for, dweeb? Tonight's been great! But I thought that I'd be mad at you because we ran into some the same asshole twice? No? Maybe? You've been acting distant this whole time. I was sure you'd gotten bored of me. <laughs> bored of you? Even hear yourself? Earlier you shut up some deranged moss back with the most impassioned rant about pasta. And then you threw sand in his eyes when he threatened you with nunchucks. And on, despite the unassuming appearance, you're the most interesting guy I've met. Her feathered elbow grazes mine. I won't be bored of you anytime soon. I swear she just winked at me. <clears throat> Please excuse me for a moment. Thank you, Raptor Jesus! Shut the fuck up, you Bible thumper! It's a shame I'll have to return to the Marinara sweatshop soon. I don't know when I'll be free to hang out again. Mmm, I might be able to work something out. What? How? Well, considering that you usually work until closing time with Mo, I might call in another favor and drop by for some... After our pizza and pasta. Really? Candle at dinner at Moe's? Make it work? Uncle Mo won't mind. In fact, he might get a bit too excited. Speaking of, your tail start, uh, started straight up wagging once pizza was mentioned. Self-awareness hits her like a truck. <laughs> Jealous I have one, Mr. Caveman? You know, I'm starting to quite like that moniker. Well, too bad, because it'll be Monkey Man from now on. With the amount of mumbling Anon does, he should release a mixtape. <laughs> Real question, why are elbows got elbows? Stairs. Think Anon would be a good writer? Mmm. That'd be up for debate. All right, so that's terrific night out. Good, good close on that. Took us about an hour. 
Now we're going to be moving on to Mojob. But that said, I have drank a lot of liquids and I need to take a quick piss. So we're going to take just a quick break here. Anybody, you can go grab your own drinks. You can go take your own pisses. Do whatever you need to do. We'll be back in a couple minutes. I'm going to cut to the BRB screen. I'll be right back. <sighs> Where's the button? The button's not working. Fuck. Okay, the old piss tank's been emptied. And it's mumbling Fang's tail wagging, they both have their tails. And it's cute. Monkey. Inca would 100% listen to Anon mumble rap. <laughs> the skinnies gotta stick together, you know, support one another. Call the mixtape mumble rap. I bet Inca would be like some of Anon. I bet Inca would like some of Anon's mumbling rap, yeah. I'll join you, Lamau. I know you meant that you'll go and do a ba like take a bathroom break as well, but when you say I'll join you, it makes it sound like as soon as I got up to walk away, you were gonna walk through my monitor and come like also take a piss with me. Um, which scares me. <laughs> I heard tell you about dime, buddy Keith. <sighs> When's the last time I played fucking Left for Dead? Holy shit. It has been forever. Left for Dead 2. Oh, I have not played that since October 2nd, 2021. Oh, I'm doing I I'm I I've got to I got to go back and play it again at some point. You see me and the me and my boys when we would play um Left for Dead, we we stopped playing like the campaigns normally. And we started being fucking crackheads, and we, we did this thing where we were trying to beat every single campaign on Special Delivery Expert. Let me tell you, that is like putting your balls in a vice and just twisting and twi We did beat, I think, every campaign on that, though. That was crazy. And like we have in we have so many fucking in jokes now, one of them being pushing spawns because my buddy Kane would always do this thing where we'd all get like backed. We'd be we'd be fighting for our fucking lives against like several seven special infected in one area and he would just start running forward and like leave us behind. He's like, I'm pushing spawns and making him spawn appear so you guys can catch up. I'm pushing spawns. Inevitably, he get fucking wiped. But <laughs> oh, man, I need to see if I can get them all together so we can do like a fucking a session of that because that shit's fun as fuck and there's a lot of good moments too and the winged hussars arrived i love the top view of uh rambo we love our boy pat pat pissing with chat when um ideally never <laughs> I ideally never but uh probably unfortunately at some point Dropping in to say thanks for the streams. Watch two, uh, one uh, two weeks after stream. While well, I had food poison, it helped a lot, bro. Oh, I'm glad you appreciated it. Huh. Thanks for popping in to say hey, too. So it's always cool to see people be like, hey, yo, love the shit. It's like, oh, yeah. People did watch it, huh? That's crazy. 
SCP just appears from your computer and follows you into the bathroom. Call that the piss, the, the piss CP. All right, I'm back. I'm in the basement with my computer and the bathroom is up on the second floor. So by the time I'm there, you're probably already done. You know, I know you said basement is where you are and the second floor is where the toilet is, but can you imagine like a reality where the toilet's in the basement and you're on the second floor and you just have like a fucking piss shoot and you just, you have to aim and you're like, okay, let's let her rip. Just try and fucking arc that shit. Make it like a mini game. You know, I've heard that like some places have like actual piss mini games. Like, like fucking... I don't know what it is, like a urinal with like, you know that one like carnival game where you use the, the fucking water guns and you try to fill up, like hit the target so that it pops a balloon first? Yeah, it's kind of like that, <laughs> but with your piss. Cheeseburger apocalypse. Mo job is pretty lengthy. Okay, cool, cool. But it is a, it's, it's a one and done though, right? I'm not gonna have to actually like, there's, you, I think you said there was one flavor choice. So we can check that out uh, really quick after or during. Pissing with Chad is the intermission, always has been. <laughs> no, 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 I, you misunderstand. I mean like actually we all get together or like I take you into the bathroom with me and we piss. That one's not happening. Remember Buddy clipped a session of Left 4 Dead 2. Smo uh, a smoker got me through the safe house door as soon as we ended the chapter, choking me as the end screen faded. Hey, <laughs> you know, you might be getting fucking murked, but you made it. Silver linings, right? Live piss stream. We piss so hard that it sounds like a fire. Cue the cue the one like fucking meme where it's like, hm, you frying chicken in there? No, but for real, you piss loud as fuck. And I think that's pretty cool. You have to embark on an adventure every time. You get an exercise when you have to go piss when you have to walk up like two flights of stairs. Could have stopped that train of thought before it started. Yeah, that happens a lot. <laughs> that happens a lot. Maybe I should think more. Uh, thinking hurts sometimes, though. I don't know if I want to. I do that with urinal cakes. Well, you see, the thing I do when I like have to piss in like a toilet or something, I always, I, I mean, I'm sure most people do this. Most guys do this. They, they try to find like the perfect angle where you get minimal splash and minimal sound. Like you, you make the stealth piss happen, you know? Piss games. Y'all ever heard of uh, Urge? <laughs> Literally is a piss game. <laughs> it's like three sets of stairs I have to walk up. Oy. Yeah, my toilet is... um. I walk uh, a couple feet over there, open a door, and I'm in my bathroom. Easy peasy. Pissing all by yourself there, handsome? Is that photo of a Japanese urinal with the anime girls, does that count? <sighs> Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. Japanese anime girl urinal. I have to look this up. What the fuck? That's not real, right? That's not real. That's fake. That that has to be doctored image. I refuse. Get me out of here. Speaking of piss, Undertale 2. <laughs> Damn, bro, you frying chicken in there? What? No, I aim for the middle? You, wait, hold up. Loud in you. Oh no! Oh no! That's sinister. <laughs> you no. The splash. Holy shit! I go to the bathroom seated all the time now, basically, unless there is a urinal. I mean, generally, I do too. It's just easier. Like I said, like I mean. There, there's the splash you have to consider if you're standing up pissing in a toilet and like, you know, if you just sit down, you cut down on like that almost fully. <laughs> I don't aim. I let fate take the wheel. Has Jesus stirred you wrong yet? That's what I have to know. <laughs> I'm 
Gerotti. All right, well, n now that you said that, I have to take a look and see when did I last play fucking TF2. TF2. 2018, holy fuck. Holy fuck. Am I even a gamer anymore? <laughs> Chat took a detour and I love it. That's what happens with chat all the fucking time. Someone says one thing and then I fucking, they, 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 they bait me, they bait me, right? And then I just start throwing, I just throw a bunch of wood on the fire and it cut, everybody's like, oh yeah, piss time, let's go! Wait, is that, uh, Anon's OG tiny ES phone there? Yeah, the small baby phone. That's as long as a fucking key. Book. <laughs> Thing awkwardly trying to find things to compliment Anon. Nice piss stream, Anon. Why did I do that? That, that there's a <laughs> I saw like a, a video, like a I think it was like an AI voice post of uh, you know that one scene. I mean, fuck. I I can literally just pull up the. What I'm thinking of here, extras, gararia, where is it? Yep, the, it's it's these ones. This picture in particular, I think. And it's just an AI voice post of Fang going like, oh, nice cock. I mean, uh, nice, nice dick. I mean, great schlong. I mean, yep, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Base Chad Pisser. That's some E1 pissing energy right there, Twisted. <laughs> yeah. I wipe the edge if it splashes, I'm not an animal. But why even have it splash in the first place? <laughs> why add the work? Thing on the toilet. Okay, Anon, now aim in between my legs. I <sighs> Unhinged. Unless I'm so tired sitting down would lead to falling asleep. I have I don't think I've ever been so tired that I've feared if I sat down on the toilet I'd fall asleep. I think I've fallen asleep in the shower once. Cause like I laid down for a second. Have y'all ever done that? Just like lay down in the shower and let the water just hit you like in the upper chest and face and just been like, oh fucking god damn it. I know I passed out once like that. Damn, was it pre-blue moon? Also, it's more awkward if there's no sound. What's he doing if he ain't pissing? But it, but that enigma's great. Keep them guessing. Yeah, but now what you're doing. Olivia, nice piss, Inko. A little weak, though. Inko would have a bit of a weaker piss. Didn't have to finish. <laughs> Bruh. Saw that, that's great. I walk into piss talk. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> think Fang is kinky? I think it would be a, a, a reach to say that Fang isn't a little kinky. Piss stream welcome. Oh yeah, it's nice to sit in the shower. I like it. Because like, you know, a bath takes too long to set up and then you're just, you're human stew. Shower, you can sit down and just like fucking let it come down. Let it rain. You know, like. Let your sins just get washed away. I also take, like, blazingly hot showers. I like being purged by holy water. Or holy fire, I guess. No, but I read a post where someone would lay down in a bath and they'd kick the drain and pretend they're defrosting on a spaceship. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Also done this. <laughs> if you have a shower bench, you're too rich and shouldn't be here. I just sit on like the like the floor of the shower and I'll just sit there. And like it's kind of like a bathtub sort of deal. So like I, there's like a little bit of an incline and you can just kind of lay your back against it. That's what I do. I've only seen like a couple of places with like fucking bench shower. When did shit enter the convo? Wait, what? When? Wait, did I say shit? When did I say shit? Oh god. Are we finished with Snoop Mods or- Unfortunately, no, we got through one. <laughs> we only got through one, man. It's so bad out here. 
thinking about how ugly the dinos would be in real life. Get that guy. Arrest him now. Makes good breath holding practice. Now this is a piss take in between. Ewan Inko, I piss in the shower. Everyone else, sad face. And I'm looking nervous as Fang brings out the riding crop and collar. Uh, what are you gonna do with those, babe? Also, let me open up these links here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hold up a minute. Hold up a minute. We got, our, we got ourselves the, the A team here. The Dragon's Dogma A team. We have Chad. We have Chad. And we have Magic Chad. God damn. Who would have seen this one coming? <laughs> yeah, but what's the Arisen look like? That's what I gotta ask myself right now. These are all the pawns. What the, what's what's Homeboy look like over here? <laughs> the video in question. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. This, this is the this is the pissing in. Wow, uh, Anon. Here we go. Nice cock. I mean dick. I mean penis. We'll I mean shaft. I mean member. I mean schlong. I mean tool. I mean Johnson. I mean prick. I mean Peter. I mean Pecker. I mean Phallus. I mean Willie. I mean Weenie. I mean manhood. I mean wood. I mean third leg. I mean anaconda. I mean breeding stick. I mean baby maker. I mean blow stick. I mean chop. I mean crank. I mean dingling. I mean ding dong. I mean dipstick. I mean dunk. I mean flesh flute. It, I mean. And we're not even flute. halfway. I mean, <laughs> I mean hard on. I mean joystick. I mean junk. I mean knob. I mean little finger. I mean love stick. Little finger. I mean meat, Wait a popsicle. minute. I mean middle leg. I mean package. I mean peen. I mean pisser. I mean rod. I mean sausage. I mean skin flute. I mean stiffy. I mean third leg. I mean trouser snake. I mean unit. I mean wing. I mean yogurt launcher. Fucking nice pants. <laughs> uh. Thanks, Fang. No problem, Anon. Want me to hold your balls? I mean your testicles. I mean your nuts. I mean. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> no, I will fight pissing while taking a shower. You're getting clean. It's all pipes. I piss in the shower. I'm not. I'm not gonna fucking hide it. I'm getting in there anyway. The water's going the same place. Fuck all of you. I'm pissing in the shower. And then I'm gonna clean up myself. You just make sure that the you push all the piss down the drain by sloshing the water down there and get it all out. Manderstein's right! <laughs> I'll join you on that fucking hill. You mean gator wife would be beautiful, exactly. I think every man pisses in the shower at least once in life. But why admit it? Like the hell out of the gator, all Chad. I think left Chad was arisen. I don't, was he? Hold up, let me pop that up again. Because I'm pretty sure the pawns are all the same size on like the, uh, the, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the list there. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if they were also Chad. Actually, I double up once or twice, I think. There her eyes go to the side of her skull. You would learn to love it. Can people like, uh, can people buy like a bathtub bench? Uh, like from Walmart or something for old people. You probably could. You could probably find, or you could just get like a fucking like fold out lawn chair, like a really small one, like a baby one that fits in there and just sit in that. You can make it work if you really want it. Nazar just sh shrinks one inch each time, each time. Right in front of your brother. <laughs> there are a lot of slang words for penis. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they sure shit are, aren't they? Especially in front of my brother, Favid. Shower pisser outed. If shower pissing's what I have to be, like, if that's my Jesus moment, that's when I get crucified and put on the cross, so be it. <laughs> Better to die standing than live kneeling. <laughs> Thing would be the one to know so many different words for that one just aim for the drain yeah no see that's another thing you do it's not like you just piss on your feet or anything <laughs> it's not a big deal it's like the line no one ever goes in the pool okay wait a minute <laughs> wait a minute no 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 hold up hold up hold up hold up no 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 you don't piss in the pool especially if it isn't like a public pool you don't piss in that there's there's other people in there 
<laughs> Look, shower pissing's one thing, pool pissing's another. You don't pool piss. <laughs> that one's wrong. Get that guy. <laughs> nah, I piss in the shower and I feel like it. I got in the habit of shower pissing like last fall. Y you know, <laughs> whenever I think of shower pissing, I think of the Jimmy Neutron movie when Sheen was pissing in the shower <laughs> with his Ultra Lord mask. I don't know if that. I don't know if that anybody else can like rip that one from their memory. I don't know if anybody's got that filed away. I know I do. Nah, I piss. I can't shower piss. Cleaning my own bathroom afterwards feels like a sin. <laughs> washed away but I know what happened the stain of my piss it'll always be there I'll always know oh shit dragon dogma 2 update hold on ah, goes to look at the patch notes what'd they do where's my patch notes oh it's a 1.6 update what the fuck Hello? There's no notes? I'm mad? Shower pissing is better than regular pissing. <laughs> Never pissed in the pool. Does require cleaning, even if you aim for the drain. You can smell it after a while. Drink more water to it. Yeah, no, my, my piss has not been like that pungent. Especially since like I soap up afterwards and like that kind of like I, I don't think I've ever really had a piss smell in my shower after. Pool pissing is why I never swim in public pools. You know, I, I, as a kid, the idea of a water park seems so appealing. But now, nowadays, I'm an adult and when we're in a post-COVID world, it just is like, wait, why would I ever go? Wait, that's disgusting. I would need to bleach myself afterwards. Or stop eating asparagus. Oh yeah, asparagus piss do be potent. Maybe when I was little they did, but after... No, I never piss in the pool. There's an age when it, but when when you realize that you you are participating in a society, and if you piss in the pool, uh, you you're, you are scum. <laughs> pool pisser in the base. I repeat, pool pisser in the base. Call the cops. Get somebody out here now. Hmm, what do you mean by this? Anyone who says they don't piss in the shower are obviously lying and need to apologize to Jesus for such a blatant lie. <laughs> Repent now, fucker. I'm peeing in the shower. Yep. Yep, that's Sheen, for sure. Alert. Red piss in the base. Protect the toilets. Protect the pools. I instantly thought of Sheen when I first pissed in the shower. <laughs> I'm glad it's not, like, just me. I just got out of the movie and you're still on the title screen. Leave me alone, Requiem! <laughs> we did one mod! We're talking about piss now! Knew a clue how to spell his name. Isn't it just like S H E E N? That's how I would guess. I could just fucking look it up. That's the thing. I have the power of the internet on my side. Uh, Jimmy Neutron. Neutron. Newt. Newt. Neutron. Sheen. Yeah, it's just double E. I was right. Stream is devolved like Anon's Unga Bunga ancestors. We cavemen up in this bitch. Just a hard-ass place typing was best for his kids, but doesn't really know how to do that. <clears throat> we talking? We talking about Rip? Big Rip? A water park is named after the water sports NSFW tag. Changed my mind. I'm not even touching that one with a 10-foot pole. <laughs> if you're like four, it's one thing pissing in a pool is excusable. I, I would argue it's not excusable, but it's understandable, okay? Uh, they're, 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 I feel like there's two different things there. <laughs> South Park ruined water parks for a lot of people, I'm sure. <laughs> there was a there was just a fucking water park piss video, or not video, uh, episode, wasn't there? <laughs> oh crap, I remember the go, 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 after that, yep. I wonder how that movie would hold up nowadays. <laughs> what if I watched that movie now? Ringworm ruined my idea of public pools. Ooh. Okay, real question. Shit after or before shower? Uh... I guess before? I don't think it really matters, to be honest. As long as you wipe good, should be fine. 
I know one person uh, who... I think they said before that anytime they had to take a shit, they would have to take a shower afterwards. And I'm like, oh, rough. No idea what the patch did. Good. <laughs> I gotta download 1.6 for a question mark, question mark, question mark. 1.6 gigs. Huh. Alright. Very cool. When it wants to come out. <laughs> you go when you go and you don't go a second sooner. Good timings. I just woke up. Hello. Okay. <clears throat> Welcome. <clears throat> we weren't just talking about piss for like a solid half hour. Work days before, days off after. Shitting before a shower is optimal speedrun strats. Having to go after a shower fucking sucks. Yeah, I think I'm more on twisted side things here. You just kind of go when you go. If I need to go before a shower, I go before a shower. If I kind of feel like, oh, I need to go during the shower, I do it after the shower. I don't try to waffle stomp it. That would be fucking insane. Wasn't there a new South Park game? Uh, maybe. I haven't kept track of those. Presumably the, tw uh, the Twitter will release something. Okay. I guess I'll have to take a look at that maybe after stream. Might have something then. Better question, night showers or morning showers? Uh, I'm a night shower guy. I don't like showering in the morning. That's just like another step I have to do uh, outside of like getting ready for everything. I'd rather shower at night and then go to bed all cozy like. That makes me happy. <laughs> Awful stomping is true psycho paper. Exactly, that's why I don't fucking do it. So what did I miss? Uh, just a handful of things. No, I'm actually gonna have to shower. Shivering in the shower after shitting. Dirty. So dirty. Need to clean myself. Welcome to the piss stream. You know, that, that works in multiple ways, huh? <laughs> piss stream. Stream about piss. A piss stream itself. What a, what a funny little array of words. It's before for me, so I can clean more thoroughly down there. Is it golden? One might even say, might go as far as to say yes, that this piss stream is golden. Trying to imagine what Fang would be typing in this chat right now with this whole conversation. Lol, what the fuck? <laughs> Anna would be probably say something like preach. <laughs> Just call all of us dweebs. Taking a look at the OST for Wani, there's a specific one named after the, the game that has actual lyrics and technically has Inko's official voice. Lyrics are so sweet. Yeah, I've seen that before. I uh, I don't think I've listened to the whole thing, but I, I, I'm i definitely aware of it. And I've heard like a, a good first bit of it. Bet he's flirting with other girls. BF, just piss chat on stream. He's probably out there doing, he's probably out there trying to get other girls. Him actually just watching a stream talking about piss the whole time. Brilliant. Love it. Yeah, the trailer song. Mm -hmm. I'm a little too lazy in the morning to shower, so I do it later in the day or night. Now, I will say if um, if I'm like if I need to like wake up and I didn't shower the night prior, I'm not opposed to doing like a morning shower. It's just if I'm given the choice to shower the night before something or the day of, I'm going to opt for the night before. It just makes me happier. Olivia would probably post this chat in her Dino Women only forum board. <laughs> Look at these fucking dudes. You always talk about piss dweeb. Okay, how often do we shower here? Oh no. <laughs> that that one's opening the can. I'm every other day. Same. Once a day skipping if I'm late to my class. I shower in the morning to wake up, might shower at night if I'm especially sweaty. I usually shower after workout, helps those muscles from getting sore and tense the next day. Okay. Okay. So. I don't shower every day. I would say. Now let me, let me preface this, okay? I work from home. I don't go out a lot. 
I'll shower if I work out, which I try to work out like three times a week, but sometimes I slip off that. I would say typically, unless it's every two days between my workouts, I probably hit like the three or four marker. Now I know I'm going to get fucking, I, I, I can hear people coming for me. I can, I can hear it. If I need to go out, I make sure to shower before that. All right. But otherwise it's kind of, I just play it by ear. And when I feel like, Ooh, I need to take a shower. I go take a shower. If I need to wake up for something, then yes, I'll shower in the morning. Your gamer smell before bed every day. I used to shower like every night, and then I just slow. I don't. I think it was when I moved out for for college. I stopped doing that, and I was like, "Huh, there's really no discernible difference." <laughs> Interesting. Bro, I wear deodorant and use soap and shampoo. What do you mean? Yeah, yeah. You give it the whole works. You you put every. You, you, is just an average okay that is the gravest insult anyone has ever levied against me how dare you <laughs> how fucking dare you the motherfuckers will go weeks without it no matter how much you shower or don't we still love you shower bro <sighs> you made me cry over here <laughs> piss bro stick together right <laughs> average wani arcade goer once a week, day, I meant once a day, smile. It's okay, you're, you're among, you're among friends. Carefully, like, lowers my hand to get everybody to stand down before they jump him. You get it? Sometimes it's hard to shower when you don't have an excuse often. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, sometimes I just kind of have, a. Uh, like, you know, those, uh, those moments of just like, eh, I really don't care. Eh, I don't have the strength to do it today. You know, I don't know if that's like, I mean, that's like, uh, that's, that's like one of the symptoms of like depression in it. Like just not having this, like, what is it? The motivation. But I mean, other than that, it's like, eh, if, if I need to shower, I shower. I, it's kind of what it comes down to. Like tonight, I'll probably go take a shower. Because I, I feel like I need to take a shower. So after stream tonight, I'll be popping in there and just going, ah, wah, wah, wah. Day showers hit me when I started my first year of college to wake up for 9 a.m. Mistake. Oh, man. I only ever had like one like super early class when I was in college. And it was like an 830 class. And co consequently, that's the only class I made a C in. And I, you know, I'm not going to say that the fucking early uh, part of it had anything to do with it, but uh, I'm going to blame everything on the early part of it. All right. I'm going to be real with you. <laughs> that shit sucked so bad. Every day I work at a fab, sh uh, fab shop, still grease sucks. Said I have a cast on right now, so I'm kind of forced to wait a couple days for convenience sake. Can't get it wet. Mm. Mm, that not good. Compulsive showering can be bad. Yeah. Yeah, I heard that. I know, like, uh, if you do shower every day, you're not supposed to, like... I think most people aren't supposed to, like, wash their hair every single day or something akin to that. Then again, I feel like there's always conflicting information regarding all that, and you're just supposed to do what works for you best, right? <clears throat> okay, I'll say it. Olivia probably has that stank. Got that girl smell. I'm in the same boat as you when it comes to the shower schedule. Mm-hmm. I sit upon my swamp ass throne, uneaten snacks and half drunk soda lay on my domain. Praise be for I am the true gamer. Then bust her own nuts. Nurgle salutes you. <laughs> average warm shower fan versus me, the average cold shower enjoyer. I, can't, I just can't do cold showers, right? Like, I don't know. Some people say it's, it's like really good for you and you should do cold showers, but I'm like, nah, turn that shit like all the way to the left until it feels until like I, I have trouble standing in the heat and I have to turn it back a little bit. And you, you, you just you start 
turning it up a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more every time you start getting acclimated and just keep the heat going. I want that motherfucking mirror in the bathroom to be fogged to hell and back by the time I get out. <laughs> Does Olivia shower the chair? She hits it with some Febreze, I'm sure. Your shower probably does have one of those fold-out seats. Yeah, you'd, you'd hope so, at least, right? Went from pissing in the shower to sharing our shower schedules. I don't know how to feel. It's the boys! It's the boys. There's uh, stools for showers. It's golden and all the same. Nah, man. Cold showers remind me of being poor. Cold showers when you need to have, like, your character arc moment, I feel. <laughs> Gotta sit in the cold shower and just like fist up against the wall. It's the best uh, 9 a.m. class too. It's a psych stats class. See, my uh, 830 class was just a fucking pure statistics course. And I kind of have like a disdain for dis uh, statistics. Like I'm a math guy. I like math. But statistics pisses me off because it's like I, the one thing I remember from statistics is like Okay, well, how are we supposed to do this? Oh, no, it's up for interpretation. What the fuck do you mean it's up for interpretation? What, what, this isn't a multiple choice, like, question here. What? Huh? You know, just justify your answer. Fuck you. I'm generally good at making myself sack up. Eat, you need it. Shower, you need it. So on. Yeah, I don't really have issues with eating. I mean, okay. Let me rephrase that. I will sometimes just get so engrossed in something that I don't eat for like most of the day and I'll have like one meal and then I'll realize I went 12 hours without eating and I'm like, huh, maybe I should eat something and then I'll go eat. But then again, I've also kind of cut back from like three meals a day to more of like a two meal a day type deal just because like I don't get as hungry as often anymore. Which is surprising because I'm still like one, like one what, I think like 180, 178, somewhere around there. And again, like I said, I work from home a lot, so it's not like I'm out and about and working my ass off and burning a bunch of calories, so I really don't need that much intake, I guess. Turns out this is a mod story, just Anon Reed and Azar chatting about piss. Yo, somebody write that down. Somebody write that down right now. <laughs> Ever been told that you smell like metal if you don't want to? Don't work in anything related to metal working. <laughs> Surprise, surprise, if you don't want to smell like metal, don't go to the metal shop. <laughs> you aren't supposed to use shampoo if you shower every day, or you dry it out. Yeah, that's no goo. And I got long hair too, so I actually got to kind of try and I actually need to go to like the fucking, it's been forever since I've gotten this thing cut. It was like pre-COVID forever type deal. I need to go get like the ends trimmed because they're definitely splitting at this point. Petition for, for full room showers so you can use those rolly chair things from gym in there. <laughs> Sitting on it butt ass naked, the water is coming down, you just wee, and then you run over your fucking fingers and you start crying. Interestingly enough, I imagine Fang is oddly prissy about that stuff. I don't know what, but it gives me that feeling though. Like hot, I like hot water, but not itchy hot. Mm. I mean, that makes sense. Welcome to the piss stream glitch. I have a joke. About presumably being Eastern European, can I use it? I cannot do cold showers. Y'all do who do more built different. You know what? I that does remind me. My dad uh recently started doing like ice plunges, because like their house is on a lake. And he started doing it to where he he'll just do like a he'll plunge himself into the lake for like some amount of time and then work out and now that it's becoming summer apparently he's planning on investing in like an ice bath like one of those ice bath tubs and i'm like what <laughs> what he's like no it's been it's been really good it's been helping me out and i i, I, I felt like i've been doing better with it. i'm like i mean shit good for you man <laughs> I, couldn't be me but hey more power to you Communist apartment block? Warm water? Never heard of it. God damn it. What mod are we on? We're gonna be on, if somebody hasn't already said it, yeah. Uh, like Twisted said, Mojob. That's the one we're gonna be going up to next. We'll probably be uh, starting here soon because we, <laughs> we've done, we've managed almost another hour of intermission. <laughs> this is a dumb one. I think cold showers are more of a mental thing than the, uh, rather than physical. But yes, for also for character development. What a name like Tabor Novotny. 
I'm surprised you can even have Sean Shepard in there. He, he beat you to the joke, didn't he, Van? Just in <laughs> Shower? That sounds like reaction to our language, comrade. Just can't be bothered to find out how to change my name on YouTube. I think it's pretty... I, I don't think it's too hard, because I know I changed... Because, like, my previous alias before Humanoto was uh, Drifter2011. And I think I was able to pop that over pretty stress-free on uh, YouTube. It's, like, in the settings somewhere. Cat is now firmly in my lap. She's been trying since the stream started, but I had, to, uh, but I sat her off. She hopped up and plopped down too fast for me to catch. You're doomed. Sorry. I need a little like, I need like a little uh, animal friend at this point. I need somebody to keep me company. Fingers only hurt when it was your friend crashing into you intentionally. <laughs> yeah. Man. The old gym days. The only gym memory I have nowadays is when, like, I want to say 8th grade, we were doing, like, no, ninth grade, we were doing, like, running around the, uh, the, the gym or whatever, like, doing circles and, like, you know, whatever you want to call it, warm-up or I don't know what it was, but I, I, for some reason I had it in my mind that I really, 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 really wanted to, like, perform well that day, so I just started sprinting, sprinting like a motherfucker, and, um, you might have you might have heard me say before my uh, cardio is shit um so i got a really good time hell i beat like some of the other guys um but then i immediately had to go over to the trash can sit there and throw up uh, the pop tart i had eaten um because i uh, my heart rate must have been probably like super fucking high at that point because i'm not used to uh, pushing myself um like that so that's the only memory i really have I still think that I probably have some mild form of asthma, if I'm honest. Because, like, <laughs> I, I don't know. I feel like my heart rate, like, even though I've, like, gotten better, I feel like I just don't breathe right when I'm, like, running or something. It fucking sucks. Oh, yeah, no job. Uh, we will be. We will be. We on the piss mod. That is, like, li literally the Norwegian Iceman. Have we drained the snake? We've drained many a thing. That was the mod I missed. Uh, terrific night out. It was pretty fun. It's it's goofy. It's got uh, it's surprising. It's got three endings, but um, <laughs> the surprise character was uh, <laughs> was fun. I'll say that. I think there's a mod where you date Trish. Yeah, though I think people were saying that it wasn't complete. It's not difficult. It used, uh, used to be Zalos Middleborn. That was before I knew Melbourne was a city in Australia, and I did not pronounce it the same. <laughs> I have no issues with that. If you get a car, if you get a car, remember they demand your attention and love. They do not uh, a car, a cat. But, okay, hey, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, wait, 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 wait. I know you meant cat, but let me tell you this. Okay. My brother, me and him both have a car, right? And we, I mean, we live in the same uh, apartment. So we're in the same uh, parking lot and everything, right? This motherfucker doesn't drive. Uh, he takes like public transport and everything for when, when he has to get to class. I mean, like there's, there's um, at, the, at the university we're at, they have buses that run and everything, right? It's all fine. He doesn't drive at all. I'm, anytime we go to like the store to pick up some groceries, anytime we order something out, I'm the one who drives to go pick it up. This motherfucker has not had it once, but twice, where his car just wouldn't start because his battery ran out of charge because he doesn't drive the fucking thing. And like the first time, I think his battery like completely died and my dad had to buy him a new car battery. And then just recently, it happened again and I that was the first time I've ever had to jumpstart a car. So, you know, I have the knowledge how to jumpstart a car now. I guess that's cool. And since then, <laughs> since that point, he's been going out and driving it just like 20 minutes around the block and shit. And I'm like, okay, look, every other week now, you're going to go pick up our fucking burgers. <laughs> Animal pets, too expensive. Get yourself a Roomba. We do have a Roomba. Oh man, I should, oh man, I should attach a real gun to him. Yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> wait. All right, new I new stream idea. <laughs> We're gonna make Rainbow. Rainbow V two. 
No idea, just thought it was a good fantasy name. Vanderstein is the name of my WoW Paladin. It's funny how, uh, like, online names come around. I know Drifter2011 was just a name that, uh, my dad had set for our, uh, fucking, like, old Xbox Live account. Homonoto was one that I made for a Dark Souls character, just because I was like, eh, you know, why not? It's 1.29 p.m. EST, and you're listening to the Piss Cast. I was gonna try and do a piss noise, but then I couldn't really think of what a piss noise was. Maybe if I, like... Mm -mm. It's like bong water. <laughs> Turns in gold shower. Alexa, play the stains of time in max volume. God, the patch notes were dropped on Twitter and they're blank. <laughs> they're in a readable font color. Oh, that's going to be a good patch then. It was the mod with Uncle Ruckus. Yep, yep. Paste a lot of my... I paste a lot of my legs and stamina. It's pretty good. Like passive cardio. I wish my like my my like I'm I can bench press and squat my own weight like but fucking <laughs> you ask me to run for a long time I'm dead rather die than date that trigger whoa crazy car cat same thing yeah dog wants dog wants that mod for Trish is done I'm gonna be on that shit fast because I'm a degenerate Trish lover uh you're you're one of the, you're one of those huh? shakes my head. Lolana, you die and you won't be far from her. <laughs> I mean, they both purr. Listen to that baby rumble. <laughs> Art thrower Roomba. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna spread democracy for us. Attach a flamethrower onto it. Doesn't Rainbow Mark II already exist? Well, we're gonna be we're gonna be modeling it after Rainbow Mark II because it's a bigger Roomba. It's it's not a tiny Roomba. I know, but still. <laughs> No, it's just called Mark II. Name comes from Young Me's Minecraft Pocket Edition days. I just said fuck it and stuck with it. It's beautiful. Patch is just what they tweeted a few days ago. Really? Pulls it up. Oh no! Use necessary cookies only, please. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna be born on 010101. That should work, right? Wait, no. Wait, what? No. I, dude, oh god, I don't know what just happened. I, I just thought, oh man. I said 2001? Well, that would mean I'm 13, right? And then I looked over at the calendar and it was like 24. I was like, oh fuck, right. Oh, we're, <laughs> we're that far ahead. I forgot. Oopsies. Fuck. <laughs> oh wow, that text is terrible, isn't it? Wow. Here, let me let me pop this on screen so you guys can see this. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> hey guys, you, you see that? You see the fashion notes? The squint. Uh, PlayStation Steam added the option. Oh, what, what, what do we? What, oh, look at that. It's almost like if they used a different font color, it would be way fucking easier to read this shit. Added the option to start a new game when save data already exists. Big, huge. Let's go. <laughs> I know some people were really, uh, really hoping for that. Can't see shit, Captain. Capcom quality. It's a secret. I think that intermission section on the vid when it gets put up is gonna be longer than the story sections. Oh, that's becoming a reoccurring theme, I'm starting to realize. Am I a just chatting streamer? Have have I have I fucking converted? Trash lover. We don't like your kind around here. Moonpick is also something I've had for ages. It's from this cute art of two cat girls walking in the snow. The lore. What's funny is I swapped to main Warlock after Legion. That's been my main for a while. I have never played WoW. The, like the most, uh, what is it? What the, those are MMOs, right? That, that's what that genre is. I think, right? The, the only one I've ever really played was like FF14. Uh, and I was just playing like the free version at some point my brother and I kind of thought about like jumping back in and trying to actually do some content uh, I know when I played though I <laughs> I think my main class got to like level 35 or something but like all of the crafting and collecting classes I like leveled up to 50 because I just had this brain worm I'm like I gotta do it I gotta become a master crafter it's I just have to do it oh, sweet raptor Jesus the font my eyes don't you think Ben could read that small ass text? Neat. 
It's all good though. It's super fun to shoot the shit here. Very nice and fun chat. Yeah, the chat really the, the chat is really cool. We don't we don't really have any bad apples, which is great. You know, there's not ever really any time I gotta be like, hey, you piped the fuck down over there and roll out like a newspaper. The worst it gets is like on Twitch when a bot comes in like, hello streamer, would you like more viewers? Go to this website, it'll be very good. Very, very fun for you. And I'm like, all right, load my gun, click clack. Let's get this guy. <laughs> to be honest, you can probably make a Discord server at this point. That's one of the things I need to do, man. <laughs> God, there's such a long list of fucking shit I gotta get around to. If only it wasn't such a useless fuck. Ugh. I'll probably sit in a call with Jeremy one day because he's got a community Discord channel that he's put together. I'll probably have him help me walk through that. It happens whenever I'm here, but how are the other streams? Uh, I mean, most streams. Like, okay, so the Snoot uh, and Wani streams as well as the reading streams pop off the most. There's other streams where not as many people come around and that's that's fine. Uh, but we'll occasionally have like some some interesting conversations and stuff. I don't know if we get necessarily to the same extent as piss talk, but you know, we, we kind of, we bounce around a little bit. Did my comment get removed? Uh, it might have. I don't, I don't see anything before that. I, 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 saw, I saw that people were replying to some comments it looked like in uh, OBS, but I wasn't actually seeing what those comments were. So it's possible that some of them were getting dropped. All I said was to put uh, different Roombas in a battle arena. Are we just gonna, are we gonna recreate uh, battle bots? Yeah, a bitchin. <laughs> Time to steal Fang's dino nuggies. I, I, okay, I'm gonna keep reading chat before I take this tangent, but uh, there's a tangent I wanna go on with battle bots. Oh, you had intermission. I managed to wake up, take shit and shower. Make coffee and breakfast, switch to my phone to PC. <sighs> it's not even an intermission at this point, is it? It's just a talk segment. Don't jinx it now, Mr. Streamer. Let's see if I can change that name. Bad Apple, the fanfic based on E1 Snoot game by It's Umbra. <laughs> Never had a sex bot surge on, on YouTube? No, actually, surprisingly, uh, I don't recall ever having if it happened, it would have literally have only ever been once where I've had any bot on the YouTube chat. The only time I've seen bots is in the Twitch chat. We might have bad apple after we finish Broken Wings. It's definitely on the list. Played Fortnite once, made me think about Unreal. I think I played like Fortnite once before. And then I was immediately put off. Because, I mean, everybody knows the age-old meme, five-star hotel when you get shot at. <laughs> that shit does not tickle my fancy. I, like, man, when it comes to, like, okay. I can enjoy a PvP game, but I enjoy PvE games way more. Because I don't have to worry about some sweat lord who's figured out every single meta and is going to make me miserable for playing the game. It's why I don't play Tarkov live anymore. Anytime I'm playing Tarkov, I'm playing single player Tarkov, which by the way is getting its uh, update in about five days for anybody that's interested. And I'm really happy. I'm really excited to get back into it because I, I, I always get this little Tarky, little, little, little Tarky itch that I want to scratch. I'm like, ooh, ooh, I'm going to go in the raid. I'm going to shoot some motherfuckers. And then I get like beamed by a bot that because I'm using like fucking mods that make the bots harder. And I'm like, damn, these motherfuckers are harder than the actual players. Like I was on factory this one time and I was like, I was over near the exit and there was a guy who like came around pre-firing on the fucking crate and like blacked my arm. I was like, holy shit, calm down there. What the fuck? Yeah, I could probably also pull that off screen real quick. <clears throat> I joined the discord. Oh boy, there's a desire. I must meet it. I can show you my service structure after this. I think it's a decent baseline. Try to make it more focused on my art rather than the community channels though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, like the thing is, Jeremy, I just... I would just want to see like how you generally went about it before I uh, dive too deep into that. And like anything you might know from having started setting one up. So happy that pissed off and I'll be engraved in your mind and the brain synapses. You know, it's, I, I think as a streamer, you can start, you can start uh, calling, you, you, you know when you've made it, when you start having stream bits that you can call back to. Like 10 streams from now, I could be like, hey, you got to remember pissed off? And some people are like, yeah, pissed boys, am I right? It's also pretty easy to set up. Yag TV bot. Okay. 
just saw you hit 305 subs congrats when i first caught your stream i think it had under 200 yeah i mean like thing it like it's surprisingly popped off is the thing I, I mean like at the beginning of the year we were we had like hardly any subs is the thing um but after the wani stream started kicking off and we started doing the snoot game and everything people started to trickle in and it's it's been interesting to say the least um it's it's eclipsed the twitch that's for sure and it's kind of like i said before youtube does a lot of stuff for you while you're offline and that means it's way easier to establish like a following which is really cool mostly here for snoot stuff if you have something else i'll, uh, I'll go check it out yeah and i mean like that part of that's the reason that i've been like putting out the feelers to see what people kind of like want to see themselves right because like i have stuff that i want to do right and like i i i have no problem doing it but at the same time i'm putting on a show i'm doing a live stream i have an audience i want to see what the audience would be interested in watching and then try to align what i'm gonna do with that right so if the audience wants to see stuff like oh let's see more visual novels well i can bust out something like class of 09 or angels with scaly wings or any other type of thing like that if people want to see maybe i don't know they want to check out like some vr content or something i can always put i can always try up uh saints and sinners if they want to see like a long form game i've got like witcher 3 i could do cyberpunk 2077 like i got options so you know put knives on the front put uh balloons on the back and the one with the balloons wins <laughs> the one with their balloons by the end wins oh got like the fucking mario kart mini game going on huh oh dang i made the streamer hit 305 subs and didn't know reaper you are now number 305 we will remember this 100% there's just a higher threshold for monetary goals on YouTube, but you aren't focused on that. Yeah, no, that's the thing, right? Like, the pe we've had a couple people, like, uh, sub on Twitch. Uh, like, uh, Vise and Kato S. And, like, hey, huge thanks for that, right? But, I like, especially if this were to, like, not saying this would ever happen, but if this were to become a job or something, I wouldn't necessarily want people to feel like they would even need to support right like i don't know i i get like people pushing for subs and everything but at the same time for the most part i kind of view this more as just like a hobby like something that is fun to do in like the off time and just like chill out go relax chat with shoot some shit with some some of the boys tm and just play something and have it for archival purposes so i can jump back and like relive something it's just having fun um so yeah I don't know where that came from, but <laughs> games you plan on playing on here? Oh boy, uh, like I've got like a list over on like my sidewall. At some point, I'll probably like compile it into a list online so people can see maybe what like I'm thinking. But I just have to get that done. Got no, not bad apple two chamber instead. At least YouTube doesn't encourage the sex bots. Sex bots on like a certain site. Fortnite adds a shine down song to the new rock band mode. I'll download it. It has a fucking rock band mode? What? I don't I don't even know what the fuck's going on with Fortnite anymore. Came for one, he stayed for the raw emotion. SPT is base. Tarkov is the terraria of FPS. It'll find you. Oh man. Yeah, SPT's great. I think it's a I think it's a damn shame that um Battlestate has such a negative opinion towards it. Uh, Cause like I feel like there's a lot of left money on the table by like battle state not having like a separate pve mode or a pve co-op mode that has progression alongside the pvp because i know that there's people who would be on that shit in a heartbeat playing it but it's frustrating to see if i'm honest like there isn't anything that fills the niche that tarkov does but provides it in a co-op format and that's it's it really irks me because more than anything me and my brother would love to run Tarkov together without having to worry about sweat lords and rats. Like, that would be fucking awesome. Or just give us stalker co-op. Oh, we'll take that too. That shit's fun. And when Epic made games, I remember. Bad Apple, really that bad? I don't think uh, Bad Apple's bad from what I've heard. I think it might just be either preference or it's like, oh no, not Bad Apple. I've got a metal clip somewhere of Tagilla during Halloween event jump scaring me on live a year or so ago. Oh man. 
I, I so like I and I know I said I played SPT, but like I was playing it with like some of like the realism mods that make like bullets way more difficult to survive. And I <laughs> there was a time I was just running on factory like really early in my playthrough, and I Tugilla like ran at me. I was like, ah! and I shot and I hit him in the neck, and he just folded. And I was like, what? Huh? <laughs> He's dead? No comment. Shooters aren't my stick. Yeah, it's, nah, that makes sense. The shooters aren't for everybody. I've, I've got a friend who, like, abhors shooters. I like them. I, I like them when they're done right. To be honest, it was for, uh, circumstance found your stuff. I just only heard about wanting its new game like two years, and you have the most calm and chill chat along with the acting. Literal gold given the algorithm. <sighs> I put my hand to my heart. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. It's always nice to hear the nice words. Yeah, I mean, like, the thing is, too, like, fucking, like, like I said, YouTube's actually done pretty good for me. I mean, like, the fucking, fir like, the, uh, ending three Wani stream, which is, like, 11 hours, surprisingly has, like, 15,000 views or some shit, and it's like, what the fuck? This is a marathon stream, and people are actually watching this? Crazy. Oh, wait, is that a double stream from different places or uh, I dual stream um, if that's what you're referring to. Uh, I've got Twitch and YouTube going a tradition or originally I started on Twitch um, and then I figured out a plugin that let me do YouTube and Twitch at the same time. Uh, and I started using that because I was getting tired of trying to archive my Twitch streams to YouTube. The pipeline was annoying. I had to do a bunch of extra work outside. I lost a couple streams, like my Elden Ring playthrough is missing, I think one, maybe two episodes because during the export process, something fucked up or I maybe it maybe slipped my mind on a specific one. And so I started streaming to both YouTube and Twitch. Nowadays, you can kind of see if you take a look at both chats, YouTube pops off way harder than Twitch does. Um, but I still have both chats open on my screen. Only real fans remember the piss talks of 2024. See my comments? Uh, no, I, it doesn't look like I, I picked up Holy Crusader. Hold up a sec. Let me let me pop over to the actual site and see if it's on there. No, for whatever reason, it's, some of the comments are still getting lost. It's crazy. Sorry about that. Cracked that one in Snoop Gold. Yeah, I kind of did. Did we do it, Piss Bros? Did we cross the streams? <laughs> Snoop Bros, Piss Bros. Oh man, I'm getting really far behind. I need to hurry this up. Match my Jurassic Heaven, YouTube algorithm that I found you. I noticed it uh, tends to sometimes shoot up streams of things you've watched. You've watched a Snoop game, played the other game. Yeah, that's like the YouTube algorithm is actually pretty good for giving you recommendations, even with smaller stuff. Like I will pretty consistently at least get one video in my recommended sidebar or at my front page that has like less than like 500 views. And it's, it's really cool to see that. Got a class of 09, definitely a video. Is there another mod up? Uh, we're gonna be doing Mojob. Uh, somebody probably already fucking enlightened you, I'm sorry. <laughs> Dare you play through COD while uh, Black Ops 1, 2 in the campaign in one stream? I'd fucking do it. I already did like a playthrough with my buddy on Veteran for COD WoW. I can, like I have some ideas for streams that would just be like fucking torturous. Like I have a pain stream idea where I would play like fucking Jump King. Um, what, what a fucking, what's, what's the one game where you got the hammer and you're in a cauldron? <laughs> that game. Just like a bunch of ball busters, you know, just do them all back to back and just call it the rage stream. You just didn't miss the piss chat. We have Mojo and Mo Gator coming up. Welcome to piss. 40 viewers, good job. Thanks, Nero. Good to see you here too, by the way. Nice. Oh, yeah, Fortnite was like four separate games in it. Oh, Jesus. I remember I, at one point I thought, oh, I'll try uh, it when, I, when they have like Save the World. <laughs> and then, like, Save the World uh, fell off the face of the earth. So I was a fan fit called $500 is $500, and my eyes disappeared after opening it. <laughs> with, a, with a title like that, you ought to have known something was about to happen. Base Fortnite, Lego Fortnite, which is like Minecraft, but Lego. Fortnite Festival is Guitar Hero. That works with Guitar Hero guitars in a racing game. They, they, I mean, they've kind of moved from just being, like, a game to, like, more of a platform at this point, haven't they? Question for the chat. And for you, Gator Dater, should I either get a healthy night's sleep or hang in here with the boys? 
I mean, if you can if you can handle hanging out with the boys, we'd we'd love to have you. But by all means, if you need to sleep, get get sleep. You know, don't don't fuck up your sleep schedule like I do. <laughs> ideally, you know the 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 uh, the chats are always going to be here, so you can always catch up. You know, and I know I don't stream at like the most opportune times for like a lot of people. I mean, I'm starting at like 10:30 usually EST, so. Eh, you know for some people if they're like on west coast it's easier to catch the stream if you're anywhere else eh, maybe not so much especially when i do long ass streams i mean we're three hours in we've done one fucking mod that should have only taken an hour it, it is what it is right bad apples posting one and pulls no punches can't stay for long streamer currently at 245 i have to work tomorrow and some studies to do all i have to say is that your laugh pure and that makes me smile all right reaper you take you have a good night i hope you rest well here we go. Said it before, but I think you're really entertaining. Your humor, your voice, your acting. I mean, man, you made Snoot E1 rough. Oh. I, 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 you know, for as fucked as Snoot E1 was, I did have fun, like, with the whole, like, pain stuff. <laughs> Finally, I'm not actively doxing myself. Punished Lassiter. <laughs> Wish I was more effective at, uh, at the streams at the moment. I mean, like, I, I don't even know, like, how things, I mean, like, it's the, like, a big part of it, right, is obviously the stuff that I'm doing, right, where it's like we're playing Snoot games, so you're appealing to an audience that has, like, an existing fan base, right? But, like, other than that, I don't know what I'm really necessarily doing that's keeping people around. Like, I know people are saying, oh, it's the, the narration, the voice, and everything, but, it, it, you know, it's one of those things, too, in your mind when, uh, especially when it comes to, like, your voice and you hear yourself on playback and you're like, well, that's just me. There's nothing special there necessarily, right? Anyone is always rough. Yo, Jim Bob Jet. Welcome back. Right there with that. First few streams I found to see reactions to the one innings. I hope I'd catch a stream and it was 100% worth it. Going night night. Later, bros. Night, Holy Crusader. Take a nice rest. Same here, I streamed one and I've gotten almost, I think, 8,000 plus views on one vid. It's craziness. Yeah. They be, they be out here watching the shit, don't they? <laughs> the 4 chain difference. I found you through the school system algorithm. No regrets. <laughs> now, here's the thing, Jeremy. Did you find me or did I find you? Because I feel like it would be the other way around where I started, I started watching aka I befriended Alexis and Kane and then I got recommended you at the lunch table I think it's the other way around buddy <laughs> YouTube, uh, YouTube archiving everything permanently is a nice bonus on like a certain purple site exactly that's the that's the thing that I've appreciated way more about YouTube is that and, and like here's the thing too like uh, for a certain amount of time back when I started Twitch had the two week um, time span where you uh, all your videos for two weeks would be present right that's not anywhere near as good as YouTube, but it gives you some time to actually figure out what you want to do with your VODs and get them moved over. And then they added, they took away one, one of the weeks for like non-affiliate and non-partnered streamers. So now you only have a one week timer to make sure you get all that shit carried over. And, and again, that's why I have a plugin now to sh dual stream. Luckily, my internet and my computer is good enough that I can do that. Otherwise, I'd still be getting shafted. And at this point, if I had to make a choice between Twitch and YouTube, I would be going YouTube 100%. Because I, in the time, I, I had streamed on U, uh, Twitch for a long time exclusively. And Twitch had done nothing to try and get me out there, not get my name out there. I would occasionally get a couple people flowing. Like the best performing streams before my snoot snuff was Fear and Hunger. That was it. And... Like I was, don't get me wrong, I was happy with that. And I was lucky to have people showing up for that. But other than that, like it, Twitch did fuck all. And I mean, even like, uh, and it seems like more of the, the Snoot and Lonnie bros are here on YouTube. Um, so, you know, like it, it, it would just make sense at this point. I, I technically, I'm a Twitch affiliate, I think, right? That, yeah, Twitch partner's the one above. I'm a Twitch affiliate and I really don't get much out of it. <laughs> they get to what, uh, people on Twitch have to watch a fucking ad when they click on my stream now, so it's even less incentivized to watch over there. Also, I checked uh, the comments on the vid. It was you, Lily, for giving the reading suggestions, so thanks. 
The chat is becoming so alive. Can I keep up with it? I'm just a slow reader. Everybody fucking knows this. If you want a pain stream, just open up Modern Warfare 3, not the old one. Oh, God. Uh, don't fucking remind me, man. Getting over it with Bennett Foddy. Yeah, that was the one I was thinking of earlier. I'd be on top of the chart with kudos, too. Should have known better, but it didn't uh, go as I thought it would. Hey, with the boys, if you get sleepy, it'll be all right. Wild to think Fortnite started as a tower defense game. Yeah. From from odd beginnings to where it is now, that's for sure. Pain stream, make him read smutification. God, if I had to try and voice act people fucking, I would... <gasps> What the hell have I stumbled upon? I found Skibbity Toilet AI channels. You gone too deep, soldier, back out. Like, what is Elite Camera Woman? I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know base Skibbity lore. How could I even hope to understand AI Skibbity lore? Makes a doing solid uh, job voice acting, being chill enough to shoot the shit with us. I'm doing finger guns. Cape Man is probably going to finish that RPG game. Yeah, I, d I definitely need to look at like the rest of the Caveman Man uh, catalog at this point. Question, do you know uh, the game called Even... Even Nickel? Even... Even... Even Nestle? Uh, no, I don't think I've heard of that. Let me see real quick. Even Nickel? Mm, released in 2015, huh? Let's take a look here. And we're over more... This game is marked as adult only. Oh! Oh, those are just titties. <laughs> oh, those are titties right there. Oh, okay. Uh, let's read the description real quick, shall we? Uh, in a world where the more a knight achieves, the more wives he can obtain. A young man sets off on an adventure with lust in his heart. Walk the land, sail the seas, fly through the sky. It's a sex-seeking, world-traversing RPG. $45! Wait a minute. My friend wants this. Hold up. Screenshot. I'm coming at them later. actually found your channel via uh, 1 e 3 and 4. I was touched by the dancing, so I went back and watched everything. It made it so much more meaningful. I keep trying to scroll down. It says you want to go to the bottom of the screen, right? You want to go with the new messages. No, I'm trying to get through the backlog. Seen that game. Snoot and Monty are emotional roller coasters. Worth playing yourself if you haven't. Don't have $15. Snoot, yeah, Snoot is free. And it can tide you over until you have $15 for one. But I mean, you said you've watched it, so you know. Here's what to tease. A gator is worth. I mean, YouTube is how I found you, not Twitch, so. Exactly. Yeah, I, I, you know, it's it's actually really cool to see that Wani is only $15, because you get, like, a lot of game out of that for $15. Best $15 uh, bucks I ever spent. Yeah, it's it's a really good value proposition. Snoop Bros are too based for Twitch TOS. Twitch, we don't do that here. Didn't they have to, like, do an update where people were like, you can't show your ass for a long time because, like, one chick had, like, green screen panties or whatever and was playing Fortnite on them? <laughs> like, I guess get that bag, but, like, what the fuck is going on over here? I think my best 15 bucks was for Hollow Knight. I have no regrets for the Wani. Hollow Knight, great game. Stellar game. I need to get my brother to play that. I think he bought it, but he still hasn't gotten around to it. Oh, man. I got. I'm trying to remember how much did I spend on fucking Terraria, because like that was great. I right, gotta go to bed tonight. Have a good, have a good stream. Uh, have a good sleep, Bumble the champ. Bro, Black Ops Two multiplayer with chat would probably be a disaster. It's up to us whether it's good or kind of, or a bad kind. You know, it would be fun to maybe have like some community nights um, sometime in the future and just all get a game uh, up and running. And just fucking chill out. That $500 Snoop fic is about Naomi paying and on to bang Nazar. <laughs> Does she sit in the cup chair? Pinnacle's a hentai game. Yeah, I <laughs> put that together pretty fucking quick. You're gonna be sad when you're big enough never to see chat is saying, but we'll be happy for you. I don't think I'll ever reach that point. And I don't think that's a bad thing, right? I, I like that I can actually interact with chat and see people going by and be able to still know 
generally who I'm talking to. Like follow the thread of, oh, this person was talking about this earlier. It's it's nice. And I think I think honestly, I think like a lot of content creators tend to well, okay, I can't even agree with a lot of the content creators I would watch uh, would kind of feel the same way in that there's definitely a certain point where like you start to lose some of that community aspect and the the um, your audience becomes more of like an amalgamation rather than a collection of individuals if that makes sense and I'm 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 at no point um, itching to reach that that inflection point Eventical uh, Seth did a reveal on that oh did he I must have not seen that one. Or I did, and I just fucking wiped that from my brain. Self-report, he speedrun it. The adult content aside, it's comedic as all hell. I'll have to down- You know how, like, some people download, like, the fucking- The lewd patch? Uh, like, the hentai patch for a game? I'll have to download the anti-hentai patch so I can- I can laugh and <laughs> laugh at it. Imagine a woman as a bowling ball. <laughs> God damn. What's your what opinion on Project Moon games? I have not played- I have not played them enough to have an opinion. I know I, I started playing Lobotomy Corpse some. Uh, I'm familiar with Library of Ruina. And I know that, um, oh, what's the most recent one? Limbus Company is out. My, If you wanted somebody to like spill their fucking guts about Project Moon, I would go grab my brother. Because that motherfucker is invested as hell. He's played through Lobotomy Corp. Not all the way. I think he's gotten most of the way, but he had to refresh. He's beat Library of Ruina, and sometimes he even goes back to fight, like, Gabura and, like, the fucking, the hand, uh, just for fun. And he plays, uh, Limbus Company. And he, he's familiar with, like, the, uh, what is it, the detective, like, series or whatever. Like, their, their webcomic type stuff. He, he's deep in that shit. And at some point, I do want to get into it to kind of take a look. It's just one of those things where it's like, oh, boy. When do I start picking away at this? <laughs> There's a scene in the where an orc or fruit of wine a girl and eats her while doing it. <laughs> yeah, no, a venicle is a needs visual novel when chat generates its own content. True, real. How many hours was the uh, the game again? Getting all the endings, like 35. Uh, if we're talking about Wani, um. I want to say it was like getting all the endings. I mean, like I could just pop over to the studio real quick and take a look how long the VODs were. Let's see, live, scroll down to the Wani stream. So we had five, eight, we'll round these up to six, nine. That's 15, 12, 27, and then seven. So about 34. It took me about 34 to get all the content. And then again, you also have to consider, I'm I'm being stream more. I have to read. <laughs> that kind of that kind of cuts into that time some. I know people were definitely able to do that quick. Some people were like, "Oh, I got to my first ending in like ten hours." I'm like, "Holy shit, you're fast." A true perpetual motion machine. Yeah. Let's face it. We'll all wait for the Silk Song for eternity. It gives me time to eventually get back and. Uh, Finish a uh, god home, or I think that's the place. Need to get like all those perfects. Oh, Jesus! Talking about Wani. I know this is gonna be forever embedded in the VOD, but I need the name of the Anonyx Nazar fit. I think they said it was $500 is $500. <laughs> oh, yeah, Hollow Knight got a vocalized mod. Oh, really? Huh. Apparently, there's a secret eventicle. Oh, boy. Trailer's worth every penny and relogic. Help, uh, helping make modding official was absolutely I, I remember when you had to like kind of go through a couple loops to do it but you know nothing will ever compare modding wise to old school having to uh, mod minecraft and like I've got it ingrained in my brain how to get to the percent app data percent folder so that I can try and drop in uh, the aether mod for my 11 the billionth time to try and get it to work only to put the water in the fucking glowstone and it just pours out and I'm like oh, why I thought I did it right this time always sucked <laughs> when he gets a big I remember the whole geez via piss convo <laughs> piss boys rise up 
better or else shower tapes on release. Piss Gang, Piss Squad, or maybe the Golden Boys. <laughs> is, is, is that what we're... Are we, like, forming the, the cult now? <laughs> the cult of knowers? It's funny because that was honestly, like, Piss Convo number three or four. It really is a reoccurring topic, isn't it? We talk about Piss a lot on this stream. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody started uh, looking at me weird and be like, Are you one of those freaks? Do you like Piss? I'm like, No, I don't! <laughs> I promise, it's just for comedic! Comedic effect, don't do it! He has a whole new meaning to streamer. Oh, what about To The Moon? Uh, I haven't, I, I know that To The Moon is a pretty emotional game, and I think I've seen a little bit of it, but it, like, it's at the point now where it would have been so long ago that I have no real recollection of what happens. So I could play that. Played the Ruin, I loved it, currently going through Limbus. Yeah, I mean, I've heard people say that the Ruin is great. Difficult as fuck. Uh, like, the, the difficulty spike is, uh, vertical, but... Gabra, Red Mist mentioned, get him! Ruin is a fucking rock with difficulty halfway through. The Red what? On my own, one, it was about 20 to 22 hours. The 10 hour runs for one, it could be... Because demo is six, about six hours. Hmm. Okay, so like they, they just continued where they left off from the demo. Ah, that makes sense. Just looked uh, that up on AO3 and the summary is 10 out of 10. Let's go. Minecraft modding is wild. Need that Hornet for reasons. 10 out of 10 would smash. Hey, there's artists out there for you. I can tell you that. That's for fucking sure. Yeah, I fucking Minecraft modding has come so far. Nowadays, I just go on Curse Forge and be like, uh, it's like I'm fucking going to the grocery store shopping. I'm like, mm, you know, we could use a little bit of tech mod for this pack. Uh, let's take a look over here. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's grab Create. Uh, oh, do I really? Hmm, do I want to apply Denergistics? I don't think it's going to be good. Uh, what about Magic Mods? You know, and you just... Get your, get your fucking meat pile and you're like, okay, guys, time to play Minecraft. We'll make a stream an EFAP link. Wait, what? A what? What the f huh? I don't understand. What does that mean? Somebody help me. Maybe it was 18 hours long. Probably would have been longer if I made voices like everyone else playing. No, I don't like real piss. Only chat piss. Wait, wait, no. Wh Why did I read that, man? What the fuck did I read that? And sometimes I don't read what I'm saying, and I realize only midway through that I'm about to crash the car. Gotta say, I was really insane when you played the Puppet Pal mod, because you voiced every character so well. <laughs> Puppet, Pal Puppet Pals was fun. I like Puppet Pals. Holy shit, I'll be there for To The Moon. Jeremy, I don't know if you were there earlier, um, but I was saying that we needed to get you to play Subnautica at some point. And when that happens, I'm bringing everybody over with me to watch it. With, <laughs> to watch you with it. Your protests for pit, uh, piss topics sound like, and I'm not a furry, but I don't like talking about piss, but when I do, it's really funny. Really need a face cam by then so we can see you cry. Ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Ain't gonna happen. You'll hear me, you'll, here's the thing, here's the thing. You'll know when I'm crying because you'll just be staring at the same dialogue for like a minute straight while I sit there bawling my eyes out trying to recover and get my voice back. <laughs> That's how you know I'm crying. Hate water sports, bud. Wait, Mojob? Is Mojob a mod? Yes, right here. Snoot took longer for me since I narrated and voiced the game. You can even go shopping with uh, launchers these days, like, ooh, what do I want for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's crazy how far it's come. Sky Factory was fun. I did a little bit of Sky Factory. Um, one of the mod packs I remember doing was like a, an alchemistry mod pack where you like start with nothing, like but like a base world with just like, like a single element, I think it was. And you're supposed to use the alchemistry mod to like exchange it into other things and move like the base components around. And my like I did that with me and my brother and we only did like one session of it. But the funniest fucking thing was he would just sit there staring at the fucking, the, the melter or whatever. And he'd just go, oh, what am I doing? And I'm like, dude, you have to break this down into carbon, use the carbon to make coal and then use coal to burn the stuff. And he'd go, Ugh. You could see like the drool starting to go down his fucking face. Snake wasn't drained. 
Is that what we're going to say whenever we keep talking about piss talk? The snake wasn't drained. Put that Mojobs up next when we drain the piss reservoir. Wonder if Mo is a mobster. Come on now. You already know the answer. Wait, it's just pissing, Chad? Always has been. The buzzing coming from Mike. Oh, fuck me. Ah! Okay, there we go. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. I think I need to change my XLR cable. Sorry if that's been going on for a little bit. That's my bad. It, it It's intermittent is the thing. I, I, I The only thing I could think is like whenever I bump my desk sometimes, it kind of like loosens the cable in the back. I'm not sure why that happens. It's so intermittent that I never think about it until it's happening. Having Fabric Forge load my mods for me still feels weird. Not moving the contents into the jar file and deleting meta in feels wrong. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, Jesus, the old fucking process. I want to snoot that gator. EFAP is Mauler in his group streaming, talking about stuff like movie shows and stuff. EFAP, every frame a pause. Long, long, and okay, got it. All right. See? Here's the thing, too, chat. You, you're always teaching me shit. <laughs> like, I'll be sitting here, you'll say something, I'll be like, what? I'm like, all right, streamer, let me pull out the book real quick so that we can put this in front of you so you can fucking read. Like, oh, okay. Your brother couldn't break bad, MC Stone. <laughs> he really couldn't. I would have been over there. <laughs> I'm just, okay, hold up a minute, because I'm remembering, like, so, I rem so some mod packs will put alchemistry in there even though it really doesn't need to be there. And I remember one time we were playing just this mod pack. I don't even remember what the fuck it was, but <laughs> I was looking through like the recipes for alchemistry and I noticed you could make crack cocaine, right? And that's cool on its own, but <laughs> get this. You could put the crack in food and it would give the food a like hyperactivity buff. So when you ate the food, the crack infused food, you'd run around quick and <laughs> I remember I made like these sandwiches and I just loaded them with crack and I was like, here, have half a stack of sandwiches. And he took one and he went, oh shit, why am I moving so fast? And I'm like, I sprinkled some special seasoning in there, buddy. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Break bad like breaking bad. Water white moment. Modding Skyrim was so different, even modding tools. I, I just... I just click, I can't, I just, I, I can't just click mod work? What? Minecraft Terraria spoiled me. They spoiled everybody, let's be honest. I like the idea of Mo hitting every stereotype for a mobster, but being completely legit. Just a walking red herring. <laughs> I'm so glad you just reactivated the in-depth memory of feeding your brother virtual crack sandwiches. Yo, that shit slapped, <laughs> all right? Mo is just an undercover informant. Well, you know what? Let's figure out. <laughs> Let's jump into the Mo job after legitimately a ha an hour and a half of just fucking going on and on. Mm. Oh, oh. <laughs> Mo time. Need a Breaking Bad mod for a li uh, for Wani. Olivia, we need to cook. <clears throat> You know, Inko, if we put like a fucking, uh, if we put a hat on him, he could kind of look like the one sketch of Walter White when the, when the twins were trying to get him. Okay. Finally, question mark. I mean, shooting shit takes the time away pretty good. Yeah. I mean, when Jeremy and I used to do our stream, that thing would go fast sometimes. No, nah, he's a pizzeria owner. Smile. <clears throat> Monday again. Fuck. Back to Volcano High. Spring break went by all too quickly. I'm still tired. It sucks not getting enough rest. There was just way too much to do. Never had a chance for a breather. I had worked like never before. Days were exhausting. Nights were even worse. I understand why Dad was such a tired mess after a long day at the repair shop. The bell rings, prompting the Technicolor mess loitering around the stairs to start pouring into the building. I might as well follow them. Morning classes were easy enough to get through the, uh, on autopilot. I always feel familiar. You're a comforting sight. Missing being in school is a new experience. Entering the room, I notice the tired eyes of everyone else drifting around the room. A couple of students chat about what they did. Everything from meeting up and going on a road trip to playing the newest Gizzard title. 
It was some casualized MOBA starring the hottest IPs. The plebeians harbored shit taste, to no one's surprise. Carl Dusky coughs to draw attention away from the newest... <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Sorry, that one caught me off guard. I <clears throat> draw my attention away from the newest ass faggots champion rebalance. Once he has the class's attention, he starts pointing out pages in the textbook to start reading from as he draws up a diagram on the board. In terms of- Sure is a class. Most comp- For sure. Are an adver- Yep, definitely one of the classes of all time. Can't focus on anything Mr. Carl Dusky says though. My eyes are getting heavy. Where's the bell? Give me the bing bong. Bing bong, bing bong. Oh yeah, Carl teaches the students about the compatibility of Vaporeon. Oh my fucking god, it is. God damn it. Why? Shit, wait, where am I? So skinny, where's your head gone this time? You're even more spaced out than usual, man. Holy shit, I'm haggard. How did I make it here without noticing? Shit, I even picked up lunch? Impressive. Hello? He's left orbit. You know, I was like that once when I spaced out on Carfe. Woke up and... Fang punches me on the arm. Yelling out in surprise, I accidentally interrupt Reed's coming monologue with my sudden outcry. Earth to Anon, calling Anon. Please respond, over. Yep, yep, yep. I rub my eyes, trying to regain some sense of consciousness. I'm here. Welcome back from your trip. Missed you. Fang gives me a quick peek on the check. Peek on the check? Fuck me, peck on the cheek. Trish stares daggers at me. Yet the smooth triumphs. Finally grounded, my heart skips a beat and I can feel myself starting to blush. I could get used to this. I missed her. Didn't really have time or energy to catch up with her during the week. Even if everything was her idea to begin with. So, how was work? Could hardly reach you this week. Other than that time we actually visited. Did you save up enough for your video game consoles? He seemed to be having fun. Anon, man, you need to tell us about it. First foray into the life of a proud worker bee. Well, I've got some good stories to share. All of a sudden, I feel myself slowly slipping back into the darkness that ripped me out of Carl Dusky's class. So, very tired. Cafeteria table will apply directly to forehead. With that comic pasta. Everyone's either like, hey, hey, oh. I'm, I'm definitely the guy who goes, oh boy, here we go again. God of War is best money, I'm not elaborate. Luke, Luke, Lucario is better wife material, to be honest. Don't ruin Lucario for me. Oh boy. The poker fuckers have woken up. <laughs> Run! I agree to disagree. Which mod is this? Mojob. Yep. We're just starting too, so you're not miss you haven't missed too much. Ugh, I'm exhausted. Maybe later. Get yourself together. You must have had something fun happen. I got a little something to wake you up if you need it. Reed winks. I'm not entirely convinced that I want to try whatever it is he's got in his magic bag. Go ahead. Don't leave us hanging. I'm not getting out of it this time, am I? No, you're not. Shit. Mumbling. <sighs> Alright, I'll start on my first real day. So... Flashback. Everybody do a little dance. Come on, you know you're feeling it right now. Starting here at Moe's to get some extra cash was a good idea. Guys, they changed the fucking forward button into a pizza slice. <laughs> When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. <laughs> I 
are we justifying our pokey picks now? <laughs> what? Can I actually talk? Pretty damn humanoid intelligent knows how you feel without mind reading, and nobody's gonna talk about consent when it comes to the martial artist made of metal and muscle. <laughs> oh boy. Better than Mona Lisa. Perfect. <laughs> Look, we've already discussed Anthros and how good partners they'd make. Mons are just a step further. I'm gonna keep- I'm gonna do my job. <laughs> Your Pokemon may be a good partner, but how good are they at eating or cooking a wicked pizza? Fucking real. Victrabell, what that mouth do? Is that the fucking, like... Oh my god, am I taking a detour to look at what Pokemon somebody just threw out? Vict- Victrabell. Banned! In the hole! Now! We have now entered the pizza zone, Poketour. Lamau got him. Pretty good, Lucario. Canonically, eat chocolate. Ah, oh, boy. Even if I did fight against it when Fang first asked me to, especially when she told me that they were short-staffed. However, the promise of easy money quickly dispelled any doubts I had at first. Do they know how to make a grilled cheese? Question mark. I could probably make a good pizza telekinesis and all that. That is a good pizza rival. Now, during spring break was a good time to go at it. Otherwise, I'd just be at home shitposting anyway. Thankfully, yesterday's introduction to everything had gone well. It had been a bit... intimidating the last two times I'd been around. But that aura had dissipated yesterday. It's more like a mix of Samantha and Fang. Mo didn't pose veiled threats of practice golf swings like Abby and the ladder of everybody part do, uh, dose. Right? That's how you'd say that? Part dose? Electric bagel, bagatel. What the fuck are you saying, Anon? Bagatelu. Electric ba bagetelu. Deluxe edition. Duck rectors. Got, duck rector. Duck rector. Druck Rector's cut guilty of the year edition. Okay. Worried you might vore from away for a second. Haven't had a slamming grilled cheese in a while. Dude, my mom would we used to make like these bacon grilled cheeses that fucking slapped so goddamn hard. I actually had a grilled cheese today that my brother brought from campus. It was alright. On the right home about. Honestly, my child self has an unhealthy obsession with uh, Scissor, Skyzer, Skyzor. Looks so cool. I'm still holding out hope the dating sim tag on Monster Hunter Wilds will be true. <laughs> Wait, what? You're joking. No, you're joking. No, that's a bit, right? No, that's a bit. Hold up. No, 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 because that, that has to be, that has to be a joke. There's no way that tag's there. Display capture. Hunting. Action. Multiplayer. Co-op. Action. Or <laughs> Are we going to fuck a Rathian? Be for the monsters, we all know this sadly. The rest of us too. Bro, card games and shit have psychological horror as a tag, but they're just normal games. Some tags are shit posts. I think Reed might have slipped in on some of the good stuff during that last, that sentence right there. Maybe. Car fade him up a little. Bacon is the best middle of nowhere hunting snack I've ever had. Pulling out a wad of hard burnt bacon while sitting in a deer stand was a good memory. You date Zenogre. Probably a shit post tag, but I would thousand percent date a Zenogre. Would be NTR. Maybe they get more views. You know, be down to bone of Valstrax. Are we gonna do like a fucking? Oh my god! Do we have to grab like a Pokemon and then a fucking Monster Hunter Monster tier list? Are, are we gonna have to do that? 
Am I gonna have to? Fuck it. God damn it. Tigrex GF, let's go. Damn Nur Gigante, you looking thick. Wait, Devil Joe is just Baryonyx. It's only <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Monster Hunter Pizza cooking tier list when? Not a tier list, a smasher pass. Does that exist for Monster Hunter? I know there's one for Pokemon, but does Monster Hunter have that? <sighs> Basically Monster Hunter stories, but not safe for work. <sighs> <clears throat> Unlike a certain unnamed massive pterodactyl. It absolutely has one. Oh my god. I had to command like, put that devil show in the wheelchair and boom. Is the chat gonna become a pokey chat? <sighs> Pencils in tier list or smasher pass stream for some point in the future. Begrudgingly. Restaurant is close to empty. Supposedly, it's always like this before the lunch rush. The calm before the storm. Yo, we got the apron! Mo's away dropping off a couple of friends at the pier for a boat ride. So he's left me to man the register. It's pretty sweet that Mo has his own boat. Maybe Fang and I could come along sometime. That'd be pretty romantic, right? The music, I love it. It is nice and making me happy. Devil, Devil Joe has the ravenous appetite like Olivia does. Yeah, I remember Devil Joe trying to fucking do, uh, like eat me. <laughs> the bell above the door rings, interrupting my thoughts. I put on a smile, just like I've been practicing in the mirror. The trademark customer service smile. Eyes looking about as dead as my sense of pride. Welcome to Moe's. How can we serve you today? Looking up, I see a familiar sight. In walks the purple menace herself. The queen of triggers. Whoa! Wasn't even A that time. That was the hard R. What's up, my trigger? I freeze. It just slipped out of me by instinct. Hopefully none of the other staff are close enough to hear me. Polly and Tony would be, should be stocking the shelves in the back. <laughs> Workplace racism? You know damn well she would have called me skinny in a couple seconds. <laughs> If I remember correctly, Rathalos is always male and Rathian's always female, right? Yeah. <coughs> Trigger. And I'm legit working for a possible mobster and it's like, oh, his murder bow would be great. Buh. She gives me a look that could kill. <sighs> Out walks the purple menace herself. So, this is how I get fired? Not even one day at work before I blow it? Well, Trish tries to walk out before being pushed back inside by her sibling, siblings as they too storm into Moe's. It's the whole family. A gaggle of Triceratopses. What the fu- Yo, calm down. It's just pizza. I, I like pizza as much as the next guy, but like, damn. Literally vibrating. A huddle of curly-haired menaces. A horde of kids gone wired on sugar and God knows what. Just like posting on the Australia Koala Ranching Farm in summer. That's what I've been training for. Feels just like home. Alright, new fa- Newfound guests. Let me get you a table. I heard them toward a- I heard- I heard them toward a containment table in the corner, so it's not to bother the other guests too much. Rathalos and Rathian approaching you from across the board. Hey, we noticed you and uh, sort of like your vibe. I pull out my greatsword. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool, isn't it? It's the fireman. Dear God, she's vibrating in the next dimension. Getting tag teamed by the king and queen of the skies. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you mean in a fight, right? <laughs> you mean in a fight? Yep, exactly like home. Handing out menus, bringing out a basket of breadsticks, a carafe, a carafe of water, and some coloring books of, and crayons. I can take them. Oh no. <laughs> Elaborate? Question mark? Queen of the land plus king of the skies. Seems like I've managed to calm the horde. Yeah, fight. Weak, weak. 
Trish doesn't even seem too mad that I put a coloring book in front of her, too. She just laughed it off. The day is going well. I'm on top of the world. Nothing can stop me now. As long as her siblings don't burn the place down. Speeding back, I remove the lit candles from, candles from the table, giving a half assed response about making space for the plates. Trish and I share a look knowingly. She nods, mouthing a thank you. A begrudging respect. Alright, time to take some orders. I grab the small notepad and pen. What mod is this? This is the Mojob mod. Set Riley from Boondocks. Mm hmm, mm hmm. God, I hope it's not silver gold in their arena at the same time. Human sandwich, the waverns of the bread. What are you? An idiot sandwich! As I'm getting destroyed. Can't blame the kids if Moses is a legit pizzeria, then that food is to die for. I mean, I love a good pizza. That's the thing. So I'd probably be pretty excited too. Nothing can stop me now. Cease! If you guys keep acting up, I'm going to have to cast a spell. You don't want to know what fucking spell I have prepped. I don't want much in life other than a Tsutsuyuku pet or whatever it's called. Imagine being able to flashbang anyone that annoys you. Get your get yourself a pocket uh, titsy, and then when somebody annoys you, just go silence, fool. It's like the uh, like that million lumen flashlight, you know, the one that they fucking. It's beautiful. Peeking my head in the kitchen, I find Polly doing a bit of prep work for tonight. Got a couple of kids just coming, Polly. I I'm gonna get started on the French on some French fries. I haven't taken their orders yet. I'll be right out to get them. Don't you worry too much. I'll always be French fries. Life blooder than kids. I swear the potato powered engines of destruction. Now I get. I need to know what else they want. Be right back then. You stink. No. You're smelly. Get the flash stick uh, from one, you're a real flashbang. And having some of the monsters as your pet would be sweet. Yeah, as long as they don't start gnawing on your leg. Oh, they got the legit fire oven. Oh yeah, they, they got the they got that primo shit. This is what in uh <laughs> for the for those who are there for the bro uh the uh the broken wings uh readings. This is what our boy got. Which is what Dave got before they left. Built an obsidian board, right? Look up Krekov's art of like six different monster teachers, sick ass Shin Godzilla and uh, Legacrus. Leg Legacrus. I can't even pronounce that. But then there's just a big titty Palomo that's so out of place. Assu you assume I'm not familiar with the artist. I remember, uh, what was it? Fucking JFJ. I'm pretty sure he like drew like, a, or like commissioned like a thick fucking Tigrex art. I, I seem to remember that. It's the you fired door in the kitchen. The fire. Right there in the background. Stop. <laughs> <clears throat> Leaving the kitchen, I see that they've started drawing in silence. Beat taken. Only thing audible is the slow, moody jazz playing. I swear, every restaurant is part of a cartel that's distri uh, distributing the same CD. Moving with grace, I maneuver my way out to their table. Alright, can I take your orders? I'll be having the fried chicken with fries too. Of course you will. What you mean by that, Skinny? I mean, of course, I'll fix it. What? <laughs> Belly on aisle. Bally, Bally on Isle? What? <laughs> it's bologna, Tana. Make a veggie too. Bally on Ace! One balloon ace. Bologna. That one. <laughs> Say it. I want you to confirm our order. Trisha's smug stare locks me in place. Sweat drips down my forehead. Knees weak. Mince and spaghetti. Ballard Nays? So close. I'm sorry, a what? Dangerously smug. I want a herby cheeseburger, big one, no tomato, they're gross. Real, real for that. 
Got it. No gross tomatoes for you. I also want a burger, but I'm also but I'm a big girl, so I want everything. Jesus! They're going wild! Everybody get the fuck down! Kids start speaking over each other, fighting to establish dominance. Dave and Attenborough would have a field day. The savage try <clears throat> The savage triceratops in the natural environment usually stay in packs, but deviations happen when they fight within their own group to establish dominance. These two young specimens are vying for control by resorting to violence. Such is their nature. Stop zoning out mumbling creep. Chandra s Chandra. Chandra said she wanted a Caesar salad. Uh-huh, got it. And you? Do you serve pizzas for lunch? Yeah, you haven't seated. <laughs> then I want a Vader. Jotting it down, I realize I haven't taken drinks. Uh, what do you want for drinks? Cokes, all around, thanks. Coke. Me love Coke. The query strikes a spark. This is my moment. My time in the sun. I'm sorry, we don't have Coke. Is Pepsi fine? Oh no. F! A cacophony of moans and complaints arise from the brood. It's a beautiful melody. A trigger moment? Truly. <sighs> yeah, yeah, it'll be fine. Scurrying away before they change their minds, I head back to the kitchen. Barely dodging a thrown crown whizzing past my head. Pet Anjanath snorting fiery air at you. Oh, don't worry about it, Angie. You just get taught sometimes, you let it out, you know? Alright, Kuka, it's just a cat that sleeps upside down. Lol, I'm cooking bologna today. Bologna, I say. Quake! Oh god. Time space is gonna rip apart. They're gonna they're gonna vibrate the atom so hard that we have a we have a problem. An explosion, perhaps. Bolognese. Not bologna. Oh fuck. I don't got my words right. You think I can read a, the word correctly on a good day? Bolognese, 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 bolognese. All right, I'm going to try to do that. That was just a different way to spell it. <laughs> Whoa! I'm losing my mind! Oh, Jesus, Roland. Calm down. Would you like a pizza? Are we going to have a triceratops moment? Or a moment? Rage. Wait, is the phone sister filming him? <laughs> Perhaps. You know, when I think about it, since we're talking about, like, pets, like, pet, uh, pet monsters, isn't it when you, uh, fucking, you beat Fatalis, I want to say, the Palico set you can get is literally just a mini Fatalis, <laughs> if I'm remembering correctly. So, hey, Anon, or Anon, is that right or not? Your look tells me all I need to know. Burgers and fries already on the way. What else? Handing him the ticket, he starts zooming around the kitchen at breakneck speeds. It's impressive how well he handles everything in his old age. Making Ruki Gante a pet would be such a power move. Yeah, that big boy eats everything. He's my good boy now. And he shoots a fucking, like, spike and you're like, like oh, what the fuck? There's a ton of Palico sets. Yeah, it is. Oh yeah, there's a ton of Palico sets. I just, I, I remember, like, the Fatalis one just being, like, literally a mini Fatalis. It's impressive how well he handles everything in his old age. Favorite pizza? Oh boy. At the moment, it's this one pizza I get from a place called Mellow Mushroom. I'll pull it up real quick. I talk about it all the time whenever I talk about pizza, because it's such a good fucking pizza. Where is it? Where is it? Here we go. Bamskis. It's a, it's a, uh, Mary, it's called the Mary Prankster. Herbaioli, base, chicken, Italian, sausage, garlic, roasted red peppers, green bell peppers, mozzarella, Wisconsin aged white cheddar, and an herbaioli drizzle. That shit fucking slaps. You ever play G on the Switch? Uh uh. I ain't got a Switch. I want to play other Monster Hunter games. The only one I played is World. But, uh, I gotta kind of figure out how to get that set up. The acrobatic feats required to reach the uppermost shelf would put most gymnasts to shame. The doorbell rings, signaling another customer entering. Gotta go. You better not keep them waiting. A load of potatoes is good as well. Rise isn't the best, but I like how your teacher calls in a Thunderlord Zenogre to help you fight 
the Amatsu Alder Dragon like it was his pet all along. My boy! Own this idiot! If only I could work in a pizzeria and have a livable wage. That's why we gotta have like a- we, we, we need more support structures in place socially so that people can uh, make pizzas for a living and not worry about things like that. We need- we need people to be able to go out there and start spinning that dough, okay? We need a renaissance of pizzas, of everybody flocking to the pizzerias to learn the art. I'm a basic bitch of pepperoni or meat lovers. I mean, pepperoni's good. If you give me a pepperoni pizza, I'll fucking eat it. That's what I have usually like in my day to day whenever I have a fucking Totino's pizza. That sucks to use the last old school style of MH. Yeah, I've heard good things about GU, so if there was one I was going to try and like actually get off my ass and do, GU would probably be it. Simple's good. Pepperoni mushroom pizza is a nice uh, simple combo. Wait. I thought that was a joke from that one video. Oh, is this a moment for you where you're like, wait, that's not a bit? <laughs> wait, that was real? Favorite pizza comes uh, from Jet's Pizza. Yeah, everybody's got their, everybody's got like a pizza place that they definitely like, like oh yeah, let me get it from there. For me, it's Mellow Mushroom. Um, used to be Marco's Pizza back in Zade. They had some really fucking cheesy goodness, but I, I don't have a Marco's anywhere nearby anymore. Now, man, Mo definitely pays his crew well, plus tips. And for it, they keep their mouths shut, unless they're going on a fishing trip. Well, I mean, I, they probably get paid extra because they're uh, lending a helping hand uh, uh, every now and again, you know? I feel like that's kind of the vibe they got going on. They're a family, you know? You know when, like, the, the employers are like, here, we're a family. Mo says that, but he means it in a little bit of a different way. Sometimes I like to get a sausage and black olive pizza. There's a lot of stuff I haven't tried on pizza. Olives is one of them. I like royal pepperoni pizza. Royal pepperoni? What is, 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 is royal the place or is that like a type of pepperoni? Mo may or may not be uh, be moving 15 pounds of crack, but he does it. He does spin a wicked pie. Hey, you know what he does in his own time? I don't care. As long as he's giving me that good pizza, let's go. I have a Marco's Pizza nearby. I get my pizza from that place. Yeah, I remember Marco's being, uh, at the very least, a good one. It, like, when it came to, like, having to, like, order out a pizza, um, I would always opt for that over, like, a Pizza Hut or, like, a Domino's or anything like that. No, he legit tells you to distract it after you hit a health limit, and it shows up to attack the boss just like a random Elder Dragon shows up to fight an Elder Dragon. Narwa at the end of a lower rank. They say they're a family with an Italian-American accent. <sighs> How the fuck? I mean, like, I, I feel like I know what that is in my mind, but I feel like if I try it right now, I'm going to butcher it. But let's, let's try. They are family. You get this? They are family. Is that what you're going for? Did I get it right? Is it something else? I'm looking around. Did I fuck up? It's a type of pepperoni. Okay. I'm a pepperoni lover. Pepperonis are good. Black olives are good on pizza. I actually don't think I've even had olives off of pizza. So I can't say how that flavor profile would go. Also best pizza. Pirata tomato base. Cheese, bacon, salami, onion, egg. Huh. Sounds interesting. Like I said before, I'm not, I'm, I, I've grown out of my picky eating. I'd probably take a bite of like any pizza that someone put in front of me. And like at least try it and then either go, mm, not for me, or I'd go, oh shit, this slapped. I'm always on and off about olives. One day I love them, the other day I hate them. Same with pickles. I have a bad... I haven't had a pickle in forever, but I, I don't remember liking pickles. Mainly because what would happen is I'd go to Sonic and get a grilled cheese, and they'd always have pickles on the fucking grilled cheese making the bread soggy with pickle juice, and I didn't like it. And I'd have to always ask, don't leave, don't put pickles on it. And occasionally they'd still put pickles on it and I would curse, I'd curse God for doing this to me. I just realized the one cafeteria drawn CG looks like the snoot cafeteria, but drawn at a different angle. Oh yeah, a little bit, huh? Compared to the old demo stock art. Got a local place called Roma's. Used to be in an old mall and they moved about 20 years ago and still has good pizza. I mean, when you find, like, a local place that's really good, it's always a good... Like, you're always, like, a... It gets the smile going, you know? 
Rodeo in Texas recently was serving rattlesnake nachos and pickle pizza. Wish I got the chance to try that wild shit. That does sound kind of wild. What the fuck? Huh. Pepperoni Magnifico. Pepperoni. Our signature old world pepperoni. Ro Romazon seasoning. Our original sauce. And signature three cheeses. Ooh. Yummy, yummy. That's the pizza name. Not royal, but Magnifico. That sounds pretty good. Moved uh, to a different spot a bit away, so instead of like a 15 minute drive, it's like a 20 minute drive now. Yeah, it's only a five minute difference. That's not too bad, right? For some people, five minutes would be like, what the fuck? Nah, fuck that, dude. I if Anytime I have to like go visit my parents, I have to drive like an hour 15. I'm no stranger to having to make longer drives for something. A pizzeria named, uh, near me named Joe and jo uh, John's actually is doing well. They expanded their venue and got a genuine old school onion and imported some spices to make some better pizza well, that's good we'd love to see a, we'd love to see a pizza place prosper real question is would you try mo's meteor pizza special fuck yeah <laughs> not even a question it, it's fucking about well, you, you you seem to have forgotten that we had an ad earlier at the movie theater for mo's she, we, she popped up on screen and said hey you want a fucking pizza i'd be like yeah i want a fucking pizza just simple little Caesars pepperoni enjoyer. I used to get like the $5 little Caesars thing where you get like a drink and a personal little Caesars thingy uh, when I was when I would leave high school uh, back in the day. Easy, go pick it up. Because I got out earlier since I didn't have like a full class load. It was great. Old school oven. Okay, yeah, I I, I kind of figured it was supposed to be old school oven, not old, old school onion, but I kind of just let it ride. I'll be honest, I like Trisha's hoodie. I want that hoodie. That's all right. I'm not a huge fan of the color yellow, so it doesn't tickle me. It's definitely a topping I'll have on every pizza. Piss and pizza seems to be the most popular topics this stream. Well, I went to go take a piss and now we're playing the pizza mod, so you know, go figure. <laughs> I think I'm dying of Gator Kissy's withdrawal. Don't worry, we'll get... Well, okay, I don't know what little Gator's gonna be like. Maybe we'll get a Gator Kiss, who knows? Again, I have like no context on Little Gator, to be real with you. Tried Hawaiian and before that I had 20 plus years of propaganda. It was good, not bad. Our local pizza place puts the pepperoni underneath the cheese. I've tried that a couple times, it's not bad. Piss pizza showers, the triangle of chat. Just wait till we're, we're, we're doing that thing where you eat in the shower, right? Like there's people who eat in the shower. We'll do that and then we'll take a piss. That way we've actually, we connect it all, you know? You forgot the thirst. You just open your mouth and let the shower water in your mouth. Easy. You drive for one hour, the Brits would say that. Their parents live far away. <laughs> Not busy. Yeah, I, I saw a post which was talking about like, you know, Europeans and stuff don't think that Americans are well-traveled, but they really are. It's just they're well-traveled in their own states and stuff because their states are huge. Those are a bunch of squares. When we graduate to a greater shape. Shapes are hard. I, I don't like counting sides. It hurts my brain. Cheap Little Caesars is nice. I know you're dirt cheap and bad for me, but I love you. As long as you go into it knowing what you're buying, it's fine. Red marker tic-tac-toe on yellow hoodie. You think you think they would end up doing like tic-tac-toe on Anon's like fucking bald head? I feel like they would at some point. Little Gator sure is something. Theme of Little Gator is retardation. Okay. <laughs> Great. Not that thirst. Oh boy. <laughs> Wait, no, you're right, Twisted. Not that thirst, huh? Kind of forgot. Kind of, kind of already like phased out the uh, Smasher Pass Pokemon and Monster Hunter out of my brain. Usually make a pan pizza and garnish it with minced garlic and lemon zest. Favorite part is that Little Gator. Uh, my favorite part of Little Gator is how Inko doesn't act any different despite the premise of the mod. <laughs> what did they mean by this? <laughs> Horses are gonna go great for Little Gator. Oh fuck me. All right. Well, we gotta get there, right? <laughs> We're gonna make sure you don't forget. I can always count on you guys. Then I, uh... I had to take a phone call. That's anticlimactic. Strange. I don't remember your phone ringing. The penance stare threatens to tear me apart. I mean, I, uh... I had to make a phone call to... Uh, to Mo. Uh, about the current situation in Marinara. Marinara is not a place, Anon. Hmm. 
All right, here's what actually happened. Trichetti needs a second O right next to the other, right next to each other. I may not be here for it, but I'll 100% watch the vid after. Massive country and Euros that come over here usually think they can arrive in NY and then travel to LA in a week. Just to find out they are massively mistaken from their tiny little world. Had one slice of Little Caesars after two days of fasting. Went, <laughs> went through me. <laughs> or went through you. Oh, damn. I got that IBS shit, so everything goes through me. Can be a place. Marinara can be a place. Anything can be a pl You know, okay. Geography gripe here. Why the fuck do we reuse names so much? Like, we were doing... Me and my, me and my pals, like, either... I think it was Tuesday night. We were, like, going around and looking ar around each other's, like, cities and everything on Google Maps. And we zoomed in. And... <laughs> And while we're zooming in, we can see like the names of other cities. I'm like, why is there a fucking Greensboro over here? There's a Greensboro over where I am too. And there's one over here too. Why the fuck is everybody reusing these fucking names? I hate it. It pisses me off. I want to have as many kids with Trish as she has siblings. Yes, I have trigger fever. <sighs> you know, I guess everybody needs somebody, right? Only found one good pizza place near us. Everything else is at best. Well, at least you have a good pizza place, right? Maine doesn't have good pizza places, I guess. Grocery store stock freezer flashbacks. Oh no, the bag. The thirst. Dude, I told you, I looked at the fucking like art book and I was like, damn. D damn, there are some people that want Trish, huh? That and some fucking thirsty Naomi fuckers, that's for sure. I think some people just have a thing for the villains. These humans like using simple words to describe places. Over there, or in here, or on top of that. Why can't we use those as names? That'd be really funny. God's thirstiest lad. Pretty grateful I looked out on the biological issues department. I just got an allergy to powdered latex. Yeah, that's not too bad, right? My brother has a fucking weird, like, indentation in his ribs, and it kind of, like, arcs out, and he's a little lopsided. <laughs> so he got some stuff going on. My eyes aren't great, but that's kind of a common one. Wait till you learn Trish's last name is funny. Oh, boy. We might have learned it already, and my dumbass just forgot. The art book? Oh, the Karma Snutra folder? Yeah, there's that one. Uh, and then there's just, like, one, like, later... Like, there's the fucking one where... Uh, Anon shows up to take Trish to prom and then another one where they're like fucking calling each other all the slurs and then make out afterwards Art book sauce Wasn't aware that was a thing There's like an allergy to everything Besides we all know Tarot GF is the superior choice Truthfully though Rose is my favorite but Trish uh, gets better art some shit out of luck you take what you can get, right? You eat what the chefs give you. Same place as new game. Yeah, my skin gets red and itchy and I start sneezing a bunch. I love the why are you guys sad comic. Is that one in the art book? Or is that one external? You know, I, I don't know what it was before. I think I was like allergic to something when I was younger because I would, would occasionally get hives. Trish Mod for last name. I think so. I'll have to I'll have to recheck the art book later then. Because it's not coming to mind right now. I know I like breezed through it uh, a day ago. I found myself in the freezer, sitting on an oddly shaped black garbage bag that was laying on the floor. Tony put me in here to help me recover a bit. I've been sitting here for a while. So the cold is starting to get to me. Then Mo peeks his head in through the door. Anon, my boy! Why is you hiding down in the freezer? It's a comfy, cool place. I heard from Tony that you's been doing well. But that you ran from lunch rush? I mean, sort of. So, yes... If you can't handle the heat, ain't no shame in it. I got other spots to put you in. No, it's... You don't understand. So how about you tell me? Okay, so in comes this girl. 
She comes in to order lunch, okay? Mm-hmm. She's got huge boobs. I mean, some serious honkers. A real set of badonkers. What? P packing some double honkaroos. Massive double honkabonkados. Oh, fuck! And the big old tongue honker honkers. So, oh, she orders lunch, and I take her order. Like a pro, my boy. Then her mom shows up. With even bigger bonka hagada goos. Humongous hunga la magahanga na naga la congos. And on Jesus, you're breaking the text box. Oh yeah, Alan's a man of culture. Hoping purple game gets finished. Cope. Can Trish give a, a wing hug? No. Is she nice? No. <laughs> You've made your point. Yeah, I did put it in the freezer. This man, I'm out fucking dying here. So that's why you zoned out? Also, to clear up your story, you missed a detail. You didn't even take their orders. You just stood there staring at them. Tony had to drag you away into the back rooms and take over at the counter. Dang, hit you in the back of the head with what feels like an extended version of Algebra 3. Oh fuck. Don't go oogling other girls, dweeb. Fang raises the punitory textbook once more. Oh, come on, man. Understood. <sighs> but girls? You know what I mean, dweeb. Oh, this is that about a black garbage bag? Uh, the bag? Probably just some fresh produce. Tony brings in those deliveries all the time. Oh yeah, do y'all want to join up for open mic night at Moe's this weekend? What was with this? <laughs> the gang looks at each other, locking eyes for just a short moment before they nod in agreement. And you're breaking the fourth wall, Mo. Oh god, fourth wall broken. But Trish can grab your waist with her tail. <laughs> uh, no, she can't reach up that high. She can grab my knees. Radical. Always up for showing off her newest masterpieces. Well, we need some new material too. Let's get to work on putting together something during lunch tomorrow. Sounds good. It's settled. Well, that's about time to head off. Not to be a stickler, but I actually enjoy Jingo's class. Fang getting jealous? Why does that tickle my brain? Knees? Nah. Ankles tops. <laughs> we put our trays, uh, put away our trays as the gang starts juggling ideas for a new song before shuffling off to music class. I can feel my eyes growing tired once more. Being up and moving helps keep me awake. Only barely, though. Jingo hands us a worksheet and leaves us to pair up. Reed heads off to just barely finish it so that we, he can work on the first draft of the new song. Fang feels some pity for my broken down body and sticks by my side. Or maybe she's just feeling guilty for setting me up with Mo. <sighs> a few more minutes of shut eye while Fang takes care of our worksheets would be nice. Oh, come on! Nah, -uh. you're not sleeping your way through this shit. Okay, <sighs> let's get down to business then. Actually, looking at the sheet, I start to realize those are really is a faggot. So this art book, what's it called? You can download the art book from the Snoot Game uh, website. Once you scroll down, there will be a link to it. Plus, she'd stab you when you try to kiss, and Fang's tongue is canonically very long. You know, that's, that's, a, that's a big green flag for some people. The class goes by quickly, and afterwards on our walk to the bus stop, Fang juggles some ideas for how to kickstart their performance with me. And I try my best to give some advice. Just our book, it's from the new game website. Mm -hmm. Mostly falls flat, but she politely nods and still entertains my ideas. We hug farewell at the bus stop before Fang runs off toward the NASCAR and I get on the bus. I fall asleep as soon as I come home. My alarm pulls me back to the mortal coil. 
Holy shit, I've been out for 12 hours. I feel reborn. Got a couple of missed texts from Fang, so I send back in, I'm alive, fell asleep when I got home. Shower, breakfast clothes, shoes, and self-defense utensil. And I walk to the bus stop. With the, what, the stabbing or the tongue? Yes. That's all I'm going to give you. Yes. <laughs> I do like the beta version for Snoot Game Stella. Purple is a good color for her. XYZ inside con. Mm-hmm. It's too real. I'm very curious about this art book that everyone's talking about. Got a certain picture. Well, I mean, here. I'll pull up the site so you guys can see where it is if you want to download it. Let me... Uh, Snoot Game XYZ. So, for those of you who don't know how to get to the art book, uh, simple enough, you just go to the page, and then right here, updated art book. You click that, and then it'll download it. At least it should. You can also get the desktop pet here, if you wanted. Yeah, so it just starts to download right there. Easy peasy. I got a certain picture of Anon and Fang making out the, uh, making out the door gets knocked on them. And the door gets knocked on. They stop kissing, saying pizza's here. And her tongue just flops out from inside his throat. Shit's a great image. Holy shit. Goddamn. No, Naomi probably has a wide tongue. Just some behind the scenes stuff for Snoop Game. Fang's tongue could reach Anon's tonsils, if I remember correctly. Holy fucking. Goddamn. Keep spending most of our lives living in this skinny paradise. Oh god, I forgot I had the 500 is 500 open a different window to flash me myself. Again? Damn. Something tells me you're gonna go through that. Halfway through homeroom, I get a text from Fang. Tiny phone. Hey, cue ball. Hey, feather brain. Wanna meet on the roof during recess? Sure. So I haven't repaired this, the sketch hole, huh? The roof is empty, save for us. Some cigarette butts from the last people that were up here playing hooky are letting off a faint smell of cheap tobacco and tar. Light breezes distant and distant sounds of students littering about in the school's green area are a nice backdrop. Fang and I finally finding a small window to spend some time away from the rest of the band is nice. Fang pulls out her pack of cigarettes, flicking it open to shake out two cigarettes in one smooth motion. She naps one with her snoot and reaches over the pack to me so that I can grab the other one. <laughs> oh, wait. You had that trashy vape now, didn't you? The pack stops halfway. The outreach cigarette slowly retreats back to the safety of its brethren. No, I quit. Huh. You had that thing for a few days and already quit? <laughs> I told you so. Stop buying the cheap shit from Z Express. Eh, no help to. You can't take all the credit. Reaching out for the cig before it disappears in the crowd, I find it snatched away by Fang once more right as my fingers are about to grasp it. <laughs> nah. So what happened? I sigh. Are you gonna be like this today? Like what? A mischievous grin was spreading out over her face. Apart from, of course, the stream. <laughs> like this? I have no idea what you're talking about. Now what happened to your super cool and healthy little gadget? Well, it was a normal night, right after closing. Another great shift done, kid! Thanks, boss. You really started to shape into something, and I'm proud of you. It's weird to hear it out loud. When was the last time someone told me they were proud of me? That was a long time ago. I'm sorry you have not been getting enough care, kid. Just remember, you're always welcome in now. Damn this mumbling. Uncle Mo's gonna be here. Now, time for a smoke break. A smoke break? I already took a vape earlier. No, no, no. A proper smoke break. None of them fancy machines you kids are using nowadays. You done good, so a little celebrating is due. Mo insists that we head into his office for a little bit of rest and recreation. Not like I can really do anything to resist. Man, it's at least four times as big as me. Oh, shit. Let's go. <laughs> That's cute. Mo has the intact pizza, and I'm guessing everyone else has the partial ones. 
They're all one big part of the big pie. I'm proud of you. <laughs> What's this feeling? Blinged out off his damn Moby ballin. Well, we know he ain't only doing the pizza business, that's for sure. The room is large, but with all the stuff crammed in there, it can barely fit the two of us. The faint smell of cigar smoke and old books hang over us like a ghost of boss's past. Wooden blinds cover the windows of the backyard, and portraits of pinstripe suit-wearing patriarchs from throughout the ages stare us down. Mo offers me to have a seat in one of the huge leather armchairs as he opens a cabinet, pulls out a bottle of amber liquid and a pair of cigars. He pours it up in two matching glasses, sets them down in front of us. Then, he drops down into the armchair opposite me. He then proceeds to use a knife he seemed to pull out of nowhere to cut the tips off the cigars. He puts one of the cigars in his mouth and pulls out a zippo from his pocket, flicks it open with a click, and lights it. Taking a deep drag and savoring the taste, he then lets out a puff of smoke that almost clouds the entire room. I pull out my pink bootleg high cat vape pen, aiming to follow suit. Mo shakes his head disapprovingly as he sees me taking it out. Kid, you better not think of using that bubblegum flavored abomination in this here office. You'll be disrespecting my ancestors. Uh, sorry, boss. Actually, that thing ain't good for you anyhow. With all them fake oils and the cheap synthetics. Lightning fast, he snatches it from my hand and shreds it with his teeth before letting it fall into the garbage can by his desk. That's cool. Only a month's earnings from scamming people in Run Escape gone in an instant. It only hurts a little. Mo picks up the other cigar, reaching it out toward me. Here you go, fag. Actually, that's a cigar. I know it's a, I know it's a cigar. I'm calling you a fag. Now take it, light it up, pull in a puff into your mouth, let it simmer, then breathe it out. None of that deep into your lung kids be doing nowadays. Ruining your bodies is all it do. Mo takes up his glass, curses, then calls out for Tony. A few drags later, the familiar face appears at the door. Hey, Tone! I need you to ice sand on here. Tony starts to move his hand to the back of his pants, reaching for something as his eyes darken. I forgot the ice with the whiskey. It's been a long day. Bro, homie was about to fucking kill us. <laughs> he, 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 is a, he is a ride or die kind of dude. He's like, Mo said kill it. It's ice this dude. All right. <laughs> no questions, baby. Damn. Here's the big pie. And I'm about to be defined dino instead of made man. Where's the simple pizza man? Cope is quickly dying. <laughs> when an Italian pizzeria has a motherfucker named Tony, you know it ain't a normal pizzeria. I just got the art book with all this crazy stuff. Art. Waves my hands in the air. Sparkles come out. A rainbow appears. As he hits every stereotype. Real talk. How does he get uh, the books on the top shelves? Just like smacks them with his face. They fall down. Need to get a good flip lighter even if I hardly use it. I've got a handful of Zippos. I just like Zippos. I think they're cool. I think I got one like in my side drawer here. Do I? Oh, must be another drawer. I got some cool ones. RuneScape. Mo's fucking great, I love him. Yeah, he's great. And I was about to sleep with the fishies. Tony's about to pull out his ice pick. <laughs> God, imagine getting fucking ice pick. That would suck so bad. Obviously. I mean, that, that, that goes without saying, but like compared to like just getting shot, like fucking... Alright, time for your lobotomy. <laughs> Almost got e one Jimmy, take the dog out. Yes, mother. Quick flash and yelp. For a walk, Jimmy. God damn it, you fucking idiot. Somehow I always default to Rodney Dangerfield from Mo's voice. Boss's orders. Plot twist, only Tony has been in the mob and left it for the pizza, uh, for a pizza. The good life. Discover Minecraft mods in the Snoot content folder. Make it's character skins. Wait, real shit? <laughs> That's great. Me setting myself to the Anon skin. Oh, Laura Croft showed it's a good weapon. Never smoke, but if it's gonna be a cigar, fuck yeah, <laughs> smoke it. I mean, I said it before, I've only ever smoked like one joint and that thing fucking sucked pulling it into my lungs. But, you know, I, maybe I'm just, maybe you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> maybe I smoked it wrong. 
black market pizza goes for a fortune these days. Tony abandons his previous action and returns to his normal cheerful expression. Right on it, boss. As Tony shuffles away, Mo turns to me once more. So, how's your old thing with Lucy going? You two getting along well? Were we? It felt right, yet I'm not used to this stuff. Relationships. I really like her. Or them. Yeah, Lucy's a good lass. As kind as they come. Mo takes a deep swig of whiskey and stares out into the aether. Don't squander it, kid. They says it's better to love and lose than to never love at all. But losing love when you could have held on? That leaves a bad taste in your mouth. He drinks deep once more. So you better push yourself to be your best self, yeah? Uh, what does that mean? Un <clears throat> I mean, boss? It means you've only got a few months left to be in kids. That day in your fancy high school before you're cast out into the real world. You can't expect to be all grown up from just graduating. It's a process. He stops, seemingly thinking deeply about something. Tony shows up at the door. Not walks up to it. One second the doorway's empty and the next he's there. You got to go with the boss. He comes in with an ice tray and a pair of tongs. Drops two ice cubes in each of our glasses. And leaves as quickly as he came. He must have really practiced the art of being quick and silent. Never knew him being I never knew being a waiter required such skills. Not that the whiskey's properly now that the whiskey's properly served, I take a sip. The strong biting taste immediately reminds me of the time I accidentally sipped on my dad's glass way back when. But I stomach it, letting it swirl around in my mouth as it intermingles with the remaining flavor of the cigar. So, now you like it. Mm. <clears throat> I cough to clear my throat, listening to smile from Mo. After the initial shock, it's quite nice. Ha! <laughs> it puts air on your chest, that's for sure. Then we talk some about the business and how to handle it. He tells me a lot about neckties and their intimidating effects for some reason, which is a bit odd since I've never seen him wear any. Soon enough, we're approaching our third refill of whiskey. So, kid, how you handling yourself? What could possibly happen to make you move all the way out here for the last semester? Uh, I really don't want to get into it. Got some baggage, eh? Well, I told you, Uncle Mo's gonna be here for you. Everything you tell me will stay between the two of us. Not even a word to, you know. Mo sighs, dripping down his chair a bit. You can't keep secrets from the one you love, you know? Being honest and upfront is how you build one of them proper relationships. I never said I loved Fang, but it felt right somehow. It might be the whiskey. It might be the talk of relationships and futures. Or it might be... More. This is probably the closest thing to love I've ever felt for someone 3D. I'll tell her. Someday. Don't let it linger for too long, you yeah, kid? Yes, boss. That's my boy! Now tell Uncle Mo what's been bothering you. The whiskey loosens my lips, and I end up telling him about everything. In between inebriated slurring and explaining some Korean cooking form lingo. Mo nods, taking it in, interjecting with a few comments every now and again. Oddly enough, I don't feel judged. It's comforting to let it all out to someone, even if it's my boss. After that, I don't remember much except for waking up on a couch in the back rooms with a headache, tucked under a well-worn blanket. We love Uncle Mo. I'd like to try a cigar at least once. Smoke joints like cigarettes. You hold. You just smoke a little, especially your first time. Yeah, I mean, it was. It was like the first time doing a weed, and I was just like, "Can I get high? Can I just do this already?" Um, and I've realized that if I ever wanted to do a marriage, I want to, again, I would be doing it with, uh, probably some fucking funny gummies <laughs> or like a brownie edibles seem to be way more interesting to me. Cause, uh, actually smoking seemed like it fucking blew. Cigars weren't that bad, but it reminded me of chewing on pencils. You know, my dad used to do, uh, what is it? Like, uh, 
tobacco chew. I don't know what the like. I, I know the brand he had. It was like Copenhagen, Copenhagen or whatever. But like he, he the the one where you pack your lip. He was able to quit that shit. Uh, dip. Yeah, he was able to quit that shit. Fortunately, um, <laughs> partially because of uh, at one point I remembered him uh, saying that once he got out of the uh, military and everything, he would uh, drop that shit. And then I kind of like held him to it. And I was like, hey, didn't you say you were going to quit that? Like, this is when I was way younger. And he was like, oh, fuck. All right. And so we stopped doing it. But uh, that shit is disgusting. Like, ugh. like you haven't had like the fucking dip bottles that you spit in afterwards. Oh, boy. Reminds me of, um, I want to say it was like one Halloween night. Me and one of my uh, old uh, friends uh, from when I was younger uh, were in the kitchen and we were I want to say it was like Halloween. It might have just been him hanging out. Um, but it was dark, and he went to go grab a water bottle uh, to take a sip. Um, and if you can't tell what uh, might have happened there, based off what I've said so far, uh, it wasn't water. And, uh, yeah, he threw up. That shit, that shit is yucky. Another goal is to try as many different alcohols. Eh, I'm not too keen on alcohol. I mean, like, I, I'll drink sometimes, but the only times I drink are because I'm trying to get, like, drunk with buddies. Like, I don't drink alcohol recreationally or, like, just for funsies, right? Um, I don't know. Like, you know, if I'm if I'm getting alcohol, I'm usually putting, like, some vodka with, like, some lemonade or some orange juice and making, like, screwdrivers. And now I'm about to throw up. It, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that that's, like, like I said, that shit is yucky, yucky. So just imagine how he would have felt there terrible um that said my dad does have like a lot of like higher end alcohols and like one of the recent times we went back he had me and my brother try this like top shelf whiskey he had and like i think most alcohol just tastes disgusting like i don't even drink beer i think that shit tastes gross it all just makes me go Ugh. but i will say the the type the type he gave us we had like one ice cube in it and let it like sit for a little bit and like in the air and everything and like the taste did kind of evolve on it so like i can see why some people appreciate all that but i don't know i don't think i'm one of them plus it's a lot of money <laughs> good enough retcons though all my homies love uncle mo yeah, one of the little ret uh one of the little retcons oh shit 3d love yeah, I mean, like, the thing is, like, if if it's a retcon, it's one of those retcons that, I, like, it didn't even, like, immediately jump out at me as a retcon. So it just feels natural, and that's, that's a good thing. Doing edibles instead of puff, such American thing. Look, my lungs did not like it. I mean, I would be willing to maybe try it again once more, like, just to see, but, like, it's not something I'm jumping up and down to do, you know what I mean? First time I did 420, it was a bong hit, and that shit dried my throat in seconds. Throat coated and dip. Same shit happened to me. That did your friend. Someone was visiting I didn't know. Picked up my water bottle and got a mouthful of that shit. Ugh. I, I'm glad I that never happened to me, because that stuff, it, it looks like fucking... It looks like the kind of thing that in a video game, if you drink it, it would instantly kill you. Ah, uh, call. It's very much a pleasure for me drunk isn't the goal yeah i mean like yeah some people like the taste of it and everything and like the complexities of flavor but usually when i sip it it's just i taste that bitterness so strongly that any kind of like notes of anything else to get drowned out and oh oh this is poison <laughs> reminds me of when i accidentally took a sip of alcohol that was in a water bottle <laughs> stayed away from drugs and alcohol it usually seems to pan out overall whiskey is my favorite love that smoky warmth Except Fireball and Ramchata. Got my mom. Always had a soda can for her cigarettes. And I remember making the mistake of sipping it every now and again. Oh. As an Eastern European, I can't imagine a world without beer. That is proper beer. Not that thing Americans drink. Maybe I just need to try proper beer then. Because like any beer that I've tried is just like, this sucks. Why are you guys drinking this? <laughs> Stick to hard soda. I'll probably drink a bit of wine, but... Other alcohol drinks just taste the same. I, I've tried like a hard lemonade before. Uh, like Mike's hard lemonade or whatever. And like I was with a friend when I tried it. And I was like, man, I can still taste the alcohol in this. And they, they looked at me like I was like fuck, from another planet. They're like, what? You can taste the alcohol? I'm like, yeah, I can taste the fucking alcohol. 
I don't like it. I taste the shit really acutely. I stick to hard soda. Oh yeah, I read that. Uh, I mean, I noticed immediately it was a big plot point for Snoot. Just tastefully done uh, to forge a stronger bond between Mo and Anon while not feeling out of place. Mm -hmm. I mean, that makes sense. I, I, I'm also like multi-lane thinking right now, so maybe it just like slid by my brain. I'm going to head to bed. I'll watch the stream later. Have a good night. All right. You have a good night too, Andres. Sleep well. Yeah, I don't know. I've never noticed the bitterness. I like the alcoholic sting. Just go to the store and buy Pilsner Urquell. Ur I think that sell that in America. Okay, 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 okay. In terms of alcohol, I'm currently wasted off of scotch and white rum. Beer's nasty. Really in Mike's? Yeah, no, like Mike, Mike's hard lemonade. I I tasted the the bitterness of the alcohol. I, I like I don't know. It it was one like one of those things. Uh, back in like I don't know why we did it in our psychology course, but. Back in like a high school psychology course, we did like a whole thing where like they took a look or like they you did like some experiment where you tested like if you were one of those quote unquote super tasters because you got like a bunch of fucking taste buds on your tongue or whatever. And I like scored high in that and I was like, oh, okay, I guess I'm a super taster. And so I figure part of that's just like I really taste that like bitterness stuff acutely. So anytime it in something, I'm going to pick up on it. Got to go to bed. I'll catch the money bud, uh, money mod tomorrow or today. All right. Take care. Take care, ultimate life form cars. I have to shorten that. I'll just call you cars. <sighs> yeah, I need very sugary alcohol or very fruity beer to enjoy it. The reason I like Fireball is because it's more cinnamon and goes down hot. Yeah, I I, I kind of in the same boat with that. I've tried Fireball before, and like I I think I the first time I tried it, I was like, eh, it wasn't too bad. That was okay. But like when I, I remember, there's like this place. Um, nearby that uh, has like a bunch like a wide selection of different like beers and ales and all that stuff and i got like a whole sampler thing and there was this one called like smooth jams or whatever and it was like a beer that tasted like a peanut butter and jelly and that shit was actually pretty good um and then there was like a pineapple pineapple cider that i thought was pretty good as well or some budvar but it's called Czechvar. i think that's how it's pronounced in usa since some americans stole the name of the czech beer and trademark Budvar in the USA and now makes it that swill called Bud Light. Mm. Gotcha. I just drink Dr. Pepper and water. Hey, that's that's fine. You know, I mean, most of the time I'm usually just drinking water, a Coke, maybe a Sprite if I'm really feeling fancy. Might have noticed it the first time because it was one of the first drinks, but after that, never. Maybe it's all the sour candy saved me from noticing those things. Perhaps, perhaps you've melted the, the taste buds together. Last nice comment, just pull in the Inko and drink lean. <laughs> yeah, let me just fucking get that purple drink going. <laughs> I like chocolate milk. You know, speaking of chocolate milk, my brother was trying to make chocolate milk with like some fucking Hershey's, like Hershey squirts with the milk uh, at one point. And he was trying to like stir it around and it was it didn't really work too well and like he he t he was using one of those clear cups and he tipped it back to take a sip and i could see all of like the fucking chocolate just like at the bottom of the glass and i'm like dude your your chocolate milk looks like it shit itself <laughs> like a good whiskey and coke simple and pleasant sweet tea is my go-to drink love that shit i think i scraped my tooth taste buds while brushing it with toothpaste get that sweet sweet cough syrup in you I need to take what? What is it? Seventeen Benadryls. That's that's the one that you see the hat man, right? Yeah, it's purple, and I drink it. Mod stir his milk. <laughs> Were you there for that bit, <laughs> or the last time I told that? <laughs> oh boy. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and continue a little bit here. Yeah, I I figured. I was like, only somebody who was there last time would have remembered that. <laughs> oh, thank you for bringing that back up. That tickles me. Vanilla milk enjoyers, strawberry perhaps. I like vanilla milk. I just like milk. I don't drink it unless I'm having like cookies or something, or if it's like for breakfast. But I do like milk. Wine is nice hard cider. Really, I'll try any alcohol. It's all it's all the same to me. Give it a shippy. No particular preference. I can even go for Nesquik powder, probably because I grew up with it, but chocolate syrup is pretty good too. <clears throat> I'm 
Pat might have taken a liking to you. He's a great man. <laughs> what was that about feeling something for someone, 3D? My alarms go off. I'm getting dangerously close to revealing my power level. It just means that I... Come on now, brain, work with me for once. It just means that I really like you. She looks a bit flustered. Yet she doesn't look disgusted or angered. Only happy. This is the time. I take a deep breath, pushing away my fears. It's as good as time as any to say it. Bo's giving me the courage. Now it's up to me. I love you, Fang. Please stay by my side. These last few months have been some of the best of my life, even with all their ups and downs. My heart drums about as hard as Cole Fillin's solo. Raptor, Jesus, what if she doesn't feel the same? She feels the same, we're good. Is is this what we meant by the uh, fucking, uh, the retcon? I love you too, Dweeb. But if you tell anyone that I told you that, I will end you. She snuggles up against my shoulder, taking another deep drag as she drapes her wing around me. I was wondering when you were going to say it. You were waiting for it? Laughing it off, she looks up at me smiling, while holding on to my arm. Yeah, it's a good one though. Yeah, now I see what we mean by the, uh... The retcon. I hope things will keep on keeping on. We stand there in silence for a while, enjoying our quiet time together. I feel safe next to her. Bing bong! Ding dong! Bing bong! We extinguish our cigarettes and start to head back to our classes, bidding adieu to the premise that we'd spend lunch in the auditorium so that the band could work on something for the open mic night. Soon enough, I'm walking through the hallways toward the auditorium with my chicken and curry baguette. This quick powder brings good times back. Love going to my aunts and hearing the spoon hit the glass. Milk good. This quick strawberry milk is the only strawberry milk I'll go for. I've had others and it feels like strawberry flavor is separate from the milk and it's nasty. Strawberry's a hard one. Never had Nest quick. But whatever they served back in elementary school was really good. That's a good one though. We love ding dong bing bong here. A body has been discovered. What the fuck? We dang gang ramping? Damn, you cock blocking battle. Why must you do this to me? Headed to bed, must fix sleeping schedule. Good night. Yep, good night. Have a good sleep, Kashton. So glad I'm not the only one thinking dang and romping with that bell. Sharp milk, don't you mean Rosa milk? Don't talk about Rosa milk. Some motherfuckers are gonna start going fucking rabid. I feel a lot less sluggish today. Might even be on my way to recovering. My entire everything still feels sore, but at least I can keep my eyelids open. Bands totally started practicing, or the bands already started practicing. Thing waves at me as I enter. Reed looks up, locking eyes with me. Hey, so dude, what do you think of this? Yo, this is the vibrate mod. Uh, it's very interesting. You're sure to captivate your audience. I told you, our audience will love it. I'm fairly sure that wasn't what Anon said. So, hey, you look less like a zombie today. How's your gummy vitamin and microwave dinner diet going? Are you getting your daily dose? Thanks, Doc. I'm taking care of myself. You looking forward to the open mic night? Open mic night, yeah. <laughs> We're starting to nail our opening act. I can hear that. Reed's getting real creative. Yeah, Trisha, rein him in. Raptor Jesus in heaven, you're murdering that intro. Let it rest in peace and let's move on. Dude, please, let me practice my art. It's not art! It's manslaughter! Put down those drumsticks, Reed. Let's have a short break. Thanks for the feedback, my man. So what do you think we can improve? Got a bit of an impasse here. I think we finish up our lunch and not bother Anon. Nah, dude's a cool caper. He'll just tell us if his brain can't handle all this mojo. Uh, yeah, it sounds... 
Trish looks over to me, raising an eyebrow. Like you've got a bit of work left to do, but it's got potential. Maybe go easier on the drums? Trish draws a sigh of relief before perking up and changing the subject. By the way, you didn't finish up, <clears throat> you didn't finish up yesterday. And the rest of your week at Moe's go. Oh, uh, yeah. Regale us with your thrilling tales. I could use a short break. Us artists can't hog the spotlight all the time, right? You need a breather so you can do a fresh take, that's for sure. Fuck me. Well then. So, picking up where we left off, the Wednesday. What the hell is Rosamilk? Don't fix the sleep schedule, the sleep schedule fixes you. It straightens you out at some point, that's for sure. That's quick as trying to build rights to water, fuck them. Me when I try to buy water, but I have to pick between three big Corpos brands of water because all water has been uh, privatized. Rosa's milk? Gator milk when? <sighs> we just had to like, you know, it, like it, we can't have like a normal conversation about milk before saying, can we have this character's milk, please? More milk, please? It's like the fucking, like the picture of those little kids in their costumes. Like, can more milk, uh, Rosa milk, please. Only Rosa Milk. I, my mom said I can only have Rosa Milk. Why did you say Rosa Milk? I said Rosa Milk, not Raul Milk. <laughs> Certainly hope it's milk. Mm, Rosa Milk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Chad is lost. Up, right, down, down. Down. No, 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 no. You don't need the 500 kilogram. You need the up, right, down, down, right. You need the carpet bomb right now. Can't focus on the stream after that Rosa Milk comment. More Fent, please thank you. Thank you for saying what I wasn't going to. <laughs> Fent, please. Uh, I can only have Fent. My mom said I'm only allowed to have Fent. Uh, people only hand out Fent nowadays. Tonight's the night. Fang and her family are coming to the restaurant tonight. Meanwhile, I'm busy sweating bullets while desperately trying to hold on to those last strands of sanity. Free crack. Ripley's gonna tear me to shreds if I so much as slip up for a millisecond. Hopefully Mel will be able to handle him. The other tables have gone well so far. A lot better since that time the two ladies came in. Shudder at the prospect of spurging out as bad as that time ever again. And then my phone buzzes. Hey. We'll be there in like five minutes. Gonna need more than Fent. Gonna need coffee. Woo! Let's get some free crack, baby! Juanitero milk. Okay. Back to the back to the fucking game. <sighs> All right, Dad, please, don't embarrass me in there. Be kind to him. I'll treat him like he deserves to be treated. No, dear. Be nice and don't make a scene. The hulking mass of an overprotective father grunts disapprovingly. A quick glance from his wife makes him soften up, though. All right, all right. For the sake of keeping it, peace it moves. The saccharine sweetheart tugs at her husband's shirt a bit so that he lowers his head and gives him a peck on the cheek. Aw, oh, isn't that cute? Thank you, dear. The high-speed camera might have spotted a tiny smile and a slight blush, but it's invisible in the naked eye. Chat, this is how we get him to keep going. Yo, anytime he looks at the chat, fucking say something horrendous. <laughs> I want to milk that dino. Yep, back to the game. It's working, look. <laughs> I can see that the errands have gathered outside. Fang and her parents seem to be having some sort of argument. Meanwhile, Nazar seems to do his best to stay out of it as he stares at his phone. Smart move. Hey boss, the errands have arrived. A muffled voice coming from the back rooms responds. Yeah, give him a warm welcome. Bring out the unlimited breath sticks and fancy water. Got it, boss. The doorbell rings as Fang pushes open the door and enters, bringing her family along behind her. Welcome to Moe's. How can I serve you this evening? Stifling a chuckle, Fang responds in a similar manner. <laughs> We'd like a table for four. <laughs> we we called and set up a reservation earlier with a mouse. Certainly. Right this way. Heck yeah, I'm doing my part. Jokes aside about Mo and Fang's dad. It's the mom you gotta watch out for. That woman is scary. We will liberate this chat with Fent milk and dino milk. Mix it all together. You got a treat. The restaurant is packed tonight since the retirement home's annual bowls convention just started. Yet a small sign with reserved had kept uh, the best table free. 
That's an interesting art piece, huh? Mo had taken some old folks to the back rooms to talk about it when they just ignored the sign and sat down. After that, we had no issues. Seeing them to the table, I pull out their chairs. They grab their seats as I scurry off to fetch the breadsticks and fancy water. Fancy just meant that we actually cooled it instead of taking it directly from the tap. I pass Mo in the halls, I gotta fetch everything. Doing well, kid! I made it out to greet our guests. Come, grab a come grab a seat when you when things have cooled down a bit. Don't can hold for the fort for a while. Ugh, fuck that all up. Sure, boss. Thanks, boss. Hey, Tony. I mean, Tony. Uh, Mo said that I could go grab a seat with Fang and her family for a while. You find holding fort? Hey, right, kid. Take it easy. I'll call you when I need you. Thanks. Tony gives me a pat on the back as he nods and sends me off. Picking up the basket of appetizers in the carfe. Or, sorry, the carfe? The carafe. The carafe. I head back out. Yo, we're getting fucking lit over here at the table, I'll tell you what. With every fossil from the retirement home having already been served, I've got a window to just spend some time with Fang and her family. Approaching the table, I manage to listen in on the end of their conversation. A good kid, a good lad, working hard. He'll take good care of it. You don't need to be so hard on him. He needs to learn how to be a man. Times are different now. You don't need to be forged and fired like we've got. Cut him some slack, he'll grow into it. As I come closer, Mo turns around. Hey, man, grab a seat. We was just talking about you. Mo pulls out a vacant chair from a nearby table nearly scaring the elderly occupants into choking on their spaghetti and places in front of me. Putting down the breadsticks and carafe, I grab a seat. So, Anon, uh, how are you liking it here so far? Uncle Mo's great to be around, right? You're flattering me! He's really been helping me through things. I thought I could fit into a wagey life. Wagey? This was a bearable existence. I'm having fun. It's been great. Exhausting, but great. My daughter's boyfriend, a waiter. How great. Can't wait to see all your future plans. Gripping his glass with his massive fist, I can hear the tension as it starts to crack while he stares at my neck with malicious intent. Thankfully, Mo puts a hand on his, pushing the glass back down to the table as Ripley loosens his grip. Hey, it's a good job, Rip. Don't be so hard on him. We've all put down our time. The kid's got loads of life to figure out. I think you're doing great. Seeing you not completely spurging out is a nice change. Mo laughs a hearty laugh, slapping me on the shoulder. If it wasn't for the fact that I was used to it and was bracing myself, I'd be sprawled out over the table, face down and covered in breadsticks and sliced lime. See? Uncle Mo knows how to beat some sense into him. One of these days, you might need one of these of your own. Mo points to his hat. Both he and the gang have all got identical ones. Was it some sort of rite of passage? Get your own gooner hat? I, I'm looking forward to it. I'll do my best, boss. <laughs> Where'd you pick up talking like that? It's all part of the work, Lucy. All a part of being on this here team. Lord have mercy. Hey, forget about it. Whoa. The eyes. Don't you worry too much, little Lucy. I'll take good care of your boyfriend. Fang turns away with an embarrassed look on her face, muttering something inaudible. So, what are your actual plans after graduation? Don't start zooming. I'm going to have to stay here for another 20 minutes. Everyone stops to look at me. Time slows to a crawl. Their expectations are enormous. My heart is put on the scale for judgment. Shitposting and drifting around in society without drawing attention to myself wouldn't cut it as an answer. Is that still what I want to do with my life? Meeting the gang, getting to know them, being part of something? Finding Fang? It's been changing me into something new. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know what I want to do, but I like doing this. 
Mo looks at me with a glint in his eye. I'm good at this. That's... Ripley looks scrutinizingly at me, but Samantha gives him a stern glance, making him ease off for the moment. A good answer. You've grown up more than I thought. Ripley puts a hand on my shoulder reassuringly. Though his forced smile tells me that there's a risk that he would collapse my upper torso with just one hand, had Samantha and Mo not been there. Yeah, what did I tell you, Rip? Mo once again pulls Ripley off me. Give the kid some slack. All of a sudden, Mo's got sharpness in his eyes that I haven't seen before. Ripley shrinks, rests his arm on the table, and returns to looking at the menu. The small talk resumes. I get back into talking with Fang and Nazar about what they've been up to, while Mo chats up Samantha. Ripley sits in silence for a while before he too returns talking to Mo, as if I'm not even there. Fang tells me that she's been relaxing and writing songs, as Reed and Trish were so busy that they haven't really been hanging out altogether. Nash has been working on his ride. He had ordered some parts by mail that Ripley helped him install. The evening passes, and all too soon Tony comes asking for me to aid him with the bills and clean off the tables, so Mo shoots me off. Fang shoots me a thumbs up and a wink. Go get him. Bada bing. Bada boom! Fang's smile quickly fades as her br uh, eyes narrow and I walk away chuckling. Cleanup is routine by now. Helping the fossils with the checks doesn't take much time at all. Bringing the dishes out to the kitchen where Polly's loading the dishwasher goes quickly. Mo calls me back out to the restaurant. The errands are just about to leave. We say our goodbyes, then Fang leans in for a quick kiss. A stern glare from Ripley makes me lean out, perfectly dodging it. The slow motion boost I get gives me time to run off into the kitchen before he can get his hands on me. And on you, motherfucker. You sit there and you take that kiss and then you die, alright? You don't back away from that. Jokes aside about Momo and Fang's dad. Oh yeah, I was I already read that one. Ch uh, Choco Dino Milk, right? And she managed to get that behemoth whipped. <laughs> She's terrifying. She is on Samus around. She's based on Samus around. How many times you gotta nearly die before you understand your place in, in the hate fuck relationship? <laughs> Liberty, freedom, democracy, and super earth. I guess the special drugs. My streamer get those illicit substances off your mind. No, I like my illicit substances. Does does a line of coke, right? That's an illicit substance. You go, ah, there. More illicit. Now releasing Dynamo's health ever armor set, spread democracy and pizza against all the enemies of super earth. Hell yeah. It's just an apron. Okay, when you say is it, it's just an apron, like, are we talking like there's no other armor? It's literally just an apron? Like, you're at, you're like full caked up while getting chased by fucking bugs? Got a craving for some good breadsticks now, Olive Garden. Where you been? Where you gone? Rare Moe's eyes mumbling in on Mohead's eyes confirmed. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? I haven't seen that before. I mean, working in a local place is never bad, helping the community and all that. Especially if it's with folks you're close with. Thought more, um, I was going to shit on Rip and call him a supermarket clerk. Yeah, no, that uh, that pissed the dad off more, him leaving Fang hanging. Yeah, he's like, dude, have some backbone, you fucker. And on you take that kiss, you wimpy skinny. God, we're all on the same page. Swishing past Tony and dragging a heavy bundle through the hall, I meet Polly in the kitchen and help him finish up the last of the dishes. Moe's out in the restaurant, eyeing through the bills and counting the register. Hey, kid! Come out of the kitchen and I'll show you a thing or two. On my way, boss. I got my apron on the hook by the swinging doors. I come back out into the restaurant. Here, let me show you how we finish up the day. Mo starts going through how we do it. We how we count the bills, how to reset the register, how we add some extra orders in case we missed any, and how to refill the roll of paper for the receipts. I'm gonna have to ask you for a favor. Could you work some other time tomorrow? Mm, sure, boss. Polly's gonna go visit an old friend, and I'm unsure if he'll be home in time. By the way, Mr. Moose, how about another sit-down night? I think he's in need of hearing a little something, you dig? I think that I might have to head home and sleep. Moose's stern look tells me that that wasn't just an invitation. Mm. Sleep can wait. I'd love to stay a while. That's my boy right there. 
finishing up the rest and saying goodbye to Tony and Polly as they leave, we head into the office once again. Yeah, what's going to piss the dad off more? His girl having a boyfriend or said boyfriend making his little girl upset? Oh no. The same chairs, the same whiskey, and the same brand of cigars. I'm a bit worried about what would happen if he, I, if I'd pulled out a cigarette at this point, and I have no intention of finding out. So, my boy, I sees you worried about Big Daddy Rip there, ain't you? Hard question, scenario. You want a, uh, want a guy who shirks work as your daughter's boyfriend? Shirts work in, like, what respect here? Because, I mean, like, Anon's been working, hasn't he? He only, like, took a took a moment to sit aside and hang out with the family for a little bit, right? Unless I'm missing something with that question. The introduction to the family. No need to answer. I know he's a bit terrifying. Always trying to put up a facade of being a real hard-boiled type. He's just protective as a little girl. You should have seen how he treated Trish when she started to pull all of them there. Bad thoughts in the bull Lucy's head. Anyway, my point's this. Get to know him. Show him you's a proper man. Ready to care for his little girl. That you're not just there to get a piece of that tarot. <laughs> well, you know. Of that, I am very well aware. All of a sudden, the room feels very hot. Arms weak, palms are sweaty. I'm rattling my glass so that the ice cubes are clattering against the edges. He has, but if he's uh, lallygagging with you, that's all you've seen. What's the impression? Uh, I don't know. I feel like I would be. I'd probably have a little bit more of a charitable interpretation of it, especially if Moe's vouching for him. I don't know. Ripley's Ripley's obviously a hard ass, but. I, I I don't know if I would be necessarily be like the same or anything, you know. <laughs> My boy, there's nothing to be ashamed of. Just you's gotta show him you mean more than that too. You gotta show him you'll take care of his baby. Put in your best side. Taking a drag of the cigar, I feel the whiskey start to cool my nerves a bit. I could handle this. Show Mo that I'm serious. I want to put in my best side for Ripley's baby girl. <sighs> Fuck. I best want to put a baby in his girl. At this point, it's not a slip. It's a Freudian fall into the Grand Canyon. Mo almost swallows his cigar in surprise. I mean that I'll take care of her. That I'll take care of his baby. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Then he cracks up and starts laughing heartily. Am <laughs> I, my lad? You need to work on them phrasings of yours. Mo reaches over, punching my shoulder, to which I. Brace myself just enough to not have me and the chair go careening off into the distance. One fucking job, Anon. Heck yeah, Anon. I mean, hey, if we look at the main menu, he does put a he does put a baby in it. Oh boy. If the owner is fine with you taking a minute to sit and talk, it should be cool. He's also showing you off in that moment. Bada boom, bada bing. Or bada bing, bada boom. God, here it comes. Man, gotta do the dad routine. Same as Nazar's brother routine. It's an unspoken rule when it comes to daughters, sisters. I only have a little brother, so I don't have like a I don't I don't have a sister. <laughs> Cut right to the damn chase. Skip all the foreplay. Oh yeah, right, he does. <laughs> One fucking job indeed. Good job. <laughs> the whiskey doesn't dull my sense enough to make up for the pain. Choking back tears, I try and sit still. Ah, no need to get teary-eyed, kid. Don't be so uptight. No need to worry about it too much. Suddenly looking serious, he looks at me with a cold, calculating stare. And if you ever get in trouble, know that Uncle Moe's right here for you. Leaning back, he returns to his normal, cheerful mannerism. 
Some advice. See if you can go out bowling or fishing. Old Rip loves to get out and do something physical. Between you and me, he brags loads about them their golf swings is. But the man could never finish below par for as long as I've known him. So, I should go bowling with him? Ain't that a great idea? Show him you mean business. That you want to give him y'all. Put your best foot forward. If it comes to that, Uncle Moe's gonna join you, Stoos. Looking down at my glass and at the half-smoked cigar in my hand, I feel... Odd. Feels odd to have someone care for me like this. <laughs> you gotta stop that mumbling, kid. And don't you worry too much about it. You've been aching for a good father figure, and no one's better than me at whipping some shape into you in kids like you. Th thanks, boss. For this once, you can call me Uncle Kid. Thanks, Uncle Mo. He's <laughs> very welcome, kid. Now smoke up, finish that glass of yours, then we'll close up and head home. I finish the glass, letting the alcohol dull my worries. Last inch of the stogie, uh tastes great as it mixes with the remaining flavor of the whiskey that's still lingering about. I've grown fond of these. It's gonna be an expensive habit if I keep it up. And I'll choose your words carefully next time. We pack up and head out, locking the door behind us. Mo gives me a hug before I walk off toward the bus stop. After that, it's a blur. All of a sudden, I'm just at home. My bed welcomes me with open arms. Got three sisters. So far, I had to do the elder brother stuff only twi only once. Got that middle school. It looked like he was getting faint. <laughs> Get his ass. I wake up uh, the following morning when the sun shines through my blinds, stabbing me in my sore eyes. I curse and look up at my uh, and curse and look at my phone, but it's dead. I forgot to plug it in when I got home. In cold sweat, I put it on charge as I rush my, uh, to put my clothes back on and toast a slice of bread. I run out of my apartment building with a slice of toast in my mouth like a schoolgirl running late to class. Being late to work in my first week would make a terrible impression. Thankfully, I make it with a few minutes to spare. Turns out to be a busy day today. I barely have time to clean the tables before the next set of guests arrive. I've just gotten finished wiping off one of the larger tables when I hear Mo call for me. Hey kid! You was running behind! Go take table 12's order! I'll get Tony on table cleaning duty! Okay, boss. You got it, boss. A family of dinos are sitting down at the table 12. The family and mother are trying to wrangle their unruly teenage son while, while their clearly mentally challenged daughter is chewing on some crowns. She's probably got a bright future ahead of herself in the Marines. Hello, welcome to Moe's. Sorry for the... Uh... Wait. What can I get you to drink? I'll have a Coke. Me too. I'll have water and chocolate lemonade. Sorry, we don't have water. Is Coke okay? I mean, we don't have Pepsi. Is water okay? I take a deep breath, inhaling to do a quick factory reset. We don't have Coke. Is Pepsi okay? Yeah, that's fine. By chance, can we put an order in now? I think we know what we want. Oh, uh, I... Sure, yeah. What, what do you have? I have a personal pepperoni pizza. I mean, what would you like? I think the eggplant parmesan, I think. Eggplant parmesan. And for you, sir? I have the three cheese penne. And she'll have the cake burger. But can we have no tomatoes on that? So that has, uh, there has to be tomatoes in the sauce. There's no way I can remove tomatoes from the sauce. No, no, no. On her burger. No tomatoes? Yes, no tomatoes, please. Okay. <laughs> no tomato for the potato. I'm sorry, what was that? What was what? When you just said. What? I say what? She knew that was her nickname. Her what? I look over to the teenager sitting ever so collected. A drop of sweat rolls down my rolls down 
A drop of sweat rolls down his cheek, revealing otherwise. Yes, that's Darth's new nickname I, he gives her. Isn't that right, Darthy? At the mere mention of his name, he snaps to attention. Our eyes lock. A moment of solidarity between two strangers, who, in a moment, stand together as brothers. Brothers together in arms. With one falls, so shall the other. <laughs> What the fuck is this scene, man? Holy shit. I'm the youngest by a decade, practically. <laughs> Trial run is the youngest, followed by the only child treatment. Me and my brother are only like three and a half years apart. What, what the? Oh, my childhood demon. Oh, the, oh my lord. I forgot about that show. I have no idea where these guys are from. Didn't the show end with all of them dying by a meteor? Oh boy, the mumble. Oh god, Anon needs three cc's of espresso stat. The immediate understanding, the, the met eyes where it's like, uh-oh, <laughs> we keep this secret, right? Anon, you really gotta keep your mouth shut when talking to yourself. We both make it out, or we both get hell at our doorstep. This is one of those mutually assured destruction type scenarios. Even the baby died. <laughs> It's a common uh, name for a uh, home country of uh, Italy. Bullet dodged. Well done, Ghost Rider. Italy, huh? Can't think I've ever heard of in Italy. Where's that located? Play it cool. Use that solid D plus grade in geography. Uh, Southern Europe. Oh. Very nice. Like it's uh, east of Spain, I think. Don't overdo it. Spain? What? I mean, Mexicans speak Spanish, but don't you know Spain? It's just a language. Well, wait. No, I believe Spain is an actual country. Need to keep course, mouse, laying the sucker down. Right next to, uh, at Atlantis? And you crashed it, dumbass. Dad, man, I'm hungry. Save through teamwork. Mistakes into miracles. Maybe Anon should start chewing gum. That might help the mumbling. Maybe. He called a kid retard. Anon! What the fuck is wrong with you? No, no I didn't. I called her a potato. That's not any better. Vegetables are considerably better than retards. Wait. Oh yeah, that one time. This is nice. I am finally getting some time to breathe. Thank you, Raptor Jesus, for these last few hours being so slow. Hmm. I hope there's no one around. I want to check if there's anything interesting happening in my favorite Mal Malca Malcavian fish milking form. Pulling out my phone from my pocket, I open up the app and navigate myself to my favorite board. Coomer bait, baited coomers, snoy shilling, and openly coom filled thread. Where are the video games? Bell above it rings as the front door opens, interrupting me before I can type a single ship post. Milk, it's full circle! <laughs> Life has a funny way of playing out, doesn't it? Takes a drag from the cigar. <sighs> Quickly hiding my phone with the speed of an experienced mid-lecture browser, I look up at her with my trademark customer service smile. Hello, miss. Welcome to Moe's. What can I get you? Whoa! That's one long fucking neck! Oh boy. Wait, how do you work at Moe's? The wonders of mods, my friend. The wonders of mods. Fish milking, milk, fish wooding. Nessie, Blue Liz, have fun! <laughs> Hello, I'd like to get five pizza suppers. Can, you, can I see your menu? I don't know what accent I'm supposed to even go for here. Wait, what? What did she say? Uh, you too, miss? Hmm? I'm sorry. I'd like to order. Can I see your menu? Scottish, you fool. How? Uh, fucking leave me alone. I'm stupid, okay? How do you do a Scottish accent? I don't even remember how to do a Scottish accent. Fuck, I'm gonna send it and then somebody's gonna be like, No, you idiot. That's the wrong accent. Kill you. Scotland forever! She's called Nessie. 
I'm sorry. I don't read all the time. I didn't look at her name. She hasn't introduced herself yet. How? I'm, I'm just following RP. How am I supposed to know she's Nessie? I'm sorry. When, when did she say, she, hello, I'm Nessie. I'd like five pizza suppers. Leave me alone. Wearing plaid. Shut up, Jeremy. I'll kill you. Dance, Mr. Streamer, do the accent. <sighs> Is that even English? I can barely understand one tenth of those words. I'm just like trying to think here. Yes, this is a pizza place, miss. She looks at me with a confused look on her face. I? I can see the pizza place. I want to order some. I want to order one. Is that? That's not Scottish, is it? Is it? Demo's gonna decapitate you. If he has to add me to his Islander, so be it. Save your, save your other accent for later. What other accent? What? What do you mean by that? Demo Knight inbound. She's starting to look annoyed at my lack of understanding of her esoteric ramblings. You might be leaning a bit more into Irish. It's it's over, bro. I'm not gonna be able to do it, am I? You know what? I, I it's, you know what this is telling me? What this is telling me right now is I need to spend a day. Just listening to accents for a little bit, like common accents, and just make sure I got them on, on ready to whip out at a moment's notice. That's what I'm learning right now. That's why I recognize your voice. <sighs> Pizza. I. You. Not me, you daft buffer. I simply said yes. Pronounce the words like you would, Mr. Suki. <laughs> That's why I recognize your voice on YouTube. Mm, I see. Thanks for the follow, by the way. <laughs> That's, if I try to do Mr. Suki, I'm gonna fuck that up so bad. Shit, I have no idea what she's trying to say. But I have to assume that she wants a pizza. She wouldn't come here otherwise, right? Would you like to order a pizza, miss? Hi! This what I was just saying to you. Did you... Did your ma drop you when you was just a bairn? Secretly we're just training him to become a pro VA. It's trial by fire out here, man. Uh. Don't read her words like you would Suki's. I, what, how did I even read Suki's? How did I even do that? I don't even remember. <laughs> do you realize how little my brain is? That shit went out when I didn't have to use them. Like, just pronounce it like they're actual words. Of course I was right. Look, just give me your menu. 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 Give me your menu, all right? Is that what you're looking for? They're gonna make more, uh, more games like Wani and Snoot. I would like them too. She points to our stack of menus. Oh, would you like a menu, miss? There you go. I think Scottish is tough. Wait till he tries Welsh. I'm gonna blow up something. I'm gonna become Irish real fucking quick. I. Handing over a menu seems to calm her down a little bit. She looks over it. Her expression has soothed, has soothed while reading. Has soothed while readings through our list of pizzas. All right, I'll have five pizza suppers. One small Hawaiian, two medium vegetarians, one with extra olives, the other without them, but with extra onion. All right. Now he's lost English. I'm never going to be able to recover. Did you catch that, boyo? Excuse me? Fucking Christ, fucking everyone, this tune is off the fucking rockers. I swear I'm gonna, lo gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. I can imagine Nessie have an eye patch and holding a sword. Demo. Fuck, uh, I can't do this alone. I need backup. Excuse me, miss. I'll be right back. Sure. Sweating bullets, I try to force a reassuring smile. He's getting it in a Scottish accent, but he's relearning English. Streamer, juggle the voices. Do it now. 
Make us laugh. Boss, I need some help. Could you come with me for a second? Sure thing, kid. What you got a problem with? Did those two ladies come back? Well, there's one woman, but it's a different woman. She's got... Say no more, kid. Uncle Mo saw you had to talk to the ladies. Mo looks over our cryptid customer, shooting his million dollar smile. Oh there, miss. What can I get you? I finally... Just as I was saying to your boy here, I'd like to order five pizza sopas. Mo freezes, yet still holding on to his smile for dear life. I'm sorry, miss. Could you say that again? Oh, sweet Mary and Joseph. Another bleeding idiot. Listen here. I just wanted to order some pizzas. Can you just do me a favor and please make me some pizzas? Mo is sweating. Yeah, Mo, Mo, Mo realizes, oh no. <laughs> oh no, we need somebody else. Mo leans over to me, still smiling, and whispers under his breath. Hello, my boy. Do you uh, have any idea what the lady's trying to say? So I asked you to help me, boss. All right, don't you worry about it. I'm sure we'll figure this out together. Okay, boss, I'm counting on you. 20 minutes later. He'll come back around, sounding like a Brit. <laughs> All right, Serena, you can drop the accent now. Hey, you can stop it now. What do you mean? What accent are you talking about? There's no accent here. It's just my voice. Thank you, Raptor Jesus. I think we finally got it. <laughs> God damn, I'm dying. Okay, so your order is one small number nine, one medium number six. Damn, even Mo, Mo, Scott, uh, yeah, even more. Mo, Scott. I'm in that delusional 1 a.m. state. I'm at 4 a.m., motherfucker. <laughs> you West Coasters and you're three hours behind. I'll fucking kill you. Nah, nah, olives, yeah. With no olives, one medium number six with extra onions and two number 25s with extra cheese. Uh, I checked the order once more to confirm before looking back to her. No Olivia's on mine, please. Will that be everything, miss? Aye. That's everything. Hey, kid! We got it! Yeah, we sure did, boss. Aye. Didn't smash your bony arms from wanking each other off? Wanking each other's nobbies off? You feckin' wank stains. So where'd you like to sit, miss? You can eat inside or outside? Uh-oh. She's about to start flashing. I think the bomb is activated. Someone who worked for Domino's. Simple solution. Get a menu and a paper pad and pen. Work smarter, not harder. Yeah, just point to it. <laughs> God bless the Walmart app as well. Helped with more customers than I'd like to admit. Red Liz. Red. The woman takes a deep breath. She's starting to shake as she slowly turns red. I have told you, Beefer. It's, it's, I take away. Meaning, I take it with me. Outside. Outside? There are a lot of vacant tables. You can sit wherever you like. The chance of being killed by a crypt is low, but never zero. Especially not now. Take away books. Ah, a box. We've got you, miss. Polly, prepare the ladies' takeaway. Anon, kiss the fix in the payment. <sighs> Sweating and tired. Sweating and tired. Sweating and tired. I tried to punch the numbers into the register. That Scottish accent. All right, so your order totals 50 bucks with our five pizza discount coupon. Taking her payment, I can see how she's also tired from all of this. Please take a seat. Your order will be ready in about 15 minutes. She walks over to the biggest table we have, resting her neck on the massive slab of oak. Scotland forever! I wish I have a Nessie. He's becoming a pro, boys. We got him there. And then I'm gonna like tuck that away and never use it again, I'm sure. Heading to bed, 3 a.m.'s hitting hard. Hope the rest of the stream goes well. Take care, Lanny. 
It's crazy how an accent can completely destroy any ability to understand. <laughs> After another 15 minutes of taking orders and serving our customers, Polly hands me the boxes. Godspeed, kid. Y you too. Polly gives me a pat on the back before heading back to the kitchen as I walk over to the lady at the table. Here's your order, miss. Handing over the five boxes, it's like the weight of the world is lifted from her shoulders. Ah, finally! Took you long enough. Have a nice day. Come again soon. All right. Uh, all right. Big thanks to you, monkey man. You too, miss. Her expression drops. She gets up, taking the boxes and heads out while she curses under her breath. You monkey not slob and retrobate. Nothing but have puff deep mink. That's one fiery gal, I tell you, my boy. You had it used in Puppet Palace, so now it's two occasions. Fuck, did I use it in Puppet Palace? I, you gotta understand, these voices come and go. They're basically like... Spirits speaking through me. Good thing you went and fetched me. Together we's better than a, Better than a us would been on our lonesome. I... I don't... Continuing. Ah, yeah. She was this close to flipping a lid and strangling us, kid. Damn, boss. I have a little faith. The old Mo got first-hand experience when it comes to things like these. Pulling down his collar, he reveals a scar on the back of his neck. Together, with your cryptological skills and these charms of mine, we did it. Another happy customer. I don't know, boss. She looked pretty annoyed when she left. Details, my boy. Details. Bada bing. Bada boom. Speaking about nothing, kid. What language did you two speak to each other? I'm about... 80% sure that we spoke English? I think. Hmm. Moe's grin fades. Shock and panic course through him. That was English, Anon? Thank God the next day wasn't as bad. It's also the joke Judy used in Puppet Bells. I think I can vaguely remember it now. Don't worry, Anon's used to a fire girl. Just a accent is a new challenge. Love a good callback. Question, do you have the Ben mod? No, we do not have any uh, alternate route mods right now. We're thinking we might set up a stream specifically for alt routes. Just a regular Thursday. A slow day turning into a slow night. Everything, in, Everything's in order, and I'm just getting paid to shitpost on, on a Flemish diary management form. Oh, fuck. How did I not hear the bell? How is he just here? Uh, Mr. Spears, how are you doing today? <clears throat> Mr. Mouse, how nice to see you. Enjoying your spring break? Having fun working through it, I guess. I need some beach vacation, am I right? Spears nods and grunts. It's not every day you get to see a teacher, or a principal, outside of a school setting. It's easy to forget they're not locked up in the school building. Fair point. Beaches and vacations are overrated. Loitering in the sun only gets worse as you grow older, I tell you. You're spending the best years of your life right now. You've got to grasp your opportunities when they show themselves. And if this is the best part, I can wait to see how it'll get worse. Anyways, are you here for pickup or dining in, sir? Oh, dining in. Gonna need a table for two. Preferably outside, if possible. Oh, and mind if I have two menus? No, not at all, sir. There you go. Thank you. Screams frantically, I hear voices. I also like the joke Judy used in public films. Oh yeah, I already heard that. Oh yeah, I'm, 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 I'm rerunning. Is there one that, uh, is there one with that dress already? Oh no, the bell rings when I allow it. Wait till you see his wife. Is it the big, big Rex that we saw in Puppet Pals? Oh my God, the man got a date. Are you, like, I mean, are, are we surprised? Dude, it's fucking Spears. Come on, he pulls. Let's be honest. Spears tucks the menu under his arm and leaves. Right out the door. As Spears leaves, the bell again fails to indicate that the door opened. Which is weird, since it's a mechanical bell. Literally. It's just hanging in the door. Fang Prime all. Big Mama Fang Fang too. Oh, are we gonna see Prime Fang? I, you know, I, I did... I, I have floated, um... We, so the watch night I do with uh, my friends, we just finished up the boys 
up to the last episode that's currently out and i floated them i'm like hey you guys want to watch primal i need to understand some 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 references and they're like yeah sure why not I wonder if spear's wife knows about the waifu thing <clears throat> what i saw him stare at it menacingly for a second before leaving and after a few minutes spears returns inside we've decided we'd like a table for two outside the house red and the 50 dollar charcuterie board entree outside a night out with the missus sir only so many nights in the summer Alan, and we better treasure them one second the customer's always right, but we've only got tables inside. Do we even have proper permits to serve tables outside? I'd have to confirm things with Mo. It's a damn good show. Yeah, I've heard people say it's pretty damn good. I miss Polly, who's taking it easy and looking over some recipes in the kitchen. Huh. That's weird. They don't really look like recipes. Pages on looks like building schematics with notes and chicken scratch. In the overpass. Door will be reinforced. Friday at closing time. I would have guessed that he'd been in the architecture. The lab! Spears' wife is the waifu. Mo is sitting in his office going over the restaurant ledger. Uh, hey boss, do we have any, uh, outdoor seating? Outdoor? Oh, is that Genity that's asking for it? Come with me and lend a hand, why don't you? Let's get the big table out. If you love Samurai Jack growing up, Primal was a must-watch. I never actually really watched Samurai Jack. I thought it was cool, but I don't think I, I don't think I ever really caught it when it was on. Come on, Ryan, you cannot be this dense. Hey, kid, have you heard anything about what happened earlier? No, boss. We got a tin of lasagna missing in a broken window in the kitchen. Who in the hell's with a broken window just to steal lasagna? Garfield. Uh, no idea, boss. Well, naming Spears is Kennedy. Am I pronouncing it right? I probably am not. I just wish things were more safe for work. I hate it when hooligans get into our place. If I get my hands on them, they'd be real sorry for when they gone done. Uh, oh, I'm sure about that, boss. Garfield, dot, dot, dot. Kennedy has a first name. Like, Kennedy, the one who made Samurai Jack and Primal. I was so hungry. Are we getting into Gorefield? Are we going Gorefield route? What the fuck? Fat orange cat, gotta tip the hat somehow. Mo drags me with him further back into the restaurant to a considerably hidden room stowed away in a corner. There's a menagerie of tables and chairs in various sizes. Some really large and some really small. <laughs> Boss, what are these? Chairs for ants? Nah, them's the uh, seats of, for uh, Sizably challenged patrons. You know, shorter and taller folks. Ah. Alright. Here, help me move this here table. Mo picks it up with no effort. When I try to assist, I realize it's really fucking heavy. He's practically hoisting the table by himself at this point. Even with all my strength put into it, I can barely assist. Alright kid, I'm gonna need you to push it up so we can get over this bump. I already out of breath, I nod and steal myself. I chant the mantra shared on the Mongolian weightlifting forum. Lightweight, baby! With every ounce of strength Raptor Jesus can offer, I heave the table up an inch. One rep max. The table has hurtled the mountain. What was that you shouting about over there? <laughs> Nothing, boss. I proceed to move the table around to the front. Just got back after a few hours. One, of, uh, one thing Snoop Game has over GBVH is an intelligible, long-necked, Scottish cryptid waifu. <laughs> it's only the better game. I think Nessie's a fan character, but we get Liz and Wani. And by we, I mean Mo, making it ever so apparent that I need to start lifting. In between my shallow breathing and slight cursing, I wheeze out the question that had begun to form in my mind when we first looked at this massive table. <sighs> Boss, why do we need this huge table? Spears isn't a big guy. Nessie next waifu. Nessie next waifu. Okay, fine. Mo gets Liz and Wani. What? <clears throat> okay, hold on there. Spears isn't such a big guy. For you! I hate autocorrect. Autocorrect fucks us all. It's understandable. Pat you on the back. 
You'll see, kid. Let's just put it down right here. By we, I mean Mo. I wonder if long neg uh, dino people fight like giraffes during heat, just beating into each other <laughs> with their necks. I'll fetch the chairs. You set up the table. Halfway kneeled over and sucking in air, I give him a shaky thumbs up. Yeah, the boy. Hype to see Spears' wife. Here we go, boys. Crawling into the restaurant and fetching cutlery, plates, napkins, and glasses has never been this tiring. Crawling back out, I see that Moe's already fetched the chairs from storage. He's chatting up with Spears and... Buh! Huge lady. The lady. The big lady. The absolute woman. Spears. How in the hell did you become so based? Ah, in the Ingenity. Good to see you again. How you been? Wonderful old friend. How's the restaurant running? Well, I can't complain too much, you know. Been busy straightening Anna on out. I join in and Mo lays a good slap on my back. Throws me off a tad, but I can't falter in front of the Spearses. What fucking voice do I do for big mama? Big the big mama over here. What if I just give her like a high pitched voice? Wouldn't that be funny? Deep mommy voice. Hey, hey, guess what? I don't think I have a big old deep mommy voice in the old toolbox over here. Let me rifle around in here. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's in there. <laughs> Fuck. Seductive. We'll do like an airy kind of voice, I guess. Ah, so this is the mysterious Anon I've been hearing about. Oh, my apologies. Anon, this is my wife, Fang. Another Fang? It's a nice name. Miss Spears extends her hand to me. It's a pleasure, ma'am. Like with her husband, my, man, my hand is encapsulated by a vice-like grip. We shake, then I get back to setting their table while I'm making small talk. Right after I'm done, the bell chimes, calling for me to go back inside. Excuse myself from the trios, they continue the pleasantries. Mo gives me a signature thumbs up when he sees me leaving. As I leave, I take one look back at Principal Spears. He seems relaxed. We lock eyes and he gives me an approving nod. Is that like the only line? <laughs> Says he can't do mommy voice, does mommy voice. Is that mommy voice? Is that really? <clears throat> I don't know why, but I'm relieved to see it. Amazonian from Futurama. Cavewoman speak, pretty much. Mo stays out with the Spearses for a while, before heading into his office for a moment. For the rest of the night, he personally uh, waits their table, leaving me at the counter. It goes by smoothly and... Smoothly and coastally. Never heard that used in that way. For me inside by the counter. Not many eat-ins, mostly takeouts. I pick up the pizza, I give them the pizza, I charge them occasionally if they haven't paid yet. I even help Tony move a few uh, inventory items from the back of the van. Didn't know cheese came in crates, but whatever. Must be an Italian thing. Around 9 o'clock, Mo joins me up at the helm. You bro it up at the counter, Copenhagen style. After a while, the Spearses finish up and step inside. Mo offers to, com uh, to comp the meal, but Spears declines. Maybe it's a test of his character, but his character is getting talked down to by his wife. <clears throat> How'd you enjoy everything? Wonderful as always. It's good to see you working hard, Adam. I'm proud to see the changes you've made and the man you've started to become. Yes, thank you for your excellent service tonight, young man. We hope to see you here again the next time we come over. Keep at it, son. Graduation's coming up soon. Thanks. I appreciate it. Still not good at taking these compliments, but it's nice to hear them. They pay and we exchange farewells. Spears gives me a nod, and I return in solidarity. As they reach for the door and open it, the bell fails to ring again. This time I watch it swing and collide with the door. Not a sound. Tomorrow brings new thrilling tales. Oh, we got the 
sous de bois. I love that. I love that sound bite. Do it again. I can't do the voice does the voice perfectly. That's what we call not having confidence in yourself. <laughs> So, there's an angry trigger standing in the middle of the restaurant, shouting about how there are traces of tomatoes on her pizza, even though she asked specifically for there to be no tomatoes. She's getting close to completely flipping out and destroying the restaurant, and she's already thrown poor Polly out through the window after he tried to explain how pizza sauce is made. How the Ed, Ed, and Eddie sound effects. I need to rewatch that show. That fucking show is great. Is there a full sprite for Spears' wife, or is it just that little bit? I'd have to check the files. Yep, that's me. And I bet that if anyone was watching me, they'd wonder how I got here. God damn it, Edon, you gotta stop with those hard R's. He's just leaning into it at this point. Ed and Eddie, the goat. Absolutely. Alright, so that's one uh, vegetal with extra everything except for tomatoes. Got it. That'll be about 15 minutes. Feel free to have a seat. Alright. Moe's out on an errand, Tony's trying to desperately make a new pizza before this lady explodes, and Polly's just flown through the air and crashed through the window to the Chinese restaurant on the other side of the streets. Even the movie would be a good trip down memory lane. The fucking movie was great. Hanon's my trigger. No, he's our skinny. Get it right. I can hear threats of poor Polly getting strung up over bamboo sprouts. Think fast, Hanon, you can do this. I'm sorry, miss. Uh, if you could come to the register for a second, we should be able to sort this out. Okay. Yeah, sure. Why not? Fucking why not? Okay. I'm good. I'm good. The raging berserker turns her gaze to me as she starts to stride toward the man who ruined her meal. Panicking completely, I realize that I can't do this. Amazing character design. Live, laugh, love. <laughs> Ten yards away at this point. What can I even do to salvage this? Five yards away. I pray to anyone that could be listening. Son Goku, Viagra Man, Raptor Jesus, Ron Paul, please save me. Zero yards away, she leans in over the counter, bloodthirst emanating from her. I lean back as far as I can so as not to have my head in chomping range should she lunge. Uh, ma'am, has anyone really been far... Has anyone really been far even as decided? Her look of anger is slowly turning into one of extreme confusion. Do you even go want to do, like, look more like? Good lord, I can't even talk straight when I'm rant rattling from fear like a tin can in a washing machine. But my inane ramblings keep her busy for long enough that I soon hear Tony approaching. Psst. Hey, kid. I've got the ladies by right here. Tony, you're a lifesaver. Bam! Pizza time. Here you go, ma'am. A vegetal without any tomatoes whatsoever. They haven't even looked in the direction of this by. Harumphing. She folds her arms, still staring at me. And a, com a compensatory coupon for two free pies on the house. As an apology for the misunderstanding and all the trouble it has caused you. Her icy gaze slowly melts as she takes the coupons in one hand and the takeaway box in the other. Of course, the pie's free this time. Thank you for your patronage and welcome back soon. If I so have to pay for the extra pies with my own salary, I'll put everything on this gamble. With a gleeful expression, she thanks me for the extraordinarily good service. That just felt so fucking cursed. <laughs> Holy shit, a Trish mixed with a Karen. The cartel when I told them Goku would be disappointed in them. Sounds like I'm calling you Mr. President when I call you Mr. Streamer. So cursed, absolute. Tony, take out your ice pick, help me! I trigger all the same. Somehow a $10 bill manifests in my shirt pocket as she winks at me before she leaves, skipping away as light as a cloud. The rest of my ship goes along relatively well. Then Mo calls me into his office once we've closed for the day. What did my eyes witness? New to the Snoot fandom, round a week, and I just found out Trigger is a reference, isn't a reference to Trigger Destiny W's. Still funny as hell. Pat you on the back. Welcome. Uh, <laughs> the terminology will come to you, I promise. Tony, go recover the body and the coupons. 
He's got a grim expression on his face. This can't be good. Now, Anon, I'm about your behavior today. I, I'm so very sorry, boss. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> we're not gonna see Fang again. <laughs> we're gonna go in with the pizza sauce now. I can't see past what she's gone and done. You understand me, right? Fear starts to set in. I've ruined his life work and his reputation. Would I even get a chance to say goodbye to Fang? I understand, boss. Very good. That makes it easy for the both of us. Now bag him, boys. Let's put him in the van. Oh no! Oh, it's, oh, it is, but it's so much deeper. Multi-layered jokes are great. The Snoot verse has a wide range of colorful language for you to learn. Man, looks like Tony is taking out his ice pick. Not the ice pick, Tony, please. Well, there goes Anon. So dead. It's okay, there isn't any plastic on the floors or walls. Yeah, that's why they're putting us in the van, goddammit. It's dying over again. How many times has it been dying over this fucking stream? Welcome to the community even if you aren't on Twitch chat. Polly and Tony take a quick step toward me. Before I can do anything, a rag's been shoved in my mouth and a black bag is pulled over my head. I don't even get the chance to scream. They zip tie my hands and feet before dragging me out through the back doors to the parking lot. E1, dine over, man, dine over. This is normal for me, little hazing. Uh, don't you guys remember when you, like, got your first job and your family decided, hey, you know what would be real funny? Let's fucking kidnap him. <laughs> Get tossed in the back of the delivery van, and I hear Mo and Polly get in the front seats while Tony heads off to the company Toyota. Sorry, Toyota. The van shifts into gear with a gushunk, and we head off. Unless Mo hired the gal as a test. I can just barely hear Polly and Mo talking over in the front seats, but I can't make out what they're saying. I lay in the back of the van for what feels like an eternity. I smell rust and my own sweat intermingled with the diesel fumes that the half-broken catalytic converter emits. Then... We, we come to a halt. And I'll just, like, handle the code K. This is it. He sure did, didn't he? Best he could, at least. Don't get scared now. They lift me up, and I can barely resist. Two of them together have no issue whatsoever with handling me. They carry me off, but this trip is a lot shorter than the previous one. I can hear the ocean close by. A metallic door rustles open and we head inside. The sounds of the ocean as well as the distant sounds of the city fading out as it shuts behind us. Carried another short distance before they put me down on a chair. It's still pitch black, but I can hear them whispering to each other. Noises of metal dragging against concrete as my boss and my colleagues seem to be dragging heavy objects around and placing them around me. Please tell me it's just my birthday. Please tell me it's just my birthday. My imagination running wild at this point. Heart beating so hard that I can I feel like it might burst. Hey, Tony! Where's you been? Sorry, hey, boss. So I had to get something on such short notice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuses, excuses. Put it on the table. I'll get the blowtorch ready. The blowtorch? Everything ready, boys. Here we go. It's a celebration. It's a celebration, guys. It's just a celebration. It's just a celebration. Tony, you get his arms. Polly the stack. Here we go. And on. I can feel them tugging at my restraints. Then Polly rips off the sack from my head as Tony cuts my restraints. Spitting out the gag, I can finally get a breath of fresh air. Ta-da! Takes a few seconds for my eyes to adjust. Surprise! You did it, kid! I'm... at the warehouse. The one I've seen in their pictures. There's even a small motorboat resting on a boat trailer in the back. In front of me is a rugged metal table set with small plates, cups, and cutlery, and a pot of coffee. Three chairs are placed on the other side for me, which the gang sit down on. His head! Shiny, bald, hatless mo! I didn't want to say anything about it, to be honest. <laughs> but chat did it for me, so we're all good. Love drugs that way, create ways to be edited as you want. Yeah, I think it's more realistic in a world that there's going to be all kinds of stuff they say to each other. Bald! Bald! It's even a massive cake. Oh, it looks, it looks so nice. 
You's been working real hard lately, so we thought you needed a little something to keep you going, kid. You's been a real trooper today. The way you handled that lady was impressive. I... I don't know what to say. It's probably the nicest thing that anyone's ever done for me. Which might or might not be very sad. Now, kid, we wanted to give back to you. You're part of the team now. We're proud of you. Yeah, saved me from having to take another airborne trip to that Chinese place. Thanks, everyone. Y you know, you didn't need to... Anon, shut the fuck up. You're worth it, kid. No, shut up. Get a cup of joe and enjoy your cake. You have no idea how hard it is to get a good cake at this time of day. Mo leans into Tony, whispering. No, it's a bit unorthodox to ask you for a cake at this hour. But is this the best you could have done? Cut him some slack, boss. We still got a little something to give them. Ah! <laughs> yeah! We has got you something else! We thought it was about time that you became part of the family. Am I gonna have the hat? Am I gonna have the hat? Guys! Guys, we might have the hat! Shiny, Tony bald as hell. Not as much as Anon does. Now, now he's more bald. He's got the shine. Anon doesn't have the shine. He's bald. Streamer disappears a week later. See, they ain't in the mob. They're just a good family. 100%. Tony has the green dino with the head full of gray hair. Oh, right. I'm saying, I'm, I'm, I'm tripping my names up now. My eyes. I'm, my eyes in a minute here if he pulls out a hat and we get an honorary hat in the crew. You did good, kid. They all look at me. Expecting me to open it. Carefully unwrapping the horrid mess of about two rolls of tape and an entire roll of wrapping paper, I find that there's a size sixteen or size ninety-six shoe box inside. Uh boss, this might be a bit too big for me. Hey, I think you're gonna find this just the right size for you. Don't tell me it's concrete shoes. Don't tell me it's concrete shoes. Mo winks at me while grinning. I pop open the lid of the shoebox and find a very small hat inside, secured by a crumpled newspaper. Tears well up in the corner of my eye. It's the same kind that Moe's wearing. Looking at his chrome dome, it's exactly the one that Moe's been wearing. It sure smells like it. I... No need, kid. We know. Mo pulls out another identical gooner hat, which she slips on. How many spare ones do you have, really? Oh. oh, the Uncle Mo! Oh, the Uncle Mo! <laughs> Family Fast and Furious flashbacks. Good point, but Tony at least has a mustache and eyebrows. No. Oh, good. E5 achieved. Yo, let's go. My boy, Anon. Mo gives me a, a consoling hug, patting me on the back reassuringly while Polly and Tony start to cut the cake and pour us coffees. Now put it on, branches that nice smile of yours, and get yourself some celebratory cake. You deserve it. Suddenly got the urge to play some Mafia one. You was part of the gang now. Being celebrated like this is... something else. Is this what it feels like to have a family? I mean, a proper family. He's part of the family, he's part of the family. <laughs> Cooner is ruined for me. Oh yeah, no, me too. Oh, would you look at that, my boy. Poor Mafia too. Your fault for listening to TikTokers. They they've taken my they've taken my fucking they've taken Gooner from me. They've taken Goon. I can't be like I'm a goon now. I'm a goon. I I listen to the Mafia boss. I say I'm a goon and they look at me. They're like, Hey, you're one of those freaks now, ain't you? I'm like, No, I'm just a little goon. I just I'm the guy who goes and does the the, the gabagool and shit. Alright, hang on, from now on we call you Vito. Retelling the warehouse scene to the gang brings tears to their eyes. And to mine, even if I'd never admit it. Wow, you're really becoming a gooner, huh? Seems like it. You're gonna become an honorary Italian. Maybe they'll set you up with a passport, too? Reed seems to think deeply about something. Take it back, let him screech. Wear it as a badge of honor. Doesn't help that it's the one social throws around everyone. 
I could use a man with a European passport. You're not involving my boyfriend in your shady business. He's a grown man, he can do what he wants. Now, if you want to make some real money, you gotta get my number. For now, let's just focus on getting our shit together before we're supposed to be having our next show. <sighs> Finally, something we can agree on. Reed, promise to go easier on the drums this time. Alright, alright. Well, consider me a misunderstood genius in 50 years or so. <laughs> Save me a chapter in memoirs. Keeping on their bickering, they return to practicing. I take the opportunity to sneak away now that they're busy. I'll be able to take a quick nap before the next class. And I won't have to embarrass myself by telling any more stories. Set them straight. Of course language gets lost or fused nonsensically. They don't want to listen. It's a them problem. Damn. Powerful. The rest of the week passes without anything particular happening. I managed to invite Rose and Stella to the open mic night. Well, Stella invites herself when she overhears me mumbling about the show and Rose decides to come along. At the same time, the band's too busy writing their new hit songs to bother me. Fang and I manage to grab a few moments together, but her heart's with the band. And then it arrives. The Night of Nights has come. And I really hope that this goes well. Last time that they played here went fine, but it always felt as if just one thing had gone wrong and it would all have gone to hell. All gangs on a hair trigger. But now they were starting to relax. Even if only a little. So, how are you feeling about tonight? Man, same as every time we play. Gotta get a, I've, I've got a good gut feeling, no sweat. You've always got a good gut feeling with how much carfe you consume. You know it. Please, stay focused. I've had up a little bit of reputation since last time. I don't want us to lose it. You'll do fine, I believe in you. Oh yeah? Last time you didn't even believe in us in our cable management, Skinny. I had to tell you off so that you wouldn't mess with it. Cut him some slack, he meant well. He tried to sabotage our concert. But he fucking didn't, so chill. He's part of the gang now, don't act like such a bitch. I am not acting like a bitch. He's my boyfriend? I'm not gonna stand this any longer. Damn. Damn. And coming out swinging. Over and over and over again. Shut the fuck up for once. There's an awkward silence as Trish gathers herself. <laughs> okay, Fang, go off. Damn straight, Fang, tell her. Confident in the next two years, a new word will replace Gunner. Same way it was replaced. It replaced Coomer so quickly. The evolution. Final act, the choice approaches. Coomer's made up, but holds its own purpose. You got yourself a good lady there, Emma. I thought this would be chill. That's what you get. You should just go off like that. Reed just stares at his feet. People are moving past us, streaming towards Moe's. Uh... Wow. Okay. Hmm. Comfort Trish or take Fang inside, huh? <laughs> this E3, the choice, and it runs through its words within months. Save? Alright, we'll save real quick. I want to save slots! Oh, fuck! <laughs> Alright, we save here. Okay, let's see. You know what we? You know what to satisfy some of the purple lovers in stream, we'll, we'll we'll try and comfort Trish, and when this explodes in her face, we'll run back and take Fang inside. How's that sound? Hey, forget about it, Trish. Without thinking, I slap her on the back and give a reaffirming nod. My time at Moe's has made me a lot more physical in my social interactions. <laughs> help, girlfriend. Help, bitch. Tough choices. This is exactly what Trish needed. See that I'm capable of standing up for Fang and myself? Never intended to get between you. We both want what's best for the band. And what's best for Fang. I hear Fang coughing. I can imagine the glare she must be giving Trish. <laughs> I... 
I'm sorry, I stressed out over tonight. Just wanted to be perfect. That's what Reedman's here to make sure of. I'm the man with a plan and a minivan. A minivan? How do you think I can get my drums and amps over here? I got them off yesterday. Did Anna just choose foes before us? <laughs> Wait, did that work? What other tricks do you have? I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. Sure. Well, how about we get in there? Most bound to want to have you checked in. Let's. Come on, don't just stand there. <laughs> and on chose, let it all slide, because it don't matter. It's the nicer choice. Trish looks at Reed, waiting for him to acknowledge their efforts to go inside, but settles on just grabbing his arm and dragging him along. We're early, so there's just us and Polly in the restaurant, who's dragging chairs and tables around to set up for night. He waves and greets us as we pass, juggling one of the tables to free up his hand to do it. We greet him back before we head toward the office, where we can hear Mo talking to Tony about tonight's plans. So, what's we got? Uh, a lot of small fries trying to make the way up food chain, you think? She's part of the family, for Pete's sake. That's why they's got... They, bleh, that's why they get to be first on stage. But he's got a couple of big name locals too. And they'll get their time in the spotlight. But little Lucy and the friends get to open up tonight. It ain't up for question. That's an order. All right, boss. Oh, hey there, gang. Tony's just about to leave, wasn't he? You got it, boss. Tony absconds to help Polly get the furniture in place. Sorry you had to hear that. A bit of staff disagreements. But we got it sorted out. So, are you kids ready to take the stage tonight? As ready as we'll ever be. Trish looks a bit nervous. This must be an important evening for her. We sure are. Thanks still hanging back by the door, inspecting her shoes with an intense stare. Hey, little Lucy. How you holding up? Looking a bit pale. Mo gives her a reassuring slap on the shoulder and Fang flinches. I think we're discovering something when Inko is left to make it up. Himself, he fucks up in six ways from Sunday. When Anon, Talon, he somehow makes it work. If you want Fang to feel fine, her band needs to feel fine. This, for better or most, and mostly worse, includes Trish. Inko's luck skill went to his background. Anon's is passive. She looks up, shooting a sorry smile toward us. Yeah, doing great. Can't wait to go up there. That's what I'm talking about! Big smile for the crowd. Tell us if we can do anything. Otherwise, I'll leave the set in the stage to you, little raptor guy. <laughs> All right. I'm your man with the plan. He drove the instruments in his van. Mo winks at me and discreetly nods towards Fang. This one's on you, son. This is it. Don't get scared now. Hey, Reed, Trish, can you guys start setting the stage? I'm going to go on a smoke break. You coming along, Fang? She gets shaken out of her stupor, suddenly looking a bit more awake. Uh, oh, yeah, sure. Reed raises an eyebrow, but just nods and heads off to the stage. Trish squints at me, but Reed puts a hand on her shoulder and leads her away. And I guess this retcon event would avoid leading to the doxing scene. And I'm already confessing an argue. Went back outside and take a seat on the same bench where we sat the first time we came out here together. I put a cigarette in my mouth and light it, taking a deep drag. Fang's just sitting there, looking out toward the horizon. I think the doxing scene also already happened, uh, timeline-wise. I hand over the cig and she takes it, putting it between her lips and resting her hands on her knees. It's gonna be fine. He can't say that. Why not? Because you're not the one going up there with all these expectations weighing you down. Now they're expecting us to have a good show. It's fucking killing me. After her outburst, she takes a cig between her fingers and rests her head in her hands. <laughs> I know what to expect when everybody hated us. It was easy to be angry at them because they just didn't get it. Now they have an actual now they have actual expectations for us, and I've never felt this much anxiety before. A show. 
I lean over and give her a hug. They came in to see Verm drama. They don't expect any more and they don't expect any less. <laughs> what if we flop? Last time I felt like we were only one small stack away from total failure. But you weren't, and you didn't fail. <laughs> I don't want to do it. Do you know what happens if you fail? They hate us, and they'll boo us out. Then you'll get another chance some other day. And just prove them right. Prove that we're talentless hacks. Or prove that you have the balls to stand up there and do your best. Fang raises her head, looking up at me. There's fear, and a cold and consuming sadness in her eyes. <sighs> I don't want to be booed off stage. Where's the fearless goth tarot that I know? They're not here right now. Bullshit. Leave a message after the beep. Come on now. I know that you want to do the show. Get up there, give it your all, and then at least you can be proud of yourself for playing your heart out. Doesn't matter what they think. If you're having fun up there, then it's going to be fun to listen to. She looks at me bewildered, seemingly surprised at my sudden fervor. We're both sitting there, shocked at how assertive I've become. Mo's cocksure go-getter attitude really has been rubbing off on me. Fang regains the spark in her eye, straightening her back and throwing the cig away. Alright then, let's fucking go! She gets up, pulling me with her. Reed and Trish should be done setting up, let's get you ready. Fang nods, then we head back inside. And these portraits are really well drawn, super expressive, more fun and gripping presentation than the official fully animated game. I'm so surprised how cheap GBVH feels all the time. Definitely after prom. Did it? It leads to Stairfall, then the confession. It's a week after spring break. I'd have to like look at the timeline. I, I feel like it's after that though. She got no balls though. Shut up. <laughs> Anna will let her borrow his. People have begun pouring in. Polly and Mo are taking orders. Must have sat out here for a while, but thankfully Reed and Trish are done with stage. Mo looks up at me as we finally make our way to the table. Hey, a kid. I need you over in the kitchen for a second. All right, boss. See you soon. And take care. We share a quick smooch before I head off with Tony. With Tony? Huh. People start trickling in, some, some ordering and some just grabbing a beer and a platter of snacks to steal a table close to the stage. And as I start serving the guests, I suddenly feel a hand grab me by the shoulder. Hang on! How's the evening going? Still running around in his grotesquely festive jacket, stands Nazar, sporting a messenger bag that I haven't seen before. Good evening. We're getting a steady flow of people coming in to watch. You're not gonna pull another pizza stunt, are you? No. No, no, no. I'm just here to film. Pats the bag, smiling innocently as he tries to reassure me that he hasn't got any ulterior motives. Lucy banned mom and dad from coming here, so we compromised. I got to borrow dad's old camcorder to memor uh, memorialize the event. <laughs> Bro, maybe it's me. I like the jacket. I think the jacket's fine. Does she know? Of course. We talked it out. It's either that or dad would send a few of his colleagues to keep watch. Pretty sure that he was joking. Uh, hopefully. Either way, I've taken the liberty to hold the table close to the stage for friends and family. I point to an empty table in the middle of the room. Is Naomi coming too? No, she... She had homework she needed to finish. Alright. Then grab a seat. I'll come to serve you in a minute. You want a, you want a menu? Nah, I'm fine. I'll just have a non-alcoholic cider. I've got to get me and Fang back to home tonight. Alright, I'll be right out with one. He rocks it, but it's a little busy. I mean, I never said it wasn't, but I think it looks fine. <clears throat> I couldn't see myself in it. I feel like if I tried, I could rock it. Nazar smiles, nodding in approval. <laughs> You're turning out to be quite a dependable man, you know that? I really misevaluated you the first time we met. That's sort of a compliment, I suppose? Th thanks. You too. He turns, smiling and softly shaking his head at my awkward retort as he heads off to the table. I keep serving the guests, 
glancing over at the stage every now and again, where the band have started to warm up. It's getting close to seven, so they'll be starting soon. Rosa and Stella enter, looking out idly over the restaurant. Aww. We, I, I love this sprite of Stella. Or not Stella, sorry, Rosa. I was looking at Stella when I was circling here. I approach and Rosa throws her arms out into a hug as Stella waves hello. It's so good to see you. I haven't been here in ages. I wheeze out a greeting as her vice-like arms constrict my airflow. Glad you can make it. Hiya. I hope we're in time. It was a bit difficult to find our way here. I lost my GPS signal as we were navigating Little Trudon. You're just in time. Rosa releases me, allowing me a short breather. Also, add on for Raptor Jesus sacrifice. Fix your collar. E3 head hug. Rosa is a gem. I already sent Nazar to a table closer to the stage. <clears throat> it's for friends and family. I point over to the table, and Nazar waves at us. He's in the middle of setting up the tripod for the camcorder. Can I get you anything? Do you have Ramune? Uh. Okay, wait, how old is everybody? Corona Cero, por favor. Stella's tarot cards must have tattled on me. I've already set Moe's up with the weeb drink. I just asked Mo to acquire some since he gets a mass discount from the distributors. I was planning on keeping it for myself, but 18 plus, 18 at least. The customer always comes first. Uh, the messy color is iconic at this point. I think Nazar is 17 now, though. Mm -hmm. So I guess like drinking age in this is probably just 18 plus, right? Got it. I'll be right out with them. Slightly younger than Fink. Yeah, he the little bro, bro. I'm so used to navigating the bar by now that it's become second nature to pour up and bring out the drinks. I serve my friends who've started chatting about life in the band. It's nice to see everyone gathered, enjoying themselves. Tony's headed up on stage, checking in on the band. Namo is just chilling, they're still teens. Hmm, okay. Yeah, who's gonna who's gonna try and like fucking call Mo out, right? I guess that makes sense. They seem to be talking about the show, but I can't hear them over the crowd. When they seem to have come to an agreement, he heads over to the mic. Good evening, people. Welcome to this open mic night. I'm your host, Tony. Get a plate of gabagool and some beers. My friend Polly will be man in the bar. Points over to the bar, where Polly's filling up some tankards with beer. Now let's welcome the first band of the evening. Worm drama. Yeah, if it's in Dino America, I think it'd still be 21. Yeah, that's why I was like just a little confused there, but yeah, I'll, I'll let it slide. I don't care. Why would you want to call Mo out? Uh, well, I mean, most people wouldn't want to if they know what they're if they want to stay alive. If they don't want to go fishing, the crowd cheers as Fang walks up to the mic. I just can't believe it. It's a far cry from the hail of insults they suffered back in the auditorium. <laughs> we're Worm Drama, and we're here to rock this joint. She quickly looks back at Trish and Reed, who nod. Grabbing the mic stand, she takes a deep breath. We lock eyes. Her, no her nervosity is absent. I've never seen that word. There's confidence radiating from her. Finally realized that's Fat Tony reference. It's Polly then. Now that is the thing that I love. One, two, three, go! Reed! Reed, what are you doing? Read Nervosity? Yeah, I don't I, I've never seen that word before. So I'm not well versed in mobster references. New remod Show goes on without a hitch, and the crowd is loving it. After the third song, an exhausted Fang takes a short breather as the crowd cheers before she signs them off for the evening. Thank you all! We're worm drama! Our merch table is by the bar. I look over to the bar where Reed has suddenly appeared with a bunch of merch. Damn, he works fast. I even slip, see him slip off stage to set it up. Fang and Trish get off the stage as the band, as the next band heads up to take over. Shouldn't it be nervousness? Maybe. I mean, unless nervosity is actually a word. It feels weird that that would be like a typo. 
Reed, no, the atoms are ripping apart. You're going to kill everybody. Bang and Trish get off the stage. Is the next man? Oh, yeah. I read that. Click. The purple menace and the punk tarot chit-chat as they walk towards our table. Fang's all giddy and almost jumping with glee. Some people in the crowd greet them or stop them to share a few words. I'm so proud of her. Tony gets back up on stage and starts introducing the next band. Nervosity is an actual word. Yeah, I mean, like, my 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 knowledge of the English lexicon is uh, not great. Wait, is that the right word? I don't know many English words. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, damn. Right in the same boat. You and me both. Finally, having navigated the crowd, Fang sits down next to me while Trish takes a seat opposite us. Great work up there. You killed it. <laughs> you know it. I felt great. Thanks for talking some sense into me. I'm just a humble worker bee. You did all the heavy lifting up there. English is expansive. Doesn't sound right though. It, yeah, I mean, like we're like that. That kind. That's kind of like the thing with like a lot of words you don't see often. Just being used out of nowhere, you're like, wait, what? Huh? Definition of nervosity, as in anxiety, an uneasy state of mind, usually over the possibility of an anticipated misfortune or trouble, a palpable feeling of nervosity in every corner. We should use it more often then. All right, guys, nervosity, add that one to your chat logs. Nervousness makes more sense still. Maybe we'll get an even bigger gig from this, you know? Someone that knows someone, leading to a bigger venue. Thing interrupts him by shushing as she puts a finger up in front of her lips. Oh yeah, the next band's starting up. <laughs> I'm proud of just doing what we're doing. Aww, aww, we love we love the hand holding. You don't need to have the best songs or play in the biggest venues to make it as an artist. You just need someone that'll passionately listen to you. As long as one person has been touched by our music, moved by my art, to be uh, to better themselves, I feel like we made it. Okay, band. <laughs> Way too lewd. How lewd? We're all gonna make it. Fang looks ripped in this shot. And there we go, fellas. That's the Mo Job, baby. A Snoot fan mod. Ditch your, dirt, dirt, blah, ditch your nervosity, folks. Use. Wait. Ah, oh, you fucked me up there. Ditch your nervosity, folks. Use nervosity in your everyday convos. That one fucked me. Hand holding. Shame on you, game. Outload. Not in front of the children. Wait, is there children in chat? Yo, get the fuck out of here! You can't be here! This stream's marked as mature. Missed an R. Nervosity. I, I figured it was supposed to be nervosity. Claps. Bravo. Amazing. This was great. We had piss talks. God damn it. Why do we have to roll back around in the piss talk? That was a good one. Yeah, no, that was a really, that was a really high quality one. That felt um, kind of like in a similar plane as like the fishing trip. I'll rate this mod a snoot out of snoot. It also just sounds like Megamind scuff pronunciation of Metro City. G G G Garfield? I wasn't looking. I didn't see Garfield until now. Was Garfield there before? Oh yeah, the piss talk so On that note, I enjoyed finally catching the live stream. Gotta go to bed. Good night. Take care, Bat Six. Rest well. Not that piss talk. Back to piss talk. Oh my god. <sighs> fly those yellow flags, my friends. Still got Gator up next. That's true. Dedicated to Uncle Mo for uh, for being a loving role model and caring father figure to the whole team. Man, little Gator mod is gonna be something to end on. Garfield, you ate my lasagna. <laughs> what can we say? We like to take the piss. Oh, you think you're a real funny guy, don't you? These fan mods are really great. Could easily pass as an official update. Yeah, I mean, like, people, people, believe it or not, people are good at writing shit. And it's really cool. Still doing Gator next because I literally joined stream. 
Gator mod is pretty short. Yeah, we'll probably try and tackle Gator. We won't have as long of an... She's real to us. We probably won't have as long of an intermission this time. We'll try to roll into it a bit quicker. Because we are at the six and a half hour marker. This one was... Uh, this was a long stream tonight. I did not think we were going to be going this long. And I think this might be like some original music, maybe. Flags were white at first. She's real to me! Let's listen to this for just a little bit longer here. Very good. Very good mod. <gasps> the puppets! The puppets! Is that supposed to be like a, a teaser? <gasps> Aww. Aww, that's good! Oh, that's so good! Damn right, she's really... Gotta switch it to Wombo. Real to all of us in the Snoop community, for real, for real. Don't worry, guys. Watch this shit. Hold up. <laughs> Hold up a second. Your feelings for them are not real. They are real to me. There we go. <laughs> Just throw that one in there real quick, why don't we? Okay. The baby. Peak E5. Alright, so now, if we're gonna be jumping into the Gator mod, I've gotta switch up games real quick. Also pulled that video up. I'm getting better about being able to pull up shit midstream. <laughs> it's a learned skill for sure. Oh fuck, I'm on fucking Monster Hunter Wilds right now, I'm looking at the dating sim tag still. Okay, uh, hop over, I wanna hug that Gaty. Are we back to the baby from other day already? We can't go back to the baby. You know, one of these days I might download like that fucking the baby car game and I'll just start stream with that. And everybody's going to have whiplash snapping their necks. Puppy yay. So real for that. Ooh, monster dating. You know, speaking of monster dating, I still need to play monster prom like two and three. I played through one. Okay. I fully expected we took so long that you're going to pack it up. We're actually going to that last mod too. I mean, here's the thing. I could pack it up, but like, I, I put it in the title, right? Fang date, hanging with Mo, and then the gator returns. I can't just, I can't just not put the gator in. So, you know, it, it's got to be there. Not to mention, I can figure out a way to work tomorrow and be fine <laughs> i'll be good i'll just have to like nap before stream tomorrow probably <laughs> uh now I, I know nothing about wani so i don't know if this is spoilers for me it'll probably be spoilers uh anybody uh does anybody have uh like how much how much does i again i have not seen anything on this i'm assuming it would be a case where if you haven't seen wani you maybe want to step out of the stream now if you want to watch that and be spoiler free, right? Am I correct in that assumption? Just don't want to extend. We're supposed to have a reading on the weekend. Oh, reading's fine. Like, here's the thing. Uh, if, if I'm going to do a reading on Saturday or Sunday, I can find a way to recover by then. That's not that's not a big deal. Um, not to mention, I've mentioned it before, but like my voice, <clears throat> it might get a little bit uh, phlegmy, but I think I've kind of started to get better about using it for longer periods of time. So I won't be out of... Um, I, I'll be good for them. Just chug five liters of coffee and it'll be fine. I got that gamer subs. <laughs> got that blowhole blast. I'll just fucking do it. I'll fit right in if we're all tired. God, I hope we get another puppet pals for Wani. I'd love to see Judy again. I, I, I would love to see them cook. That would be great. It's got some spoilers. It's like unhinged spoilers. It's going to be a bit rough. Reading streams haven't been very long, too. Yeah, I mean, like, that's the thing, too. It's variable, right? We'll probably try to go for, like, the five hour, or not the five hour, the five chapters. But, you know, we can always play it by ear. I guess I should leave then since I haven't seen 
haven't played or seen the Gator game yet, sort of spoilers, but like to the point where you wouldn't understand at first glance if it was spoilers. Yeah, uh, I, I would say if you haven't played, um, if you haven't played Wani, uh, or if you haven't watched it and you want to watch it spoiler free, I would say do that. Because the thing is, you can always come back to the VOD and check this out afterwards. Um, I think that Wani is a terrific game. If you want to play it, more than worth the $15, especially if you like Snoop Game. Um, or if you would just like to watch it, that's fine too. But it's definitely an experience you want to go into probably as blind as you can to have the most appreciation for it. They prefer Snoot, but Wani is a, is a gem. Later, late. Is that you saying later then, or? Not sure which one that's supposed to mean. Who don't like Judy, be honest. All right, suck down some more coffee. I'm good to go. That's right, boys. Yep. All right. If that's you heading out, Loops, take care. We'll see you whenever we see you again. The jokes will fly over your head if you didn't play it first, too. Oh, boy. I, I really am wondering what I'm about to hop into here. <clears throat> All right, fellas. Let's go ahead and ride out this last uh, mod for the night, shall we? It's pretty late on my anyway. I guess i be, uh, be off now, my friend. All right, Thomas. Take care. Have a good uh, have a good rest if you're going to go do that. Whew. Whew. All right, let's go. Oh fuck, I don't even remember the fucking voices I did for like everybody in Wani. Oh shit. All right, I'm gonna have to ease back into it. Tism. That's what you're getting into. Oh boy, September fourth, year two hundred one. M2023 BC. It's my first day at St. Haman, and I already have a good feeling about it. My old school recommended my family to St. Haman for their sp Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, I'm uh I'm starting to get what I'm about to walk into here, huh? Oh. Mm. <laughs> Okay. Okay. No, that's, that's fine. That's, that's, that's perfectly fine. Uh, oh boy. Told you. <laughs> For their special education and inclusive atmosphere. No idea what any of that means, but my father always tells me I'm a little special. It's nice to have my photography skills finally recognized. Lucky me, the weather is pretty nice today. Would hate to go to my new school on a rain day. You got brain cells, son? Let's fix that. It was, in fact, not fine. Let's just throw out there, out the gate. This is a meme mod. <laughs> it's going to get rowdy, but let's not get too, too rowdy, all right? First thing I noticed once entering the school is the clear lack of other humans. Makes sense, I guess. They did tell me I'm a special case, after all. By the way, the sound up or... Oh, wait a minute. You might be right. Oh, I think I turned down the sound because I was doing something else. Oh, fuck. It's in, the, uh, it's in the audio settings. Give me just one second. I think I uh, muted this. Yeah. I had muted the sound at one point when I was doing, like, some uh, scrubbing through. Um, I was listening to like a podcast or something, figuring out the chapter markers for the old one. I just forgot to unmute it. Just remember, <laughs> god awful Scottish voice from earlier. It'll fit later. Okay, okay. Here we go. We're good now. Thanks for throwing that out there, by the way. It would've, I would've completely forgot. Modest mostly quiet aside from a couple things. Yeah, I, th I think we're good with this. Uh, just a little bit of background noise. The first thing I noticed once entering the school- okay, yep. Scaler? You're really gonna bring that one out? Oh my god. How popular was Scaler? Because I feel like that was one that like nobody knows of. Or does everybody know about Scaler? I only have the vaguest recollection of this fucking game. Hold up a sec. No, 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 hold up a sec. I'll be right back. No, I'll be right back.
Motherfucker, I have the scalar disc right here. I have the fucking PS2 case. It's right here. Mine doesn't have the 7 Plus, it just has E for everyone. Give your enemies a tongue lashing, they'll never forget. What the fuck kind of unhinged shit is on this? What? Pixar, it's not real? Hold up a fucking second. No, 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 you ain't calling me out like that. Hold up just a second. Give me, give me two seconds here. All right, there we go. I got a picture. All right, I'm going to send it to myself on Discord. I'm pulling that shit up right now. Where, where's my, where's my self? Where, where's the fucking phone to computer? There we go. Here we go. All right. Send it to myself. Bamskis. Okay. Now I pull up Discord. Now I pull up the Discord. Where the fuck is my, where, where, where is it? 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 Here we go. Open in browser. Drag this to the other screen. Display capture. My fucking, this is my fucking scalar PS2 disc, motherfucker. Bam. <laughs> right fucking there. Doxes himself. No, 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 there's no doxing there. <laughs> right? Wait, wait, let me look at the picture again. Hold up. We good? Yeah, we're good. You just see that my desk is a little dirty. That's all. J just so we're clear here. Where did you pull that out of? I have all of my old fucking PS2 360 games and any other like fucking disc games in the other room on a shelf. And I remembered goddamn well I had Scaler. <laughs> And I walked in there, and sure enough, there's fucking Scaler. Real Scaler bros know what's up. Bruh, what the fuck? You got the earphone and the mod? I assume that's what the fucking rating is there. IP acquired- WAIT, DON'T DO IT! WAIT! But yours had E, not 7 plus, so fake. Uh, fucking uh, hit you with a laser beam from my eyes. Sorry, I don't make the rules. <laughs> Call me out like that, you die. Okay, I'm trying to get everything set back up on the fucking stream. Uh, bro had scaler for PS2 on standby for this special. Dude, how do you think I felt when I saw this and I'm like, wait a minute. Huh? <laughs> I know that. <laughs> Got boxes of DS and 3DS games. Dox himself, we know he's on planet Earth now. No, -uh, I'm on Mars, baby. Joke's on you, Mr. Streamer. A dust particle only comes from this location, which means I know you live there. Oh, what are you, one of those GeoGuessr guys? One of those GeoGuessr pros? Can't believe you left your credit card in the home address there. See you soon. I'll be buying pizza with your card. Okay, are you coming to eat pizza with me? Because, like, if you're buying a pizza and you're going to come over here and share it with me, that's cool. You Fine, go for it most random connection you've ever had? I, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Dusk on your desk is brain beaming information that your viewers so they can echolocate you through the force. Confer that the mod maker is European since they use 7 plus and not E. Okay, well, here's 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 something I gotta look up. S uh, scalar, uh, scalar, what, what, the, what would you fucking call it? Scalar box art? Is the first image of scalar box art with the, okay, maybe they're not because when you look up scalar box art, the first one is the one with the seven plus on it. It's not the one with the E, at least in my search. It's on the Wikipedia page for it. So perhaps we can give them the benefit of the doubt that they're not European. I call the double bluff. You're on Venus. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> you can't do this to me. No, the pizza's for us and only us. Pizza party who wants to join? Motherfucker, I, if you're buying the pizza with my credit card, you better be sharing that fucker with me. Hey guys, hey Black Mango. <laughs> Called it. We can infer the creator of the wiki page is European. We can infer that everybody shut the fuck up. We should continue the fucking game off. How about, how about we infer that? Not you. You guys pissed me off. I'm not looking at you now. Oh, hello. You must be Inko, the new student, right? Yes? How do you know my name? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm the principal of this fine establishment, Smiles. Oh, okay. Nice to meet you, principal. 
Please call me Scalar for PlayStation 2 TM. Smiles. Oh, the smiles? The smiles? We need ASMR vacuum stream now? What the fuck do you mean? No, because wait, Jeremy, what the fuck do you mean by that? Do you want me to just go... <laughs> like I'm sucking? Like I'm sucking dust off of my desk? Is that what you want? Freak? Weirdo? Smile, smile. Okay. Okay, now everybody's posting smiles. Smiles. Your first, your first class will be in the gymnasium with Mr. Solly. Have a great day, young man. Is the colon three worse? I have to think. <laughs> Back in your desk. I am leaving the stream and going to the Sudaton Sword Swallowing IRC. <laughs> Drop the illicit drugs, streamer! You can't take it from me when it's in my nose! Uh, <laughs> it's like... <laughs> it's like dust and pretzel bits, what the fuck? X3, you guys are unhinged. Thank you, Scalar, for uh, for PlayStation 2, TM. My first meeting with the principal went... My first print... My... <laughs> guys, I can't do this. I can't fucking do this. It's already over, man. I can't like it fucking. I can't read. I can't focus. Everybody thinks I'm doing drugs now. They're X3. They're like colon threeing in chat. They're just doing voices at me. I don't know what I need. Not, I didn't even mean voices. They're doing faces. Hey, I can't even talk. I'm gonna fucking lose it. I'm gonna need some carfe after this, man. This is one of those mods. Streamer is dying. Rest in pepperoni. My will to leave, live leaves me. I have to pilot this truck. This this fucking train, this boat, whatever you want to fucking call it. I can't just crash it into the to like a wall. There's too many people on board right now. <clears throat> he will not be missed. My first meeting with the principal went smoothly, and I soon made my way to my first class in a brand new school. God, how egregious is this gonna get? PE. Was never really good with acronyms, but stepping inside the gymnasium makes it pretty obvious. I instantly deflated. To say that I dislike sports of any kind is an understatement. Physical activity is just very tiring, that's all. Okay, Solly looks okay. Scanning the room, I noticed the simian teacher staring down at the rest of the class. Fudge. Better hurry up before I bring on too much attention. Smiles will continue until morale as this improves. You want smiles or Scottish lines again? Oh, fuck. Between a rock and a hard place, huh? Smiles will continue until IQ improves. We're having smiles all stream then, huh? Okay. Got it. Rest of the class is... Standing flagpole straight. Or at least it looks like they're trying to. Some of them are just kind of slumped over looking at the floor. Seemingly distracted by something. Can't imagine what would be so interesting down there. I quickly huddled in, uh, next to my peers and tried to do my best tree impression. The coach looks in my direction for a moment before he starts to stride back and forth next to us with his arms behind his back. Reminds me of one of Dad's old movies. I tried watching it, but there was too much swearing in it. <laughs> God damn it. The fuck is this mod? Little gator. You're gonna like Damien, am I? <laughs> am I really? We've been standing here for a good minute now. Attention, maggots! Listen well, because I'll only say it once. My word is law here, and you listen to every word I say. Do I make myself clear? Why do you have to yell like that? My ears earned. Ow. We're gonna go. I'm not a maggot, I'm a human. The coach looks just as confused as we do now. Let's start with a simple exercise. Dodgeball! Last few people that are still paying attention shudder in horror. You gonna relate a lot to him? What the fuck do you mean by that? <laughs> Can't wait for Mia to show up. The coach notices too. After a few more moments, he lets out a deep sigh. Why don't we do some ball dribbling instead? Picks up softballs and throws them our way. After the fifth or so student fails to catch it, he tries to send one to me. Mm. 
man, I'm a simple man. You play that fucking <laughs> that fucking kickball noise, and I'll laugh. Ow, ow. Oh. Mm. Okay. He sighs again in defeat. One day, Sully. One day. After that, he starts slowly handing balls to each of us. He gives us a perfect demonstration, and after just barely stopping himself from blowing into his whistle, the exercise starts. Thank you for playing your mod, by the way. Oh, are you, you, did you guys work on this? <laughs> oh, boy. I mean, you're already tickling my fucking funny bone, so we'll see how the rest of this goes. The crowd is mildly ecstatic, while our coach just goes to a corner and slumps a little. How the fuck did I already get a black eye? Looking around, I see other students have either already given up after one attempt, or they're doing anything but what they're supposed to be doing. The two that strike out the most are that pink Dilphosaurus, just looking at his ball with an empty look. What the fuck's going on back there? <laughs> The two, uh, where, where was I? Sorry, I got super distracted. Uh, and the dark crimson parasaur, parasaurus on the other side of the room. She's just sitting on the floor trying to... Hmm. I see. Pink what? Dilphosaurus? Did I fuck up? Yeah, no, that's, that's a Dilpho, Dilphosaurus, right? Am I... I don't don't say that because I'm gonna start second guessing myself. God damn it! Why did Mia just pop into existence? This is why, Jeremy. Right here. What the fuck? Mia sims on suicide watch, including me. <laughs> oh man. You did it. I didn't want to say good, so I'll say you did evil. She do that sometimes. Just ignore. I hear voices again. <laughs> Dude, really evil mango. <laughs> like a fever dream. Like how like we're not even like how long have we been in the mod for? And it's we're just already too scrambled. Oh <sighs> Dilophosaurus. Alright, Dilophosaurus. I got you. I got it. Alright. I, I put my hands up. I'll do it right in the future, Dad. I'm sorry. I can imagine the slurping noises. Fucking don't say that the Mia the Mia simps are gonna get even more fucking. <laughs> I remember seeing these in Snoo Arts. I I, do, I think I remember seeing this dude. Real good at ball dribbling. To be fair, who doesn't like a taste of rubber? Chaos it gets better. Five minutes. Shove the large red rubber sphere in her mouth. I guess I should just do the exercise. Oh, I know I played this already. Just been listening to the stream and I'm deeply concerned. Am I just jumping on the ball? What am I doing? Ben knows well. Oh my god, shut up. <laughs> I don't even have any more water for the fucking stream. I ran out. I, I should have got more water before this fucking thing. At first I have a pretty hard time keeping the ball from rolling away, but soon I can keep the ball in place. Coach seems to be at least a little happier now. <laughs> That was a meaty hit. <laughs> what the fuck? Did I just get shot? Run that back? <laughs> Dear God, he's dead. I need a Tylenol. <laughs> Jesus. I think the balls me is used to were smaller and softer. How squared this get the shit out of me. The world fades to black as I return to the void. Eventually, I woke up. The coach and a few students gathered around me. Bombardment! God damn it, Damien! Pain in my left cheek is pretty intense. Feels like somebody set fire to it. After a few moments, I mustered up the strength to stand up. You alright, cadet? Is that another name for student? 
The frown returns, and after a quick checkup, I'm back to ball dribbling. Yo, sorry about that, bro. Thought we were still doing dodgeball. Pretty sure we're supposed to dribble them. Got that harsh string. Like fast, chuckle nuts. Yeah, maybe you're right. The rest of PE goes pretty smoothly. Minus my searing cheek pain and the random balls that roll in my direction. Lucky for me, Damien, the other dino's name, sends them back to Sender. After he pelts enough teenagers in the face, Coach decides to cut class short and send us to the showers. Before I leave, I turn around to see him standing in contemplation. Seems like PE really makes people think. Is this the YouTube poop equivalent to a mod? Yes. Damien and I talk for a little bit about ourselves. He also gives me a quick rundown of the school. Well, it is a lot. I have no problem remembering every little detail. I'm surprised to find out that after the first period, we already got a lunch break. I understand that regular eating is important, but that seems a little too fast for me. <laughs> Where did you get that pristine rubber bonk, though? They have their sources. We love our thousand-yard stare, Damien. The cafeteria is full of hungry dinos, pushing each other and throwing all sorts of appliances around. For a moment, I considered just not going. But upon seeing us enter, everybody gives us an, enough space for us to get to our trays. I, I don't know why, but I... I am afraid. I am so af How is Olivia going to show up? I, I, mm. Or to be precise, for Damien to get his three trays... My dad is pretty delicate, and they have no ice cream around here. I wasn't able to join in well, but today was my day off. How's it going? How much trauma? Prob, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to tell you this. You missed. You you, you missed um the terrific night out, and you missed uh Mo. Um, they were both good mods. We're on to the mod that's going to break me tonight. The mod that's going to make my brain ooze out of my ear. So like, maybe that's when you should show up. Maybe that's the best time. Maybe, maybe watching me descend live will be the most entertaining. Get ready for the jump scare. Don't say that. Don't say that. Olivia's going to grind rail and do a kickflip onto the table. God, I would be... I'm going to stop there. You missed the piss talk as well. Really, really going to bring out the piss talk again. This is how the mod is. Then I don't think I'll have to worry about spoilers. It's not a jump scare when you know it's coming. Uh, you can't, it might still be. Oh, well. All right. Ah, Ben! Oh, wait, no, it's just Ben. Why did it look like he went up to sniff his hair? It was vital to the stream. I know it was! One and a half hours of pure piss talk, the piss stream. After acquiring his meal, he brings me to a faraway table where I can see a blue parasaur already waiting. Yo, B-Man, what's up? Fine, thank you. And you must be Inko, I assume. How do you know my name? I checked your personal files. Guys? Guys, don't look now. But I think Evil Ben is sitting behind Ben. Don't look right at him, okay? Just keep him in your peripherals, alright? If he starts to move... You guys see the exit? We're gonna make a run for it, alright? Okay. <clears throat> what? I meant your name is on the... What do I say? Okay, got it. He's just becoming more and more visible. <laughs> Just a stand, it's fine. No, don't tell me Ben gets a fucking stand. Fuck. Ben without his meds. Yeah, right, Ben. Oh my god, there he is. We just leave Damien. Your backpack. Yeah. Oh, okay. You're not eating? I have a sensitive stomach. Cafeteria food might actually kill me. Shame. Pokes his pre-cut steak with a fork before chugging the whole plate down in one go. It's pretty good. Can you even enjoy food like that? Split moment. Ben be like Colin three. Sure. I mean, I don't want to tell you how to savor food, but if you eat it too fast, then the flavor also disappears quicker, right? Inko's right. 
You should always take your time with your... Hmm? No, I won't call him that. Well, then go ahead and tell him. Thought so. Damien doesn't really seem to care much about our conversation, as he's already devouring the second plate. At this rate, the school might run out of carnivore food. Uh, be right back. Gotta get some more grub. Oh. I must have blinked because they're all empty now. He sure does eat a lot. That's normal for Damien. Just be careful not to fall asleep around here. Why? His visual calculus tends to lag behind his body. What? He sometimes mistakes sleeping students for food and tries to bite them. Oh. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> Need to give him the sism accents. Bro, I don't know if I can fucking... <laughs> There's no one there. What do you mean? He's right there. He's got his hands together. He's a villain. Are his glasses broken? I think Ben is having a bike club art yet. Wait, no. Wait, his glasses aren't broken anymore. What the f Oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> He's got those weird ones. Ben wanted to call you a skinny 100%. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The slide. Don't worry about him. Just keep moving here and there should be good. Any other cases I should know about? Mm, not really, no. Oh, there's the broken glasses again. Oh, now he's vibrating. He doesn't need to know that! What? Anyways, of course, there's always a chance of arguments escalating to violence around here, but that's just part of school life. What is a better call Saul pose to? Sure, buddy. Don't worry, I'll give you sism approval. <laughs> he has plans for you. I don't see anything of you. Came as a streamer. God damn it. God damn it. I'm not letting you guys gaslight me right now. He's right there! But the faculty makes sure that nothing bad ever happens. Oh yeah, certain sprites don't have uh, certain alterations. That's why Inko loses the black eye anime, uh, black eye sometimes. Yeah, I figured that was the case. Ben, take your meds. I don't know. Everybody's saying that he, uh, there's nothing here, so maybe Streamer needs to take his fucking meds or something. Who are you talking to? No one. There's nobody here. Nobody. Here. There is no one here but us. Us. And there never was someone else. With us. Not in the men. Go away. Okay. <laughs> okay. You just want to sprinkle that one on there, Ben? <clears throat> it's becoming more solid. Do you think if Ben didn't say anything, eventually evil Ben would manifest? <laughs> Wonder if he ate all his meds? It's like the ghost hand in Pokemon. Wow, you really know your things, Ben. Out of nowhere. Who, who told you my name? Uh, the principal? What else did she say? That you're the student council president? Is evil Ben gay? He would be gay. Nothing else? No, I'm pretty sure she wouldn't gossip uh, with me about you if that's what you're asking. Sorry, it's just a bunch of rumors around here. Somebody's trying to assassinate my character, and I won't stand for that. Somebody's trying to... I interrupt myself before I ask him a, such a stupid question. If somebody's trying to kill him, they surely... Then surely they would have already called the police. You think Ben and Evil Ben are gay? Do you think they're... Roommates? Is that why your glasses are cracked? Dodgeball. Ah. But let's talk about something else. Have you had time to check on the campus? I'll have you know that we're one of the very rare special education high schools in the country. And not only that, we're considered the best one. Wow, that's impressive. Isn't it? You must be very lucky or extremely talented to have an opportunity to study here. He makes out with his alternate. Uh-oh. Oh, what the fuck's about to happen? Am I in danger? Stop! Stop! Not evil Ben is on top. Like a xenomorph tongue. I'm gonna get my head fucking. Inko Ben and evil Ben have become roommates when? 
The other students during PE were acting a bit weirdly. Must have been because they were great artists. Artists always a bit, uh, uh, artists are always a bit odd. It's well known. Thankfully, I do not have that problem. Lucky me. Uh, why is Ben making that face? Oh my god! Hello. How are you? Dear Raptor, Jesus, that's... Oh wait, hold on. I, all right, I gotta lean in for this. Slowly sliding in, boo. Dear Raptor, Jesus, that's loud. Hello. Ah, my ears. Hello. She was so loud that I could feel the bass in her voice rippling through my body. Surprised the a jump scare. Thought it couldn't get worse, but then I saw her breathing in deeply. Oh no. Hiya. What's with that face? <laughs> We're good, Liz. Thank you very much for asking. Good? Yes. Yes. Inko, you're feeling good, aren't you? What? Did you say something to me? See? He's feeling great. Good. Bye bye Got the Ed smile. <laughs> the face I make when I eat my uncle's gummies. <laughs> smug grin, smug. Bye, Liz. Have a good day. Who was that? Well, that's just Liz. She's a bit peculiar, but she's very nice. That was crazy. She was all neck. Shut up. After our encounter with Liz, we continued our talk about school life and what brought us here. Turns out he's a pretty important person around here. He's not only the student council president, but also a photographer. I talk about my artistic gift, as my parents like to call it, which makes him perk up. Apparently, I'm not the only one who is especially gifted around here. All in all, he seems like a nice guy. Soon enough, lunch ends, and I make my way to art class. I heard a lot of good things about the teacher. Both Ben and the principal only spoke highly of him. Oh man, what <laughs> what they do to my boy Attican? <laughs> this is not an art school, this is a special school. It's for the artistically inclined. <laughs> All that neck is just a huge sound resonator. No shit, she's loud. Whoa. As I enter the classroom, I see a name written on the blackboard. No. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Ladikin. <laughs> Okay, I'll play your game, you fucking rogue. Quickly take one of the last free seats. Welcome to APR Design. Here you will learn the ins and outs of creation. Join me on this wonderful voyage to bring out the artist in you. He unfolds one part of the blackboard to reveal a collage of paintings and art pieces of different kinds. If you stick with this class, then I'm sure you'll one day reach your artistic heights that you never knew you could. Lads, 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 lads. Everyone here is gifted in their own special way. Very special. No, no, just Look! <laughs> Look, I don't know how to do this for everybody. <laughs> we have to have some normal, right? The teachers, at least. Every artist is, is a special case. Is this where we meet Olivia? <laughs> Are we about to see a special case? Man, Mr. Ladikin seems like a very animated guy. I used to know some teachers back uh, then that tried a similar thing, but it comes off as a lot more sincere. Autistic heights more like it. Yeah, uh, wait, Latikin with the lowercase l was all this time. No, 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 you gotta stop that. I hate that. <laughs> that pisses me off to no end. Like, he actually tries to teach us. I like it. The rest of the class seems to agree. In gym class, most of them couldn't even be bothered due to the exercise. And here they sat in mostly silent awe as the promise of finally being able to express themselves properly. At least that's the case for me. Now, usually we would do a quick roll call, but I can already see a certain someone is missing. I look to my left and, yep, a very spacious empty seat is sitting next to me. I can make out many scratch marks and doodles of rats on the desk. It is weird, however, and the chair seems to be missing. Yep, wait for Olivia. Watch Olivia be completely normal because her special is physical. Mr. Nito. Y y yes, Mr. Lydekin? Hmm. 
would you kindly bring the missing duckling back to its nest? Uh, sure, can do. <laughs> yeah, it can deserves better than this. <laughs> I think I might be stupid. I have no idea who I'm supposed to look for. But going back now is going to be embarrassing, so I might as well try and find them. Or at least kill enough time until class is over. What is this? Seems to be some sort of commotion going down on uh, on down the hall. Just um, just give me a second. Oh, don't worry about this. I just need to. <clears throat> Hey, I see why it's called Little Gator now. What's going on with the music? Guys, the music's scaring me. All right, backspace it. Here we go, oh no. <laughs> Christmas cut, peak, holy shit, you didn't joke about that mod, melting brains. I, I was not pulling. Crimson cut, <laughs> I didn't see that till just now. Look, my face was, I, I saw Olivia, my beloved. All right, I didn't look over here. The Mia remix. I know you hate alcohol, but you'll need it by the looks of it. That bottle in the fridge is starting to look real fucking appealing. Calling off work tomorrow sounds like a good idea. Music's also special. Oh yeah, pay attention to the music when it does play. What do you mean, it's just a Mia thing? No, they did a thing, they scared me. No thought, only Binky. Just such a fever dream for head is Ah I feel like my IQ is lowering every second. It's a status effect for sure. Ugh. Can't believe you're still doing those awful drawings. <laughs> okay. It's <laughs> just just <laughs> straight scented, huh? Damn, girl, get him! <laughs> Stupid, sexy raptor chick. <sighs> oh, Whiskey McCann is looking real tasty right now. Is that wizard I'm <laughs> losing my mind? Welcome to Samon. If you don't fit in yet, you will. Not trigger. <laughs> oh, say her art looks like a child drawing. Uh. Yeah, looks like he's drawing a child. Heh. <laughs> he's an electric. Not wrong, definitely sexy rap. Wait, what was that? Was that a kazoo? Where did that come from? Hey, hey, whoever played that, get your. Okay, stop. Is that like. What's that sound? I'm losing my mind, guys. I, I don't know. I don't know if I can do this. Uh, uh, I feel like I'm gonna start dissociating in a minute here. Whew. Okay. See why Inko would be considered special with how he's naming everyone. Yo, Inko is only based when he's artistic. Is that the Mexican anthem? Just the Mia theme. What are you talking about? Funny, these are like the classmates I have. Wait a minute. Like, every time I click, I'm not ready for what's about to happen. <laughs> I'm just not! <sighs> what? It can't be got your tongue. Stop ignoring me, baby wheels. Uh... <laughs> I've been to special ed and ain't this while. Aw, oh, so cute, Olivia. <laughs> Who's a jump scare? It's fucking Weezer and also look good at you. No way, that's how she talks. Hey sister, I feel like nobody's home if you feel me. You don't know how to do it, right? I don't want to get in trouble again. Nah, she's just stupid. In that right, little stupid head. 
So, <laughs> Mia Simps, how, how, how y'all feeling about this? <laughs> y'all good still? <laughs> y y ain't, you ain't tied that rope off yet? Wait, is Mia cross-eyed? Mia's got a lot going on, okay. <laughs> Very close to snooting myself. Hello? Somebody in there? Huh? Did you fall asleep? Huh? I have to do something. That poor girl is completely defenseless. Someone take a fucking electric prod to my nuts! Not a Mia simp, but she's winning me over. Why, wait, why did her fucking snout the flame? My, me, I got that Minecraft cow stare. Snake did droop. Of course, we could finally relate now. Holy shit, Inko's doing something for once. Dude, Inko's about to do the. You know, this is bullying. Don't tell. Okay, I swear to God, if they do it so that Inko does like the. Don't you know bullying's wrong and it works? I'm gonna shit my fucking pants. Who's the genius behind these sprites? <laughs> This is a visceral reaction, I'm gonna make it stop. Fucking Weezer Riff is giving PTSD to the El Horso project. What the fuck is the El Horso project? I'm just gonna continue. What are you doing to this innocent woman? Woman, w women, women. Who are you? What are you doing here? Get away. Why do I feel like she would just punch me in the head and I die instantly? So about that? What do you mean about that? Ah, human. Wow, I've never seen one that's so close before. You know how to make a fire? Oh, of course you do. I have some old tribal clothing on, which I need you to like wear. Lunara! Just shut up. The Wani Labadi. I'm sorry, here we go. Also, to answer your questions, my name is Inko, and I can't really put a stop to. Yaw, little baby gay that sent your boyfriend offender. Hilarious. Yo, not bad, girl. Not bad. Didn't know you had a thing for monkeys. Ain't judging for sure, though. Uh. Hmm. <clears throat> El Horso is a shitty mashup album. It's 50 minutes long that uses the song El Scorcho by Weezer as a joke. Just with so many other songs. 50 minutes. 50 fuck. Okay. I, sometimes I just forget how much time people have. The way her head moves. More racism, yeah! Gross. Whatever you and Binko over here both loses anyway. So at least you have company now. Do the Binky thing. Do the Binky thing now. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah! <laughs> That's it! Oh, she just took a Binky! Wait, which name? I mean, we have Gator Girl, we have Trigger, we have the stupid sexy- Wait, why is Lunara's up? Hey guys, what happened to Lunara? Hey, what- Hey, what happened to her? Why do I feel like her eyes are like... Not straight right now? I'm crying, not the binky. Watch the Clone Hero all night. Yeah, get baited into playing it. Since then he says it's 70 Jesus Christ, that's rough. Oh wait, I'm going- I'm going backwards. Okay, here we go. Snatch the binky again. <laughs> the imperceptible drop. <laughs> I take that dork. Teaches you not to be such a gross loser. Yeah, yeah. What the hell? Why would you do that? Cause he's funny. I mean, look at her. The gator's mouth is still doing the motion. As if the pacifier was still in her mouth. But her eyes are already swelling up with tears as she slowly tries to reach out for her stolen pacifier. Give the binky back! This is a mod, my game is like this. 
Are you good, Magni? <laughs> Do you have- is your brain in order? Because <laughs> I feel like if you played a whole game like this, I don't know if you're still there. Oh, Mia, this might have been too much. Yeah, girl, I think you went a little too hard on that one. <laughs> As if, what? I think she's gonna cry. <laughs> Can pass you back, please? Sorry, what? Okay. Give it back before she starts crying. Is the game the one you go to the, on the short school bus? Yeah, this is E5 route. I mean, like, I wasn't all there since part, so... Brain is rotting as we speak. Boink! Yeah, I think I'm out of here. She just... Alright. One bounce, girl. This ain't really. This really ain't cool, Yumiya. Slide. Oh, yep. There we go. Freshly waxed floor. E pie. E one. Wow. This is all. Oh, Give me the sound. We're about to have a fucking draw. Brain slowly turning into goop by the second. Ugh. We're Binky back. Why? Cause it's hers. Mm. Good. Goodbye, n n n nerds. Of course, it's that one. What the fuck was the eagle? Now the only people remaining are me and the sobbing gator girl. <laughs> what can I even do now? Parasaurs, am I right? Her eyes dart over to me, and she starts to quiver. I don't know, did I say something wrong? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> we hugged that gator! <laughs> That's cold, I'm glad I did it. You will be assimilated to St. Amon High. <laughs> gator hug. Alright, add the hug counter. God damn it. Oh, no, that's not the- well, I mean, do I have the little- I do got the little gator! We got the little gator, I just gotta fix the counter. I never fucking reverted it. Here we go. Gator hugs. Gator hugs. One. <laughs> Alright, shrink it down, put it back up there. As is tradition. Fuck, I need to add, like, the opacity back to the back, don't I? Hold up a sec. Background opacity. There we go. Now you can see it. Uh, at least good enough. There we go. Cool, cool. Shrink it just a little bit. <laughs> Sam already. This is what the game would be like if I smoked the GB Weebies. <laughs> it doesn't help that I'm on that shit right now. You doubling down. Yo, we speed running? Hug achieved. Soy Jack point, point Gator hug, yo. Add her binky. God damn it, do I have to go find a binky sprite? No, fuck that. I'm not going for the binky sprite right now. We're gonna we have to keep going. Congrats on the hug. Many people missed the first hug. You know, it was hard to get there. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I, we had to make a lot of choices and I, I could see how you could do it wrong in, in such a way that the hug doesn't get here, at least not till later. Um, I think we're on the route for the good ending right now. Who needs drugs or drinks when you have mods like these? Give her binky back to her. Yes, you are. Do it. Fuck me. <laughs> Fuck me. <sighs> Transparent binky. Here we go. We got a binky sprite. All right. Can I save this? As a J okay, save it as a JPEG. All right. Go back to fucking OBS. Add an image. This one's gonna be called Binky. Okay, we added the Binky. Browse my files. Go to downloads. Pacifier infant baby bottles clip art baby bottle dot JPEG. Motherfucker, that's not transparent. God damn it. Hold up a minute. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. How could they play me like this? Open image in new tab. You're not really gonna let me have fucking transparent Binky, are you? You're gonna fucking rip my nuts, aren't you? Just really fucked me over. You know what? I got a better idea. I want to hug that gator. Binky. Motherfucker. You know what? I know where I could go. Pulls, pulls up. I could go grab the sprite. 
I could go. I could just. I could just grab the fucking sprite. Uh, uh, images. Uh, characters. Uh, fucking. Where is it? Fucking Olivia. Olivia. There we go. Okay. B binky big. Binky small. What the fuck does that mean? Okay, fine. You know what? I, I know where to route to. I know where to route to. Just give me a sec. Oh, I got OBS on the wrong fucking screen! The classic fake transparency. I fucking hate that shit. It pisses me off to no end. At least a bottle of Jack. Get the binky. Damn, ending four already. Lamau. Don't keep it. Need to clear your search history after that. Nah, no, sir. I, I fucking send it. If somebody comes after me for that shit, so be it. I'm beyond saving. Alright, go to this folder. Okay, what does Binky Big look like? Damn, that's a big Binky. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Are you guys happy? You got your Binky in the gator's mouth. Is, is, that, is that what you wanted? The Binky? Here, here. Allow me, allow me to make this better for you guys. Here, I'll even like blow it up a little, a little bigger so you can see it. Because I'm, I'm so accommodating to my stream. Move the fucking con. There we go. Alright, Binky, come here. Now. We need you to be bigger. There we go. There you go. There's your Binky. There's your Binky, chat. Since you want to be Goo Goo Gaga, since you want to be out here. There you go. Binky acquired. <sighs> Let the FBI suffer. Can't believe it. This is somehow more cracked than Puppet Pals. At least Puppet Pals is just two artistic freshmen. Yeah, we got the whole fucking school now. Perfect. I'll take 20. I'm not mass producing these shits for you guys. <laughs> it's not fucking happening. Yeah, pinky time. The pinky. You good? I don't know anymore. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just went and searched for fucking a binky sprite so I could put it on top of another sprite for a mod where we fucking... <sighs> Wait, my mood is improved. I don't have water, but I do have a mini fridge here and I know I have a water. Thereby meaning I have a water. And I don't even have to leave my desk. Hell yeah. Oh, fuck yeah, I needed that. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, come on, there's a fucking... There's another bottle in there. Get that in there, didn't you? Alright. This other bottle can... Fuck right off. <clears throat> okay. Alright, shake it off. Here we go. Happens in a flash. The getter girl practically lunges forward and pulls me into a tight hug. And the tears start flowing onto my jacket. Okay, random stranger on the internet. I believe you. The piss stream is taking quite the turn. <laughs> Bottle abuse. A little fucker had it coming. It takes all my strength to keep us both from falling over. A few moments later, she moves her snoot next to me and speaks. Her voice is weak and quiet. My passy. They tank my passy. How cruel can they be? First she lost her legs. And now they had taken her binky. Wish I could do more. But for now, the only thing I can do is comfort her. Okay, I was you talking to you. I know who you were talking to. I've, I see the chat. Don't worry about it. He's fine. All is cursed. We started with piss and ended with baby. I feel like I should have thrown some booze in my coffee. Leave that shit in Irish. All of a sudden, the piss chat was a blessing <laughs> to delay us from this. You never appreciate something until it's gone, do you? So you realize how good you had it. We stay like this for a few more moments until I slowly seat her back into her wheelchair. Do you know why they did this? I wanted to show her my drawings. You draw? The girl sadly nods. Want to show me? For a moment, she looks at me bewildered before she pulls a sheet of paper out of her pocket. Guys, what do you think she drew? Guys, what do you think she drew? Friend for me? Guts? Friend? 
Now we get all of the forward facing snoot. Egg Inko. We've got. <laughs> no friends. Benny Riz. Benny Rizzy. <laughs> Olivia and Mia holding hands. Rat! It's gonna be awful, right? You know what? <laughs> Better than I could do. <laughs> I can't even like sit here and act like it isn't. Piss to piss chat too, special Gator Lou. I think I wanna add some vodka to my cereal to be honest. Wait, Olivia and Mia hand holding? They're friends! <laughs> they made up! Holy shit, she's drawing that Harry Potter style. It's 3 a.m. who needs to go to sleep. Man, it's 6 a.m. for me, it's fucking Jover. She's talented! She's artistic! I mean, she animated a paper drawing. Yeah, that's like some fucking black magic shit, I think. Hey, that looks pretty good. Thanks. But I gotta ask, how do you do that? Hmm? The pictures are moving. Okay, so she's actually magic. Got it. Cool. Alright. Interesting. Being logged by a special ed meteor dodger. Damn six. I, I have bad habits. <laughs> she just shrugs like it's the most normal thing in the world. I need that no friends me as a gift. Or as, as a gift, not a gift. Right now. Canon. I like you still alive. I don't know. Sheer force of will, I think it is. My name's Inko. And what's yours? <coughs> Olivia, Inko, not your name? No, I think she was just trying to make a joke. Oh. Here, I'll change that. I put my head down. I I look down. Go ahead, do what you must. Shall we? Hey, it's fine. It doesn't bother me. It does, but I stay quiet about that. Thank you. For what? Wow, straight to another hug, huh? Damn. Hug counter's gonna be popping off, isn't it? Crazy. We're at two now, fellas. <laughs> <clears throat> she doesn't say anything. Instead, she pulls me into another hug. And this one feels a lot nicer than the first one. She still seems sad about the whole binky thing. Maybe I can do something about it? Say, Olivia, you want to go back to class with me? Yeah. What was that noise? Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. But my binky. I can't draw without my binky. Let's go see Mr. Ladikin. He can help us. He'll understand. Each hug we enlarge the binky. Motherfucker, that's such a good idea though, is the thing. Alright, the binky's been enlarged a little bit more. Okay. Get ready to add the body count? Oh, fuck yeah, are we killing people? <laughs> Let's go. Olivia curls into a ball, so I have to cart her back into the classroom. On our way back, I take a look at the classroom plaque. It reads, Tremt Ladikin. Oops. <sighs> Tremt. Well, welcome back, you two. We just finished basic safety. Olivia, are you okay? Me a tank binky. Sean's down special, baby. I'm going to jail. Puppet Pals Anon, Riz, Master 9000, Little Gator Inko, Tism Induced Lobotomy. Oh dear, that one. We were just about to start doing some gesture drawing, so try to take your mind off it for now, okay? Oh ye. Getting mileage out of that, ain't they? The dog noises. Huh. Despite her insistence on requiring a binky just moments ago, she seems to be completely ready to get back into it. Man, look at her go. And that includes you too. Don't worry, we'll talk about it after class. The rest of the class is pretty straightforward. Drawing a bunch of lines, make them look like an S or a C, and double check how Olivia's doing. The worst seems to be over, though, as she focuses on her art. It's a few gestures and some more doodles, from what I can tell. That being said, Inko is the most normal here. 
by far. Why is his name Tremt? Did I miss that? Nope. His name's just Tremt Latigan. Hope you enjoy that. <laughs> Try to take a closer look at what she's currently working at, but... Why are you aware of your breathing? I will fucking choke myself live on stream, Twisted. Don't even try me right now. No. She seems very protective of it. Tremt is a GVH joke. Uh... <sighs> the GVH stream creeps ever closer. It's Tremt Latikin, not Tremt Lat. Wait, it's Trent, Tremt Yadikin? Wait, but he's Latikin. Ah, oh, I'm gonna fucking do it. <laughs> Been stuck on manual breathing for years. Then do it, coward. Motherfucker, the, it will come soon. <laughs> it's kind of like on the list of things that we have to get to, so that way I can make fun of GVH as well. They had a guy called Trent, but the wiki and files say Tremt. Jesus Christ. Oh. <sighs> After some failed espionage attempts and a paper cannonball fired my way, the class finally ends. And... Okay, is it Eadikin now? Or is it Latikin? Oh my god, I'm so mad. I'm just gonna go Eadikin. I'm just gonna go Eadikin. <clears throat> and Eadikin gestures for us to come to his desk. The GVH stream would be so funny, just us dunking on the game the entire time. I feel like he can make some pretty good jokes on insulting GVH. St. Hamond is GVH with a new coat of paint. Lowercase L, so I have to call him Latikin? Always has- Oof. I'm sending negative thoughts to everybody in chat right now. I'm concentrating my will. I have to excise these demons from myself. <laughs> Alright, I'm good. Switch to Latikin when Eco saw the name plaque. Wait, did ne Wait, did- Okay. It's not an L. What did I do? I- everybody must suffer. <laughs> suffer as I have. Funny thing is, you were one of the only guys that said Yadikin's name right. <sighs> what, with the- with the L? I'm- I'm so fucking confused right now. <laughs> it hurts. I try my best to explain the situation. I've received them and laughed at how basic they were. Well, I'm not trying to hurt you guys! Honestly, I think doing a GBH stream, but completely straight would be better than going into it wanting to dunk on it. I mean, I wouldn't dunk on it. Like, I'm if I'm gonna play GVH, I'm not gonna, like, go in there immediately like, okay, time to, like, spread cheeks and shit all over the place. I'm gonna at least approach it as, like, a product and see how it does, but I'm also gonna grade it based off of, like, how good it is as that product. If it's shit, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna say it's shit, right? Not a guy backwards. Stop that. No, with the I instead of the EI. Oh, so so just saying Iatican. Do people is that something that people aren't producing right? Are pr producing pronounce? I can't talk. I'm just gonna keep reading. <laughs> and then we compare after we finish. Mm -hmm. Look at what you're doing to the streamer, man. I'm already hurting over here. Why are you doing this to me? I know so far that's some good shit posting. I try my best to explain the situation while Olivia's bu uh, busy fiddling with some sort of pendulum. They keep calling him Idikin. Yeah, well, I, s I see that I, I see that A, and I say Iadikin. <laughs> it took me a while to fucking drill that one in, too. And approach it like Caveman and did, play through it, point out flaws and critique while shooting the shit and cracking jokes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know, it's really funny. Bully the streamer, huh? You like that? You sick fuck. <laughs> no, 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 he's not responding. It's it, it, like, I need to go to the task manager and fucking force close myself in a minute here. I'm seeing too many people say Latikin forgetting the proper nouns are capitalized. It's kind of like fucking... Uh, what is it, Ida from uh, My Hero? Some people like are like, oh, I thought his name was Lita, and I'm like, you're a fucking dumbass. <laughs> his name says Tremt. It'll be fine. Here, have a croissant. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> I was actually getting a little hungry. 
Right, it's far late into the next day. I need to rest after the mental drainage and giggle fits this last month unleashed on me. Have a lovely rest of your stream. Have a lovely rest yourself. Not of the stream, but like an actual rest where you close. You know what I mean. <laughs> Have a good one, Shadow Moon. <sighs> I think I understand now. And that shouldn't be too hard to resolve. He gives somebody a call, and pretty soon, the maroon menace enters the room. There's some sick fucks out here that would slurp that drool from her mouth. Now that I think about it, the bent head crest looks pretty unhealthy. Isn't that where they store their brain? Don't brain your damage. What? Croissant? What the fuck's she doing in the art class? Being artistic? Mia, I've heard that you've been harassing some of your peers and that you took something from Olivia. Damn snitches. Yeah, I took a stupid binky. What about it? It's not like she's a baby anymore, so why, she why does it matter? Perhaps. Oh no, he's speaking French. Don't start saying that. <laughs> God, drain damage. <laughs> well, no, that's not weird. Who'd, who'd do that? Not me. Tugs on my collar. Well, first off, it's not yours, so you shouldn't take it to begin with. Uh-huh. And second, she needs it to concentrate properly. It's like a metronome for her. Metro what? Nonetheless, it's not your choice to make. So if you could please give it back. Hmm. How about no? What are you gonna do now, huh? The Attican doesn't change his expression. He just pulls out a small wand-like object. The cattle prod! Okay, okay, I get it. Here's your stupid passy. Can't go now? That's a good one. I like this one. <laughs> not yet. Ugh. Immediately back to it, huh? Olivia just wanted to show you some of her art. I think it's a nice gesture. Something you can learn from. What, so I can be a better person? Appreciate other people do? And that too, but mostly because your art is awful. What was that? Hold up. Why is it- Why is it a fork? Why is it a fork? It's a fucking fork. It's a fucking fork. What is- what is the- what did they mean by this? What did they mean by this? Oh my god. God, not the Weezer. Stop with the Weezer, I'm going insane. <laughs> Taser Pog. I hear nothing, what fork? Alright. <laughs> you motherfucker. Despite all the challenges my students have to go through, they still make themselves vulnerable by expressing themselves. Despite your best attempts to stop them from doing so. I... uh... So, for someone to judge and presume what they should and should not do when they don't even practice any self-expression themselves... For shame. For shame. Sham. Books, huh? Community joke, very deep cut. God damn it. <laughs> I'm not in enough. Did we overdo it? Don't worry about it. She needed to hear it eventually anyway. I have to commend you, Inko. You just arrived here, overcame your condition, and showed true passion for someone just because it's the right thing to do. I'm very proud of you. Wait. Condition? <laughs> Wait. I'm artistic? <laughs> you good, bro? You're seeing things. We hurt the potatoes' feelings. Perfect timings. You don't know. Oh dear. Don't know what? Is it something bad? Inko. You have Asperger's. What? What? Huh? Uh -huh? Feels like my world's collapsing around me. The whole time I thought I was gifted. That people actually liked what I did. It's, is it bad that I'm slowly not questioning anything anymore? I think it's like uh, getting used to it, you know? <laughs> we're, we're slowly being uh, binky-pilled. But I was just retarded. It's so over for me. I sink back into myself. All this time. None of what I did here had any meaning. <laughs> Fuck! Why? Depression is for Leopleurodons. Think about it. Despite your shortcomings, you've not only managed to follow up on your craft, you also helped somebody in need. That's something most normal people wouldn't do. 
Some diagnosis or other doesn't mean anything if you can prove to them on a daily that you can live a normal life. It's not only my condition, but rather that I didn't actually pick up that I'm in a special ed class until I saw Mia with that bent head cone of hers. Well, that just means you don't inherently judge people, no? That's another good trait. Huh. I guess you're right. Thanks, Mr. Yadikin. Inko? Oh, hey, Olivia, what's up? I made the picture for you, and I want to say thank you for being nice and... Can I see it? Sure! It's cute. It's cute. I'm fitting right next to Olivia. The Buddy Holly riff is just consuming my brain. It's ink over. Wait a miss it has the attic and just diagnosed ink with asp asparagus. <laughs> Nerd emoji. Thank you. Oh. You, the off key? I'll kill you. <laughs> Assume Yadikin had a file about Inko and his Asperger's. I mean, it makes sense. Why wouldn't the teachers, you know? She practically shoves the piece of paper into my face. Is this me in the middle? Yeah. Thank you. This looks beautiful. Thank you. Oh, no. Tim, gotta go by. Huh? Accommodations. The driver takes punctuality very seriously. Oh. Why are they moving? That's her special trait. It's in it's established in the lore. Off keys are killing me. Why he complained about that and liked five other things. Gator magic. Every time I hear the keys go off, I just can't. My brain's already scrambled at this point, so it's kind of just like auto-correcting for me. After seeing a darker version of E1, this Olivia <laughs> hurts to see. Oh. Well, how was your first day at the new school, Mr. Nito? Honestly, pretty turbulent. I mean, a lot of things happened. I made some new platonic friends, stood up to a bully, and learned more about myself. All in all, I think I'm gonna like it here. And that's great to hear! I hope you'll take to heart what happened today. Who knows, maybe there's somebody else who might learn from this. Hey! Hey, don't look at me! No, 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 no! Eject, 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 eject. Where do I go? Where do I, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> oh yeah, Olivia could have been on this road. Yeah. Oh no, front facing Yadikin. Wait, front facing Tremt. Uh, <laughs> hold on. I feel attacked. Defcon level one. For example, when making a joke, consider the emotions of the person you're telling it to. Learning to recognize jokes is an essential skill that can help improve your social life, and so is knowing when to tell one. I've received notice from the principal about something called AI. No idea what it is, but people are advised to avo avoid it. Apparently it causes brain damage. Don't need any more of that now. Despite our school's best efforts, some oddly specific tics still remain, making socialization with those affected nearly impossible. Please don't end every sentence with, heh, it's weird. I'm promptly talking about injuring others in any shape or form as a hobby, occupation, or even just as a form of expression is not funny or quirky. It's just psychotic. Good rule of thumb. If you wouldn't say it to your mother, then don't say it. Some of you people turn oversharing into a serious issue. They know we're watching. Front phasing is terrifying. I think that's a fourth, a fourth E for exit through the fourth wall. This is weird. Rang to dig. <laughs> Piss stream. I, stop! <laughs> stop! <laughs> what? Did, are you getting? Are you? Do you say that to make me look away for a minute? Is that what you're trying to do? Can't tell me what to do. <laughs> this first front-facing eco look like he's about to explain a joke that someone just made <laughs> to the audience. We're facing because they have one fucking emote energy. God damn it. And last but not least, don't trust what people say on the internet. They're probably lying. Guys? Guys? Is this true? Chat? Chat, do people on the internet lie? No, we don't lie. No. No, never. Oh, thank God. 
Why would we lie to you? That's that's what I'm saying. So wait, are these guys? Wait, they're lying? We aren't real. Wait, huh? Never? Nah, that's fake. We always tell the truth. Is this one of those like uh, one of those uh, w w what's what's it called? One of those riddles where it's like two guards. One tells the one only tells truth. One only tells lies. I'm not real. Fade from existence. Yes, we would never lie. What do you mean? You're sitting alone in your room talking to yourself. R realistically, yes, that is what I am doing right now. <laughs> if we got this mod from the internet, internet, then how are they telling you the, the truth, huh? Oh, God damn it. God damn it. I can't trust anything. Now go eat detergent. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Streamer, go eat detergents now. Yes. Mr. Streamer, wake up. You're dreaming. Don't hit me with the you're in a coma thing. Oh, I love popping my arm. Okay, and last but not least, oh yeah. Just because someone says something doesn't make it true. I know this might have been a lot to take in. Do you think you can manage? Can I nod? It's a bait. It's a fucking bait. I can't pick this one because they end with hey. They got me. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. What is this? Is this like the fucking ending of goddamn Detroit Become Human? Just everybody touching each other. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Fuck all of you. <laughs> I'm staying asleep. It's comfy in my dreams. The real world sucks. Tell him no. <sighs> Guys. It's time you know. I've got brain damage. Good to hear. We're all very proud of you. I'm sure you'll one also one day find that special something to be good at. Well, that about wraps it up. Well, that was fun, but I better get moving too. I heard that there's a new dinosaur visual novel coming out, and I must play it. See you, Mr. Tremped. Uh, huh? Hey, hey, hey. Uh, aye, aye, aye. Kids are gonna be the death of me one day. <sighs> Man, I definitely should not have drunk all that bone-hurting juice. Ow. <laughs> no! To just force close if you chose the bottom option. We know. That was a direct blow. Even better, it's like Pokemon. You're forced to pick it. Tramp, no. No! Wait, many, wait, many months and one unsatisfying ending later. Holy shit! It's him! It's fucking him! I'm really looking forward to the finished piece. Uh, me too. It's just... Why does she have a pacifier? Some of the children I work with have a similar thing. It's no big deal, really. Oi, no movie. The snowfest is real! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, how long will it take to finish? Mm, nearly done. <laughs> What's so funny? She kind of reminds me of that stego chick back from high school. Oh my god! They don't even look similar. Fine. Hmm? My Linky. <laughs> Olivia, what happened? I drew a Binky. <laughs> Change the world. My final message. Goodbye. Fades. Oh no. Are you alright? No. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it, I gotta come over here and fucking do work. This is bullshit. Now the binky has to grow again. Bigger binky for bigger baby, there we go. Put that binky back in. <sighs>
Like how it specifically says E3 on it, as if we wouldn't fucking see that. Increase the hugs and binky. I did! Calm down! Both the other ending Anon and Fangs appear from portals. What, does fucking... Does E1 Fang's body just drop from the roof? Is that what's about to happen? Oh, that'd be terrible. You <laughs> that noise? I hate why'd you do that? Cause I'm fucking I'm on, I'm out I'm out of my mind. I'm out of my gordy. I employ you to never make that noise. Oh, oh, Chad, are you telling me I have something? I have a weapon now? When you start getting rowdy, I just gotta make that noise and then I'll fucking end you? Okay, tucks that one in the back of my head. Cool, good to know. Let's go get you a new one, okay? A coffin just drops. Can we get ice cream too? Sure. Hey, sorry for that, but can you guys wait here for like 20 minutes? Really need to get her a new one. Sh sure. Awesome, we'll be right back. I didn't even hear it. Make it again so I can know what it is. Are the kids also like this? They're not that extreme, but hey, we shouldn't judge them for it. You're right. Anon's about to say some shit in me. They make an interesting fig E4 variation mean their E1 counterparts. What noise? Now I'm now it's like people are gaslighting me that there was a noise that happened. That I know happened, because I made the noise. Wait, did the Is it getting darker? Wanna take a look at the painting? Might as well. How much was that picture again? 50? Maybe we should bounce. Yeah. Fantastic. 10 out of 10 peak. It's not finished. So it's not moving. Olivia hasn't given it life yet. <laughs> not even the same outfit in the drawing. And then they got run over by Olivia for trying to leave without paying. Blacky, not black, Plank, Anon, Andrios, Coding, No Testicals, Blacky, Plank, Anon, Go to Hell, Renpy, Got Blacky, Plank, Anon, Andrios. Yakuza, Anon, good boy. Full of rat poison. No guts! Emo, bald? Probably. Thanks. The only musician I know. Yeah, if that's something you want to hang on your fridge to tell your kid you're proud of them. And then cover it with magnets as much as possible. Buff pop. Oh, I, I missed that! I missed it! Wait! <laughs> Wait! Most importantly, me! Exclamation mark. You! Exclamation mark. Thank you. Bye-bye. Should he get interrupted halfway? The shit didn't hear the noise. Oh god, they died. 20 out of 10. Did we make it? We made it. Okay, bye. That was Little Gator. We know we'll see you in future classes. E. I remember the real song. It made me cry. Why do, the, why do this to me? Magni reference. I gotta jump back in real quick and see what happens if I hit no. Oh, that meaty fucking- Oh, oh, gee. Oh, boy. I'm assuming this is all just flavor, you know? <sighs> okay. No, I'm not a fucking idiot, heh. <laughs> no, no, we have to be honest here. I want you to really think about it. No. No, no, we have to be honest here. No. 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 Hmm. No. 
no. Okay, fine. You got me. Uh, well, that was, um, fuck me. That was a stream, huh? I mean, I guess I might as well just, might as well just do this. Just, can I grab the binky? How do I grab the binky? The binky is being very problematic. Okay, let's enlarge the binky even more. Holy shit, I, the binky is so big now. I, like the fucking sizing on this is really weird because it's like a pixel. All right, hold up. Where's the, oh, there it is. There we go, binky. There we go. There we go, binky. Okay. That was something I will now purge my mind. <laughs> well, shout out to the VOD people for making it through the piss stream. Dude, I'm gonna be real with you. I don't even know if the VOD people are gonna be able to, like, are the VOD people gonna watch the piss part? Maybe, maybe, you know what? They'll have to this time. Because we reference piss stream too much during the actual mods that they're gonna have to be like, well, I have to go get context now. What's the piss stream? They're gonna have to watch it. We forced them now. <sighs> And now, we will now continue to talk about piss. I will go take a piss. <laughs> I'll go do that. Also probably go grab like a little snack or something. I meant to do some like actual work tonight. I didn't think I was going seven, uh, eight hours, but hey, here we fucking are. <laughs> Treating this like a full-time job, goddamn. <laughs> Once again, thanks for playing the mod. Really appreciate it. Well, thank you for making the mod Black Manga. That shit was, uh, that shit was pretty funny. <laughs> I think everybody in chat enjoyed it, so. Let me know when you guys cook. If you guys cook again, let me know. I'll jump on that shit. Time to go get three hours of sleep. I gotta be up for like an actual like lunch in like six hours, so that's gonna be fun. So, gonna go do some shit. Gonna go get ready, get my own three hours of sleep, and then I'll try and survive tomorrow and see how that works. Remember, golden boys forever. Exactly, guys. If you if you need to if you need to show your seniority status on the stream, just reference either piss stream or golden boys, and we'll know where you're from. Forever cherish Binky Olivia, golden boys, absolutely worth it. But I regret every second. Piss stream should be forever remembered, immortalized by mentioning it in future streams. It's just, it's gonna be a reoccurring stream bit. There's no way around it. We'll do. Hell yeah. My sleep schedule didn't like it. This was the best, worst time of my life. So next stream when? Next stream is fucking tonight. Um, <laughs> I'll see you guys in about, uh, what? 16 hours? Cause I'm, I'm doing a co-op stream with Jeremy. I can't shirk that responsibility. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to be there. Kind of weird that Humanota saw a fork and another bend during this playthrough. I'm gonna go like fucking down a bottle of nondescript pills, I think. Y'all got me good. Hope they never cook again. I hope they cook way more meals for us. Going off the rails, that's great. I love it. Even though I had that whole time, I felt like I was suffering. At least I was feeling. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> See you around, Golden Boys. Yeah, we're not going to stick around here too much longer. Everybody needs to get to sleep at this point, or at least go chill out. This has been an eight-hour stream. Some of you motherfuckers have been here for, like, most of it. I, I think it's time we all take a take a seat and just relax for a little bit. So, like I said, we'll be streaming again tonight, probably around 10.30 p.m. EST, somewhere between that and 11 p.m. I'll, I'll figure out the exact timings and throw up the YouTube uh, schedule for that once I get an idea. Again, we'll be playing the 1.6 version of Stardew Valley. Uh, maybe with uh, the Stardew Expanded, if I can get that all working correctly without any issues. And that'll be the stream tonight. Additionally, Saturday or Sunday, we'll also be doing probably another reading stream. We'll be continuing Broken Wings. Um, that's going to be on top of the one that we're going to have on Monday. So, we should hopefully be able to get done with Broken Wings by the Monday stream. Fingers crossed, as long as I don't fuck up too bad. Uh, and then we can figure out what we're going to move on to after that. As for whatever happens on the Saturday or Sunday, I don't do anything. I'll leave that up in the air right now. I'll figure it out as I go. So, yeah. I hope everybody had fun. Be you lurking or otherwise. I enjoy you sticking around with us. Always a good time. 
Oh. Yeah, I'm going to bed. Hopefully this is purged in my dreams. One second, let me check on Alexa what time. It would be 16 hours. <laughs> I think she said 10. Wake up, the accident from the piss factory wasn't your fault. I'm gonna go see if I can recover my brain cells while I sleep. Hey, that's one thing that's good for sleep, right? USV is already out for 1.6. I, I don't know. I have to take a look. That's why I'm not saying that we're going to 100% do that. But yeah, everybody have a good rest of your day, night, evening, whatever time it is for you. I'll catch you in the next stream I do. Until then, take care. Takes away Olivia's binky.